Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Morning. It was so dark this morning. Come through the village. I not only had to have my headlights on, I had to have it on full beam. It was pitch dark when I left this morning. Absolutely pitch dark. Anyway, good morning, good morning, good morning. Fabulous show lined up for you today. But we have to start with today's early bird. Now, those of you who've bought the embroidery machine, this is a must for you. They are called uh, the Gutman Thread Set Classic. No mention there that it is rayon or viscose. And now, I'm a bit confused because on the front it says rayon and the back it says viscose. Now, rayon and viscose are very similar, but they're made with different things. They're both man-made fibres, but using different things. But anyway, they're beautiful embroidery threads. Let me just open this up for you because in here... Oh, <laughs> oh, it was a bit big of sellotape, that's why. There you go. Look at the gorgeous colours in here. They're, they're rayon and they've got viscose written on the back. That's what I'm saying. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It says rayon on the front, viscose on the back. But anyway, look, 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 look. 14 99 Green, blue, purple, red, pearlized white, yellow, and black. Now these should be $14.99. <coughs> oh, excuse me. £14.99. You get seven of them in there. £10.99. £10.99. Now don't use them to sew dresses together or anything like that. They're embroidery threads for the top bobbin on your embroidery machine. Uh, make sure you put bobbin fill underneath. But look at those glorious colours. They're called the classics, but they're beautiful. They're brand new to us today, these. You get 200 metres on each one. Made in Germany. You can wash it up to 95 degrees. Beautiful, aren't they? Good morning, Claire. Good morning, Carol. Raining and thunderstorms in Tunbridge. June says it's raining here. Hurrah. She hasn't had any rain at all. It's June. 10.99. £10.99. £10 oh, sounds a bit froggy today, doesn't it? <coughs> Excuse me. Heidi says, good morning. Uh, message on my bottom. Morning, John. Have a great day off to work. We'll catch up later from Liz. 10, 9, 10. Aren't they beautiful colours? Look at the lovely sheen on them as well. Imagine what beautiful embroidery you can do on there. Producer Cat's waving through the door, so she'll go in and say, Hannah, say hello to Hannah now. Price comparison. It's just coming. It's just coming. Don't worry. Uh, Gutman Sulky. Sulky Rayon. Oh, does that mean it's not very happy? How much is it? £14.60 for Sulky Rayon. <laughs> is it really called Sulky Rayon? Hang on, let me have a look at the thing. I think it's meant to say Silky Rayon, isn't it? Premium quality. Beautiful colours. Oh, gorgeous colours. Look. 10 99 
Embroidery threads. Rayon. Morning, John, from a lovely sunny Glasgow, says Sandra. Loving your shirt, says Carol. Heidi says, good morning. Uh, Jill says, morning, John. A little bit dull here in Devon, but no rain. Actually, when I drove home yesterday, as I went through Ulster, it was chucking it down. Got to my village, sun was out, no rain, wasn't wet at all. £10.99 pence for this today's early bird. I uh, know. Keep going through. Remember what she paid for this? Yes, your P&P paid for, for the day. Marie says, morning, John. It's pouring in Islington. Quarter of the stock has gone already once you've all checked out. I know they're lovely, 10 99. They will go back up to 14 99, member at midnight tonight, being an early bird. Crashed. Beautiful, beautiful colours. Another price comparison for you here. Oh my word! £20.99. pence. No mention of sulky on that one. So remember, once you've done this, actually being paid for. Posh shirt says cousin Susan. Thank you. It's not posh. It's just different pa pattern, really, isn't it? It's like um, I always think it's a bit wintry this one, but I like it. Anyway, ten ninety nine. Loads of you coming in for this. Remember, they are embroidery threads. Morning, John. Dark and dreary in Derbyshire. Looking forward to a morning of Sewing Street from Alison. Thank you, Alison. Me too. Oh. Zena, the Princess Warrior's in. Oh, my word, you can't be bringing pastries in here. Oh, thank Cheeky, you. Uh, raisin and a chocolate twist. I'll have a chocolate twist. I'll put it there for later. Thank you. That was Zena. She's Hi. just finished. Hello, she says. Where's Ivy? She's coming in at 11, darling. Oh, she's coming in later. That's the dog. The dog. 10.99. Yeah. Morning, John. I've done that one. Done that one. Done that one. Here's another one. Raining here in Stockport, says Jane. Now, Stockport, that's near where um, Joe Carter lives, isn't it? Stockport area. Uh, missed yesterday morning. I was it. Oh, Chris, where were you? Lovely and sunny here in the South West Wales. Have a great day from Chris. Chris, I was there yesterday morning, weren't you? No, I don't know. I was. Another prize comparison. Uh, oh. £15.40, that one. They're the seven thread set Rayon 40 Classic. Same as mine. 10.99. Loads of you there. Oh, it's going to be a busy day today. Lowe says, morning, John. Packing the moho for a sunshine festival. It's going to rain this weekend, though. Morning, John. It says, sulky at the bottom of the label on the front. Where? Not on mine, it doesn't. Look, close up. Says creative on mine, not sulky. Oh, what was that? Did I miss that message? Hang on. Morning, John. Loving the beautiful tropical flowers on your shirt. The sun's thinking of coming out here in Skyburn. That's from Karen. They are the same. It's just new packaging. It's new packaging. Maybe people complained about the word sulky and went to creative instead. Jane, that's tomorrow. Looking forward to hearing the winner of the dog. Oh, yeah, that's tomorrow. That's tomorrow. That's not today. They're, they've got a special guest to announce the winner. Well, I say announce. They've got a special guest coming on tomorrow. What time is it? Just before nine o'clock, do you say? Oh, yeah, just before nine o'clock, the announcement tomorrow. At 10.99. Right, keep going through for that. Keep going through, keep going through. Now, look at the menu. It's brilliant today, right? Watch the menu, right? I've got a whole hour of early birds. A whole hour of early birds coming up at eight o'clock. Then at nine o'clock, we've got Amber Makes Bottom with Rebecca Reed. Uh, that's this one this month. They're already going on pre-order. If, if you don't know what we're talking about, and all the others are on pre-order as well, all the previous ones are on pre-order as well, it's a panel where you can get, you can sew something, or the panel is just printed. Shall I just move this to one side? Uh, or the panel's just printed, and um, you can make things out of it. Anyway, Rebecca Reed will be here later to show you all about that. Then we've got a Jason Yenta quilt with Delphine Brooks. It's gorgeous. Look at that. Now, it's that same technique that he does where you get like 11 metres of fabric. I don't know if it's 11, but you get a big bolt of fabric, 
and the, where you cut the triangles out create the kaleidoscopes it's lovely Delphine here shows how to make that at 10 o'clock we haven't got a sample of that one sadly 11 o'clock amber makes a uh, needle case and that's not just the needle case i've got the needle case and i've got the craft storage we only got the needle case picture we've got a craft storage picture two needle cases and then we've got two craft storages to match that okay and then 12 o'clock delphine is in now she's going to be showing we've got a k facet look now that's the, the red one and then we've also got the blue one both of them they're called frames i think cold frames and hot frames aren't they it's not what they're called uh beautiful that's coming up at 12 o'clock now there are three ways you can get in touch the first way is by sending an email into the studio and that is studio at sayingstreet.com studio at sayingstreet.com you can also hang on you can also send a message to facebook live the what is um uh, so let me just do a few of these then uh joe joe says morning john it says oh no i've done that one morning john training here in chandler's ford says kath um and says good morning loving your shirt hillary says lovely shirt the other jan says morning the water butts are filling up nicely angeline says it's beautiful and sunny in aberdeen so maybe you've got the sun up there north and we're gonna have the rain down here uh anyway uh the third way of getting in touch going to the website www.sangstreet.com you go to the website you click on watch the show live look horn furniture's back in stock horn furniture's i saw jason i'm not on with him he's on with stuart whenever he's in next but i saw him at the festival of quilts anyway click on uh watch the show live you get the little box with me in it little white box on the right hand side there if you write a message in there you need to be logged in to do that um you can oh you're going to upton on seven that's where um uh, sally stevens lives there uh, anyway, go down the page, scroll down the page. Uh, you will see in a minute there will be two columns, show deals, and then this is everything that's coming up in the next five hours. So these are all your early birds. You'll pay the final price if they get crashed, if they get crashed. Some of them are already getting the special price, like, they, like the, uh, the fat quarter bag and things like that. So that's a fun hour there of gorgeousness. There's the Jason Yenta quilt there. It's all in a different order. You have to scroll down. It looks like waddings. Uh, then we've got some. There's the other. There's the K facet quilt. That's the one Delphine's going to be actually demoing. It's the same as the one behind me, but in dark colours. We'll show it to you later. There's the one that's behind me. Then you've got now. Here you go, Rebecca Reed. So there's block of the month. Oh, hang on. These are all the past ones. Today's is the basket one. There. That's today's. It's funny on some of them they've put their whole kit and others have just put the pictures then. KN6675. Why is the code not there? Oh, okay. KN, KN6675, did you say? Yeah, if you're looking for that one. Then there's her sewing, there's her sewing thingy. Then there's her craft caddy that we didn't show, show the craft caddy there. And now they're in the same colorways as the needle cases. So if you're going to make the needle cases, you make the craft caddy to match. I oh, know, lovely, aren't they? Uh, then there's all bits and bobs there, tools. The iron's gone back up to its regular price. Look, what's that one there? Oh, oh, look. Okay. Is my book or not on there? Oh, it is there. Oh, yeah, there it is. There it is. My book, my book. Like, yeah, now, when we left yesterday, there were 90-something, weren't there? 97 or something like that. Uh, right, hang on. 8.15, still dark in Islington. I don't like it. Uh, Leslie says, morning. Had a terrible storm in Hertfordshire. Thunder made the house shake and we lost power momentarily. Yet yeah, Lizzie Curtis put that she had a thunderstorm for two hours last night, didn't she? Right, OK. So, shall we start with um, early birds? Got early birds, early birds, early birds. A whole hour of them. Jolly old Santa panel. It's not Christmas today, but we're carrying on from yesterday's theme. Wait, let me make sure I'm in the right place. Here we go. Here comes Santa Claus. For those of you who already checked out today, well done. Your P&P's paid for. And it's going down to Jolly old Santa panel from 13 to 10 £10.99. £10.99. That's huge. At 90 centimetres it is. Width of fabric. You've got... Fairly happy, jolly, laughing Santa. Big snowflakes. Uh, morning, John. Raining in Chandler's Ford. Good day to stay in and watch Showing Street from Jackie. Oh, somebody else just messaged Chandler's Ford, Jackie, as well. 
Okay, yeah. Uh, good morning, John and team. Raining here in Aylesbury. Have a great day from Rosemary. Oh, dear. There's lots of rain. Good for the garden. The garden needs it. Nicola says, morning from a very sunny Devon. Oh, it seems it's nice at the top and the bottom, but just a bit wet in the middle. Oh, let me move out that. There you go. Penzance is sunny, apparently. Morning, John and team. Lovely day here in Penzance from Kathleen. Isn't Penzance right down at the bottom? Oh! The removal men are in again. 10 99 for that panel. Single figure. Sing it's not Christmas today. It's not Christmas, just because we, just, we did early birds. Got very big hands, hasn't he? What's oh, that's his belt buckle? Oh, my word. I thought he was looking on an iPad. Also wet in Kent, says Carol. Pouring in Peterborough. Says Crazy Lorraine. Six left, six of those left. Zebra craft bag next. This is nice. This. It also comes in uh, like a leopardy print as well. But this is the zebra one here. So what you've got here, you can use this as a makeup bag, craft bag, knitting bag. So around the edges, look, you've got uh, touch fastening pockets there. You've got stitched up pockets there. You've got pockets on the end there. Then if you open it out, it's got a lovely lining in it. You've got big pockets inside there. Lots going on, lots going on. Not 24.99, oh no. <coughs> Excuse me. For, what? We used to take a 10 pounds off that. 10 pounds came off that price, 10 pounds. I oh, know. So 14, I'm thinking Christmas presents now. Cat likes this, producer Cat likes this. You wouldn't fit enough clothes in there for a sleepover. She's going for a sleepover this weekend, apparently. Where are you going? She's going to South End. Oh, oh, and now every time you go to South End, something goes wrong. She got COVID last time, right? The time before that, the rains were so heavy, they couldn't see the motorway. You going with your mum? Oh, yeah, she was, yeah. What night are you out in Camden? Friday night in Camden. What, how, how, do you know, how do you know you're not going to be bored? Okay, so this is Kat, producer Kat, who used to work here, doesn't work here anymore, right? She's driving to Gloucester, no, getting the train to Gloucester, then a friend's taking her from Gloucester to Southport, then they get, South End, South End, then from South End they get changed and get the train into London, then they've already booked the train home, they're clubbing all night long in Camden, getting the 4.30 in the morning, the next morning, back to uh, South End. And then at lunchtime, she's got to get the train back to Birmingham. Oh, that's a nightmare. Oh, yes, train strikes this weekend. Oh, no, it's the mail. That's the mail. That's the mail strike. What date is it today? 25th today. Oh, it's Terry's birthday today, by the way. Um, no, because there's a, a mail postal strike tomorrow, isn't there? 26th. Munch. I forgot. To, didn't know until I went upstairs afterwards. No, we forgot to say happy... What friends are we, right? It was Munch's birthday yesterday. I didn't mention it. Kat didn't mention it. It was only when we went upstairs and they'd done a little lunch for him. Leopard print bag. I said to him, have you, are you, I, and also he, has, he didn't go out last night because I thought maybe I'd not been invited to the dinner last night. No, he's not planned anything yet. Here you go. Leopard print. I say leopard. I'll show you from upstairs, look. So you've got your pocket there with your one-touch fastening. You've got your pockets there that are stitched down. You've got your pockets on the end. And then inside, you've got your lovely deep pockets inside there. So you're going straight down, $14.99. Morning, John. I had my tattoo yesterday and I love it. Oof. At $14.99, I'm going to show you price comparison. It's not a direct. It's not direct. It's the same sort of thing from the same place, but different pattern. Uh, at £24. Oops, £24. Ours is leopard, obviously, there's the stars. And ours is £14.99, not £24. That bag matches my slippers. Make sure you get it then, Carol. 
14 pounds and 99 pence. Zebra bag is sold out. I've only got it in the leopard now. Only got it in the leopard. Uh, morning, John. What a fabulous looking quilt behind you from an overcast angle seat. James. James doing it at 12 o'clock. Got it in that. And we've got it in blue as well. So this is hot frames. And the other one's called cold frames. I know. Uh, morning, John and team. Six weeks of recuperation is going to be very expensive. I need to sew my purse shut. I think. Too many great bargains, love. Jacqueline in Greater Manchester. Will you get better soon, my love? Okay. Single figures on that one now. Now, there's everyone sold out, so that one will follow suit in a minute. That one will follow suit. The Paint the whole world with a rainbow. That's your price. That's your price, right? That's your price. There's no crash on this one. That was a special. That was a special, this one. At six nine ten. Now I didn't know we had this one back in stock because when we dressed the set in the morning, we always go, "Oh, we shouldn't put that one out because we haven't got that one in stock." But we have, obviously. It's a desk organizer. You can use it as a plant pot holder. At six nine ten, it's quite big. Look, price comparison. Oh, same thing, same thing. Eleven pound forty nine. Blimey, and ours is six pound for six ninety nine. It's good, isn't it? It's plastic. Yeah, simple craft container. What does it say? Ideal for storing sewing, crafting and desk accessories from Hemline. It's cute, isn't it? If you love that rainbow. Have you seen Clive's post this morning? He's made a shirt for the weekend. The one you're comparing it to is... Oh, OK, Nikki. Nikki, thank you. We'll just double check that. The bag, the one we were showing is bigger and had a central zip. No, no, but we, no, no, but we said it was the same bag, didn't we? It's the same kind of bag, yeah, yeah. What you can pay, it's not the direct comparison. But thank you for pointing out, Nikki. Six ninety-nine. Thimble desk organizer in the rainbow. It's lovely, it's that ombre through the colours, isn't it? Silver inside. Thank you. Rainbow fabric bundle, that'll be this one. So you get half a meter of each fabric. Should be 26.53. Ooh, that's nice, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven fabrics. Three and a half meters, 22 pounds and 74 pence. Oh no. So that makes it three, three. And I'm just trying to work it out. Seven into 22 goes three, leaving one pound 74. Seven into one pound 74, three pound 30, three pound 20 something, a half a meter. 324. 324. So you get the pink, the orange, the red, the pale blue, the green, the yellow, the purple. All seven of them for 22.74. Fabulous for your stash. Gorgeous. At 22 pounds and 74 pence. There's your little the web image of your seven colours. Bruce likes to show that because he made that. £22.74. Keep going through, keep going through. Lots of you coming in this hour. That pink's nice, isn't it? I wonder if that's coral or if that's one of the new ones. I'm not sure now. £22.74. It's 100% cotton, 44 inches wide, machine washable, quilting weight fabric. So our regular Rose and Hubble fabric. <coughs> Beautiful. Remember you only pay one p p for the whole day, no matter how many times you check out. Love the colours. Love the fabric. Love the fact you're getting it at a discount. Love the rainbow. 
And you can. Beautiful. Now this, this causes a storm every time we do this. Right now, it's gonna sound odd because I'm gonna say to you, there's fewer than 100, right? There's fewer than 100 of these, but every time, that's your price, it doesn't crash, right? That is your fantastic price. It's brilliant, this bag. So many people multi-buy when they come in for this, right? So first of all, as you can see, it folds away really, really flat. If you're not using it, right? But it's brilliant for storage. So if you open it up, right? Open it up like that. Then the sides come up. There we go. Oops, come on, John. The sides come up like that, so it's a lovely deep bag. There's the walls that you can put in, the temporary walls that you can put in. Right, then you put it there and there. No phones in the gallery. Then you put it there and you put it there. Then look at this, I can store your fat quarters in here standing up on end like that so you can see all the colors that you've got right now that was third one two three four that's 30 fat quarters in there and that's not even full right so you could fit about 120 fat quarters in there if you wanted to or you don't have to do that you could open this up and have half meters of fabric in there use it as a project bag if you're doing epp right you can put your um your, your papers in one your fabric in another. You've got little pockets down the side here to put your scissors and your glue pen in, everything like that. And then when you zip it up, you can see straight through. Now what Roxana does with hers is she puts cardboard in the two pockets there to make it more stable. And other people I know, we sent, somebody sent in a picture, didn't they, of them stacked on a shelf in their, in their sewing room. Right, loads of you multi-buying. I'm gonna have to be careful with this one message on my bottom i got six of these last time they are fantastic wish i'd known about them before i bought expensive plastic boxes for my new craft room the thing is karen you see when you're not using these they fold down completely take the walls out they fold down you saw how thin it was whereas a plastic box if it's empty you've still got the plastic box haven't you okay a third of today's stock has gone Keep going through, lots of people put it in their basket. It's got a lovely handle on it as well if you're taking it, if you're doing a project and you're taking it to a class. I like the fact that the zip goes all the way around, you know, one of those double-ended zips. Look, fantastic, isn't it? Keep going through for that, very, very popular. Uh, what else have I missed off? Unique dustproof fabric storage bag, stacks and stores easily, ideal for storing fiber art products, outstanding see-through lid, outstanding see-through lid, strong supportive handles, convenient folding divider and store accessories inside pockets. Oh, excuse me. A whole hour, well, it's only half an hour left now, of early bird deals. That's what we're doing if you've just tuned in. Pauline says hello. Julie Vaughan, morning John and team, didn't know you were presenting today. Yeah, yeah, I'm always down for today. I'm not doing tomorrow now. I was bound to be, I was bound to do tomorrow, but Rebecca Reed's doing tomorrow and I'm in on Monday instead. Bank holiday Monday. I've already got five of these bags from Sewing Street. They are brilliant to organise fabric and keep it dust free from Alison in Leicestershire. Thank you, Alison. There's what? Oh, okay. More than two thirds of the stock has gone. There's fewer than 30 now. And how many people got in the basket? 17 people have got it in their basket. If they all buy two each, that's it. That's it, all gone. I'll keep going through, keep going through, keep going through. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, yep. Yeah. Oh, sorry, cat. Oh, sorry, I thought you said keep, I thought, right. Check it back, cat, sorry. Sorry, I thought that we were moving on, my bad. There you go, 11.99. Oh. Right, okay, you need to check out because there's more than 30 people in baskets. And I've only got how many left now? Yeah. Okay, there are 22 not checked out, but more than 30 people have got it in their baskets. So you do the math, as they say. 11.99. Is 
Eleven ninety-nine. Apparently, I'm not being enthusiastic enough. Eleven ninety-nine. I've never done one of these hours before. I've never done an hour of early birds. It's fantastic, isn't it? So either they're already at a fantastic price like this, or we crash the price. I know. I'm very enthusiastic. I'm this enthusiastic. She'll message in in a minute now. 11.99. Keep going through. I need to check out. I need to move on. Right, single figures are more than 30 people got it in their baskets. Yes. This. My, oh, it's huge. Oh, do you? Okay, so normally you get half of this. You're getting a one metre bundle for twenty-three ninety-eight. Oh! You're getting it for £20.98, which is £10.50, £10. isn't it, for one piece? Yep. You don't get two pieces, right? Right, you get, you get one massive piece. You get two metres. Look, you get two metres. It's a bit confusing the way they've written that. I'm not being negative, right? You actually get two metres, right? So it, normally it's a one metre bundle and they've put two in, so they're joined together. Oh, hang on, hang on. Is that wrong? Oh, it's it. Oh, okay, so it goes that way, so it's wide. Oh, sorry, my bad, my bad. So you do get one metre. I'm very curious, because yeah, it's 150 wide, that's why. Sorry, my bad, my bad, my bad. Let me say that again for you. Look, so normally, that's what you get. Yeah, that's half a metre, but it's 60 inches wide. I was getting confused that the, the width was the, de the depth, that's what it was. Yeah, so now you get that, you get that. Yeah, no, no, you don't get two pieces. You'll get one piece, but it's this huge piece here. Now, what is it? It's single-sided, right? So one side is soft. One side has got fusible on it. This is the one that Debbie Shaw, this is the one Debbie Shaw uses nearly all the time in all of her handbags, isn't it? And um, Becky Alexander Frost, who's in next week with me. What do you say? Half the stock's gone. Half the stock. The what bag? The fat quarter bag is now sold out. And this is 2098. It's fantastic, isn't it? Attractors watching. Morning, says Judith. Attractors picking me up from the airport next week when I go up for the quilt fair in Belfast. Now, I've just got to tell you a story, right? So I was telling Hannah about when I go to Belfast for the quilt fair next week. Now, Hayley's going to be there. Hayley Bryant is going to be there and Hayley, my boss, is going to be there. Anyway, um, I said I'm being picked up by a tractor from the airport and Hannah went, haven't they got taxis? Well, is it in the olden days and you've got to come on the back of a tractor? Forget it, not realising it was a person's name. Sorry, a tractor. Sorry, a tractor. Look! Yeah, she's cutting corners. She's sending, she's sending a farm hand to collect me. What'd you say, Han? Sold out. Sold out. Bond a web on a roll. Now, this shouldn't. When did we have this as an early bird? Early bird. 23, 19. You get five metres on a roll. Bond web now. Uh, now, we've got Delphine today, and she's not doing any bond webbing. But, Becca Readers. Becca Readers. $23.99 is what this sells for perfectly well on its own. $19.99 for five metres of bond web. Make sure you go through for this. Oh, Becky Alexander Frost says hello. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. At $19.99, she was at Festival of Quilts at the weekend. She's on next week with me. What? 
at 19.99. What is Bond Web? Well, it's a fusible. It's a. <laughs> Hannah asked me that question after I said it, just so you know, everyone. Uh, literally, you, it's what Delphine and all the applica, um, um, uh, car was using the other day. You draw what you want on the, well, it depends, normally you draw it on the paper side, and then what the other side's fusible. You then iron it to your piece of uh, fabric, you cut it out, peel the paper off, and then you can stick it to another piece of fabric. 1999. Delphine always draws it on the uh, other way round. She always puts it on the um, scrunchy side, glue side. A tractor really looking for seeing you on Thursday. I'll rethink my wardrobe and not my wall where my well is. Oh, no, if it's raining, you where your well is. Can you drive in well is a tractor? And can you drive a tractor a tractor? That's what Hannah wants to know. Be funny if she turned up at the airport in a tractor now, wouldn't it? 1999. Oh, yeah, you can drive a tractor in well is, but can you drive a car in well is? Keep going through, keep going through, keep going through. Uh, yeah, we'll see that during the day. Mini iron, quilted bear mini iron. Oh. Cat, where's the open one? I can't see it. Here we go. So this is the quilted bear. I'll do it this way. Comes with a travel hard case. 28 99 That's your price. That's your price. It doesn't go down. That's your special price, right? So what you get is inside, look. Now, if you goggle, pfft, I'm over, over enthusiastic now, aren't I? Oh, a tractor says, don't tempt me. Oh, I'd love driving in a tractor, a tractor. Anyway, look, if you, um, what am I trying to say? Search engine this, right? You can find this case on its own with nothing in it for 16 pounds, right? Then you unzip it like this. It's even got a little holder for carrying it in. Uh, if you're taking it as a travel iron, then you open it up like this, and inside you get your iron, you get your uh, meter, 1.8 meters of cable, you get your little water jug because it's a steam iron, and you get your manual as well. You see all of our designers using this all the time. I'll just take it out quickly. Have a look, right? Look there. So you've got your, um, this is your little hole. Um, opening here to put your water in that's your steam on your steam off Shh. steam on steam off that's your temperature guide there then you've also got this is a lovely little handle i'll show it this way up for you if you want lovely little handle there so if you've got um dexterity issues this is a gorgeous little handle it's got soft touch around the edge there the red light comes on when you switch it on but goes off when it's hot enough you've got your clip there to put your cable in when you're finished there's your steam holes and it works beautifully 28 pounds and 19 pence remember you get the case with it and you get the jug now i just said that if you um search engine for a case like that now i'm not saying it's exactly the same but have a look right at the case there there's a case there uh, 16, is it say 1699? 1699. Case only that. And I don't think there's, a room, there's no hole for your little jug either. Anyway, that's just to show you because you get all of that. So if you think of that, take 1699 of that, that makes the iron 12 pounds. That's ridiculous, isn't it? All our designers using it. Dent, uh, Dawn was using it yesterday, wasn't she? Oh, loads of these went yesterday. That is the price. Don't be waiting for a crash. That's the special price we brought it in at for you. Uh, also, I mean, it, uh, go and have a look at other makes of irons very similar to this. I think you'll be quite shocked. Twenty-eight ninety-nine. Twenty-eight ninety-nine. Beautiful. Keep going through for that. Keep going through. Steam on, steam off. And then look, you just t oh, take the top off like that to put the water in there. At £28.99. Tartan Fat Quarters. Now these look like they're a different um, texture. They look like they're canvassy and duty. Oh, oh, they're nice. 
They're polyester cotton, tartan fat quarters, four of them. What's the matter? Right, six ninety nine for four. That's a good. That's a spec. That's that the price. Oh. Oh, Hannah forgot how low these go. That means they're a pound each. Just less than a pound each, aren't they? That one's slightly thicker than the others. Yeah, beautiful, aren't they? Look. So you've got your fat quarter there, which is your quarter of a yard. I think these will be a yard rather than a metre, these. Oh, 54, no, 54 by 45 centimetres they are. Yeah, I think this might be one that Hannah made up, not one that Hayley gave her, because I don't think she should have gone that low at all. Beautiful, aren't they? You get four of those. Now, they're not, they're not like quilting cotton. That's like an open weave, um, I want to say a very light canvas. That one there is slightly thicker. That feels like a, sh uh, like a lumberjack shirt, that one. That one's the same as that one. And then that one is a beautiful... That lovely that one is. That's got a fleecy side to it, that one. Textile art or anything like that. Or the Hessian we had yesterday, the jute we had yesterday. Be nice if you bought Debbie Shaw's book. I like that one. Shut up. Hannah's being sarcastic to me now. Beautiful, 3.99, keep going through. I, what, what? 99 and a half P a fat quarter. Oh, Anne, what she said. Hi, can the not brassy, <coughs> can the bosses not bring Hannah with them? Really would like to meet her. And she and you make my day with your chats from Annie O. Right, Annie O, H Hannah's not allowed out the country. The police have her passport at the moment. I was watching Virgin River last night, you see, and the boy, they've, they've, they've got the man out on bail, Bree's out on bail, but he can't leave the state. So they've taken his passport off him. Hannah's a bit the same, she can't leave Birmingham. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it's going to be, it's going to be a long day, that one, Hannah, flying out at the crack of dawn and then flying home at night. Oh, she's in Amsterdam that week anyway. Uh, morning, John. So pleased that you're here today. Why did everyone think I was off today? Did I tell everyone I was off today? Working from home with you on the rain is falling outside in potten beds. Potten beds. I think it means potten, Bedfordshire. Anyway, look, these are a pound each. Graphics out. Have I? Are they like in Victoriana? Oh. <laughs> oh, hang on. It's uh, OQZW17. The picture on the web, the packaging is different. I can't get them out because they've got a security tag on them. <laughs> At 7 99 embroidery scissors, matte silver gold. Right, I'm going to get some scissors and chop that off. Crash, crash, crash while I get the scissors. Ooh. They're cute, these. Look. Am I in the right place? $5.99. I can't see you on the app or the website. It's just black. That was yesterday, Catherine. Should we have a look, see if it's working today? No, it's working, Catherine. Refresh your page. Refresh your page. I love you and Hannah, and the chat makes me feel like I'm amongst friends. <laughs> well, me and Hannah aren't friends. <laughs> <laughs> she just said, doesn't make me feel like I'm amongst friends. She's only joking. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Carol. I won't say anything. I won't say anything more. Uh, we, no, actually, you knew that he'd been arrested at the end of the last series, so I'm not, I'm not giving anything away. Thank you for recommending Virgin River. It's a really lovely show. Which series are you on, though? Which series are you on, Carol? The app is working. The app is working today, says Julie. I think Julie watched on the app every day. Anyway, look at these gorgeous little scissors. Look at the look at the filigree work going on there. Five ninety nine. 
on Hannah's days off, she watches on the app as well. Come on really close. It looks like what? Beautiful filigree work on there. Look. Barnacle. It's not a barnacle, it's a bit of filigree. Oh, I've just started watching the new series, Carol. You see, I couldn't get into Netflix, but I'm in now. No, you don't get blocked on Netflix. £5.99. £5.99 they are. Embroidery scissors, matte silver and gold. Graphics out. Double-sided batting tape, yeah. Right, double-sided batting tape from Clo oh from Clover, yeah. I've not got her on mine. Oh no, that's what I was saying. Oh, the change of packaging. Used for sewing and crafting. It's half inches wide. You get twelve millimeters, seven and a half yards on the roll. Clover double-sided basting tape. Well, I think it's because the lady that was on it isn't with us anymore. Maybe. Five ninety-nine. That's your price. It's not crashing. It's five ninety-nine. It's a special price. We brought it in at. Clover double-sided basting tape. I shall move on. I've just looked at the time, actually. You know you can use it for fabric, paper, plastic and wood. Next. Ooh. Gutman, Deco. Oh, I've got the... What, what? I've got three of them. I've got two small ones and the big one. So let me just explain what it is, is you, all these are variegated threads along here and they're your solid threads to go with the variegated. Now these are for ornamental stitches and decorative back stitching. This isn't for your normal uh, sewing machine stitching. Oh, you can use it in the sewing machine but don't use it in the bobbin because it's 70 metres of uh, 70 weight. Is that right? Most beautiful ornamental stitch decorative. Deco stitch 70, 70 metres, yeah. Did you know you now can get the app on Apple TV? I'm very happy, says Carol. Oh, I didn't know that. £45.99, these are. Not today, it's early bird specials. Oh, £34.99. So you took £11. Eleven pounds you took off there. That's fantastic, isn't it? These would be brilliant for if you're doing Delphine's artwork, wouldn't they? What have they used it for? They've used it for uh, top stitching cross cushions, straps of bags, things to go around jam jars. I'm wondering if you could do hand tie quilting with them. Here, look, no, look, they've got cross stitch. They haven't got any quilting on here. They've got um, decorative stitch. Oh, well, hang on, though, look. Oh, I'm confused now. I'm not, they're 100% polyester. I'm not, if a quilter's can mess in, could you do hand tie quilting with these, please? I'm thinking you could, but I want, I want an expert to tell me. £34.99. pence. Oh, no. Brilliant. Keep going through for those. Keep going through. Keep going through. Lovely. What's the next one? Smaller version. Same thread. Same thread. But if you didn't want to buy such a big box, these are your reds and your yellows. Your hot colours, I'd say. 22.99 is where it should be. Not staying there. 
1839. Wasn't that the Franco-Prussian War? Oh, no, it was 1860, wasn't it? 1839. Well, that's well, it's 20 to 7, isn't it? 1839. Everyone? Okay, 1839 on a clock is 6.39 at night time, which means it's 20 to 7. Or 1839, the year, I thought was the Franco-Prussian War, but it's not, because that was 1860. Hannah's confused in all the enthusiasm. Overwhelmed by the prices, she is. £18.39, again, free embroidery, beautiful ornamental stitches and decorative backstitch seams. She wouldn't. Right, morning, I wouldn't hand tie. I prefer to use a thicker thread, a pearl or something. Similar. Thank you, Sharon. Thank you. I just, because I don't know. I don't know because I've never done hand tied. So, no, don't use it if you hand tied. Thank you. Just use it for your lovely top stitching, though. Use it for your lovely top stitching. Right, I'm going to move on because I've got a lot to fit in. I've got the blue and greens now. You know where it's going in the price. 1839. There you go, 18 pounds and 39 pence. There are your blues and your cool colours. Okay. Oh, all the things at the foot, this way for me. Batting tape. This is where, if you want to join pieces of batting, what you do is you don't sew them on top of each other, you butt them edge to edge, and then you iron this on and it joins them together. Fusible seam tape for joining scrap pieces of batting. £9.99. £7.99. We've got some of our new battings coming up later on today. Not all of them, just some of them. Single figures on that already. Single figures already. £7.99. Keep going through for that. I'm only rushing because I've just seen the time. Have I got what? No. Right, now these, right, these came from Jewelry Maker one day when I was on. And I was like, oh, you don't use these for so. But Rebecca Reed said quite sensibly, if you want to store ribbon neatly or something like that, or what? She keeps all her selvages on them, look. They're, they're called medium. They're not going to fit in your sewing machine. Look at the size of them. They won't fit in your sewing machine. 3 99 for eight of them. I have them as a necklace. As, as, oh, I dreamt about Esme last night. How weird is that? At 3 99 you're getting eight of them. Brilliant. I can't believe they're only 3 99 Imagine storing all your lovely ribbons on there. Well, I think I might have to multiply those. Oh, I've done it that way. Three ninety nine. You get eight. You get eight. Brilliant. Now, this next one, I'll be looking forward to in this next one. Right, this was where it was, oh, it was a Festival of a Quilt special, this one. So what they did, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Right, what they did on the day was you, they put mystery fat quarter bundles with five in, right? But what we've done, put two together so you get ten mystery fat quarters. One, two, three, four, five, six. Eight, nine, ten, or ten. They could be any ten, but look, they're designer. They're all designed. There's no planes in there or anything. Right, now, so what you get is you get ten, right? So I'll show you one for now. You get ten. Look, uh, excuse me. Tula, Lewis and Irene. Isn't that Jason? You enter that one there. Look, oh, Lulu. 
Oh, um, 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 I can't remember. Uh, beautiful, beautiful, right? So that's what it could be any 10 desire. De At the moment, they're £3.79 £3 each at the moment. Which is where I designed a fat quarter sit. Yeah, £3.79. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is what they could have done. This is what they could have done. 27, which makes them all £2.79 each now. That's incredible for designer fat quarters. That's either Annie Downs or... Um, or um, Lynette Anderson, isn't it, that one? Um, oh, that's not your price? Right, you ready? That's Riley Blake, that one, look. Okay, right, that makes them £1.99 each. You get 10 designer... Oh, there's a William Morris in there! I can't guarantee that you'll get a William Morris. You'll get designer, look, 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 look. This is, these are just random bundles they brought through for me. You're saving seventeen pounds. That's almost fifty percent off. Oh, that one, I've, you won't get two of the same one. That's just me muddling them up earlier. That's Lynette Anderson, not Annie Downs. So you get loads sent up to you there. Look, look, look! You will get ten. You'll get ten gorgeous. Uh, excuse me. That's Liberty Wiltshire Shadow. That's is that a poppy cotton one there? They're beautiful, aren't they? Take me home to the place I love, whatever it was called. Yeah, it's poppy cotton. Oh, I, I don't remember that one. That's nice. Anyway, you, I can't say which ten you're going to get. I, but you will get ten beautiful fat quarters for nineteen ninety nine. Oh, Sharon says sorry, I'm late. I've been watching. This is Wrexham. <laughs> That's nice. Anyway, beautiful look. You get 10 designer fat quarters. They're lovely, aren't they, Lulu? Oh, oh, that's brilliant. What day did you do this on? It was a festival, of special. It must have been at the weekend. Yeah, that was the what? Oh, 17th. That was the week before festival quilts. The Wednesday before. Started early, didn't we? Anyway, you get 10 random designer fat quarters for nine. Are you sure that's right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Carol said I wasn't going to buy anything, but thank you. Yeah, they're brilliant, aren't they? Designer fat quarters. I know that one as well. Look there, what's that one? Right, oh, it's Riley Blake, yeah. Jerry Robinson planted seeds. Oh, how brilliant is that? How brilliant. You get 10 fat quarters for 19 99 Have you got the fat quarter bag? Fill it. Fill it up. Fill it up. Right, now I've got this um, last one now of the hour. Excuse me. That's because Delphine left her sewing box here the other day and Kat obviously climbed under the table to get it. And then I saw that wafting and I saw the bows all moving. Anyway, look. Do what, what? Three pairs of scissors. I had these. No, I haven't got them. I had them as on the show. Seven inch craft, nine inch dressmaking, four inch needlework. Wonder why they put them in that order. 19, 19 that's your special price. That's your special price. Nineteen ninety-nine for three pairs of scissors. Oh, Hannah. At fourteen ninety-nine for three scissors. Look. Oh, hang on. No, you don't need scissors. These have got proper things so you can keep them in. With the like, but they're safe so they don't fall out. Look, there you go. So there's your nine inches. Hang on, I'll be with you in a second. Hold the line, Paula. There's your seven inches. And there's your four inches. And they're sharp. 
They are sharp. 14.99. I know, keep going through, keep going through, keep going through. Remember when you're checking out that, oh look at that, the designer fat quarter bundle, no pictures of fat quarters. I can't put fabric in because we, don't, we can't tell you what you're going to get. But get those, get those as well. They're the best buy of the day, those, um, those uh, fat quarter bundles. Oof, these are brilliant as well, 14 99 Three scissor bundles, seven, nine, and four. Seven, nine, and four. We're going for a break now. Rebecca reads up after the break. She's going to be making, oh, this month's bottom. Okay, do you want to have a look at it? Here's today's block of the month, right? This is what we're doing straight after the break. Yeah. There it is, there it is. Beautiful. There's that, there's the, the yeah, there, 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 lovely. Right, you'll see that in the graphics over the break, so it gives you a chance to check out. Gemma, good morning. I'll see you in four minutes from now. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task, and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out.
Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos, and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! I'm ever so sorry, but Rebecca Reed's here, everybody. <laughs> Do you want to say hello? Morning. Morning. Oh, look, I look, I look sort of matchy with this quilt, don't I? No. You don't do. It's sort of like reds. All right, then. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How have you been? Yeah, I'm all right. All right. Yeah, Do you have a nice good. time festival of quilts? I loved it. I was only there for one day. Yeah. I just had to be here, but it was brilliant. Met loads of great people. And such a laugh. It's brilliant. It was it's lovely, wasn't such it? Such a laugh. I had such to a brilliant people, time. Because they were just so funny telling me all their stories. Oh, all the, everybody, all the people there. Oh. oh, I learned so many things. It was fab. And I met Cave. Did I tell you that? I've done Have an, I mentioned I've that? I've done an advert <laughs> for you. Tomorrow, on tomorrow's show, mm -hmm. you'll see parts of the interview. Did the advert go out in the break, Bruce? Okay, you'll see it in the next break. You'll see it in the next break. There's an advert, because um, um, Rebecca Reed tomorrow is, well, you're at Festival Quotes, you interviewed Cave. Yes, and that was really good. Yeah. I asked him lots of questions. Yeah. Do you know he'd never heard of Barra Brith? Really? Has he not been to, I was going to say he's not been to Wales, but he's whole Quilts book in Wales. Welsh, yeah. So my first question was, um, Welsh cakes or Barra Brith? Oh. So he said, I've never had Barra Brith. Oh no, has he had Welsh cakes? Yes, and he liked them. Yeah, yeah, because Gainey normally makes his Welsh cakes. Mm, well, he'd never had Barra Brith. I actually talked I've said to that him. every day since the batch, didn't bring them with her. To I talked to him through the recipe and everything. Oh, did you? <laughs> oh, oh, I don't think he'll do his own cooking, will he? Doubt. Uh, Brandon will do it though. And I did ask him who his best friend was. And he said, Brandon, I thought, oh, good. Just as well, if Brandon's <laughs> sitting next to him. He wasn't actually, he was just, he was somewhere else. So we could have said oh, someone good. else. Yeah, he was going out on telly. Yeah, good point. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Anyway, anyway, it's block of the month. It's block of the month. Block of the month. Now, just explain to, if, if you've been not around, uh, seeing Rebecca shows for the last sort of five or six months, what is block of the month? What's the whole plan behind right, this? Right, well, the idea is, is that there are 12 blocks and then you collect one every month. And then if you want to, you make them into all a big 
into a quilt. Now right. we've done loads of block of the month, haven't we? Like birds and cats and yeah, dogs, and there's new ones to off tomorrow. So yeah. we've done flowers and stuff. So I decided <coughs> that with Amber makes we would do a sewing one because that's my favourite thing. So each block features an item, like a, a sewing item or right. like a quilt block or okay. something. Yeah. So what you do when you get your pack, your kit, you get a set of instructions and a panel. Now the panel will make the block. Right. That month. Here. This so this seven. is this month. This is number seven. Can't believe we're number oh, is seven. Oh, it seven? But what I thought as well, now if you don't want to collect all 12 and you don't want to make the whole thing, then each block is standalone. Right. So you get all the pieces to make your block. Yeah. You get the pieces to make a small project that sort of goes with it. So we've done like a... Is that this bit here? Yes. Yeah. So we've done a scissor case, um, a tray, we've done a zip, all sorts of, but just a little project. Right. That's, like, this is this month. That's like your sort of little ex added extra. That's the petal part. So you get the you get the fabric on the panel and the instructions in the instructions of how to yes. make that. That's the that's the additional one. Oh look at that arty picture there. I took that. Right. I actually took that myself. Did you? And all the buttons fell on the floor. It took me ages to pick them Did up. Did you put it on over on the wall? <laughs> <laughs> uh, now then each month though is a separate a different technique, isn't it? Or yes. something like well, that. Well some yes, they're they're not all different. Right. But there are lots of different techniques. So we've got piecing, we've got applique embroidery, FPP. So EPP. what's this month? Though? This is piecing and applique together. Right. So what you can do is you can make the block with the fabric on the panel or you could just cut the picture out and use that as, as another project. So on the panel is the illustrated one. Yeah. So if you decided, oh, well, I don't want to make that one, but I do want to make the quilt, you can use the illustrated one. But also in the instructions, there's, there's a project to use that illustrated panel for. And this month it's a cushion. It's a cushion. And if you collect them all, because all the blocks are the same size, you can use then any of the projects with any of the blocks. Oh, I see. So if you wanted to make week, month two into a cushion, yes. use this month's pattern to make block two. Indeed. And also, if you thought, well, I don't want to make the whole quilt, but I like that cushion, you could piece the block yeah. and put it into the cushion. You right. Because they're all the, the illustrated panel and the piece block's the same size. Okay, so that means at the end of the 12, you'll have, if you've made all 12, yes. you've got 12 pieced or applique yeah. or whatever blocks, mm. you've got 12 pictures, so you yes. can make one ginormous yes. quilt so if you want to. Yes, so at the end, I'm going to do a set of instructions of how to make the quilt, and we'll do a panel with the fabrics, the sashing and stuff, and I'm going to make one that's got all 20 on. Oh wow. So you can choose whether yeah. you do 12 or 12 24. Or 24. Uh, now uh, uh, Hannah's saying down maybe you've got a Facebook page. Yes so when you join when you buy the instructions yeah. there's a secret code on the back I hope. Right Where here. is it? There, got yeah. it, got it, found <laughs> so it. So you can join our Amber Makes Sewing Block of the Month Facebook group but you need the secret code to join is it. Is that secret code the same every month? Yes. Oh, okay. And then when you join it, then any then you can ask questions or you can interact with everyone. But also we put things on there, like we put the FPP pieces and the EPP pieces and templates and things. And now what, and happens, if you, got, uh, what happens if I've got what if I've got Facebook and I need to ask you something? Just this email on the back and just email me. But also when you join the the group, you get the pattern for free to make the block keeper. Oh wow! Which is this the um, first block keeper we ever first, did, wasn't it? The first block keeper. So the block keeper. It's basically, it's a book and you keep your blocks, you can keep any blocks in it, you can keep up to a 14 inch block. So there you are, you just, these are all the past blocks. I've put the illustrated ones now. So in, if you printed. buy any of the, the seven so far block of the month, you'll get the code for the Facebook page and the, on the Facebook page will be that pattern. And some people have emailed me who've got it and said, I haven't got Facebook and they've told me the code and I've emailed them the PDF. Oh, okay, so, so. so if you haven't got Facebook, don't worry, they'll send the Yeah, so PDF when, but when you join it, you get the the free pattern to make the block keeper. Okay, Brendan, we'll go through the sense. past six a bit <laughs> later on, so we need to get on with this. So let me just show you what this, this month is. So this month is the instructions. Yeah, some people have collected them all and not made anything yet because they all made the blocks up yeah. because then at the end of the, end of the 12 months, there you go. Ba uh, bank holiday three weekend means I could, might actually get started on block number one and get as many done as possible to get caught up with this one <laughs> before uh, before this one is delivered from Andrea. Oh, Andrea, don't rush. You, you enjoy it. That's yeah, what it is. Yeah, it doesn't matter. So anyway, there's all the instructions for both the, the cushion, the piecing, and the little... Oh, can't show you the back. Yeah, that's the secret code. Okay, over 100 went in the break. Over 100 of these went in the break, just so you know. And then this is the panel. So I'll, I'll show you the panel, right? So 
that's your background your neutral there is your background the two squares on this side are to make your little strawberry fruit thing then you've got your um the full-on image there then you've got your basket weave for you making your, pa your pattern then the thing across the bottom that's for the handle and the for the handle the but look at the top here there's all your applique pieces here for your scissors and your buttons and all your poppers or whatever no buttons and your pin cushion to go in the basket so you've thought of everything for all for 14.99 which is brilliant. So you're getting, for 14, like, let's just think about this, right? For 14.99, you're getting the pattern of how to make a cushion, the pattern of how to make the thing, and the pattern of how to make, what's this called? The petal pouch. The petal pouch, right? Like petal Plus, pouch. when you then get it, you can then go on the Facebook page and get a free pattern to make the block keeper. Yeah. All for 14, I'm getting overexcited, look. All for 14.99. Yeah, amazing. You'll never be a rich woman at no, this No, I know, but I wanted, you see, if, if you if you do all of this, you'll have this amazing quilt at the end, but you'll have learned loads. Yes, exactly. And, and enjoy doing it. Because enjoy they're it. all little projects. You see, I'd be quite happy yeah, to sit down one afternoon long. and make this. That's a beautiful little project to and make, And there's loads it? of photos of how to do it. So it's, none of them are difficult. Yeah. But it means that you can try a technique. Maybe like you haven't done FPP before. You can just try it in yeah, a yeah, small yeah. way. There's Not no this FPP one. on this no, one No, but today. Number, number four was FPP. Was it? four <laughs> all the other weeks are on pre months all the other months sorry are on pre-order and i'll show you them at the end of this so we got to get on with yes oh we've got a question first rebecca is there a panel of fat quarter fabric you were yes. reading my mind <laughs> yes, there that is. goes with this month block of the month from anne in cheshire there is but th this is one that you've shown already yes yeah, so there? i used it for the cushion because around the edge of the cushion are pinwheels and then on the back you've got this spools so this, isn't this one is a brand new one but that this is the fatter quarter that i used for this one we've got a brand new one for next month oh have you yeah. so the thing is if you want to you do the back of the cushion and all that sort of thing this is huge fatter quarters you've got cotton reels you've got big cotton reels you've got little cotton reels on blue i can't figure out what oh stitching stitching and I used that on the back of it. So that's what I used for this one. But it's not a brand new one. No, no, no. That's the one we matched in with this one. Yeah, but it's not brand new. There the is a brand new one coming month next month. It's a brand new one. And I've got other fatter quarters coming up later in the show as well. Right, OK. Now you're going to show us. Can we start? Now, I've actually cut all my bits out in advance. I feel Good. Like, it's because like, you saw Cindy and she was all I, her steps. I feel like you? a Blue Peter queen. Well. So the way that you make this block yeah. here is you make it in rows so shall i put it flat and then we can see it better so and and it's all in the instructions now when you cut it out all the cutting out instructions are in there yeah you cut the background fabric into lots of pieces cut the biggest pieces first which it does say and they're in order so you've got some strips that go on the border so cut those first so you've got loads so you won't run out but if you cut the longest ones first that's best then it's all made in rows, which is really simple. The basket is done first, then the applique, and I've labelled it all, and there's a little diagram. So you've got row A, B, C, D, E, and F. Right. And then you join them all together. So I'm going to show you how to make row A. Oh, look, there's a... I'll show you. There is a diagram, you see there, that shows you how all the rows are put together. So you can see. It's quite simple. And I've done pictures of every single stage, so you've got a picture of every row, so you know what you're aiming for. Fabulous. So the whole thing is the snowballing corners which is used in all of the row nearly all of the rows i'm going to show you how to do that so for row a i've cut all of my pieces out in advance and labeled them so i would do that but you could just um label the back of them with a friction pen if if you prefer i just printed mine out because it was easier so row a squares row a side sections and the handle so once you've labeled them that's easy oh i do need a friction pen forgot that oh there's nothing to... hang on oh was the one here yeah okay forgot that bit honestly 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 you think i would i remembered my what sewing else do you machine. need now i You're need a ruler something... now what ruler do you need? any old ruler. hi rebecca i've got all your blocks so far and they're wonderful i've learned so many deck techniques and yeah, enjoyed okay. every one of them but she's here looking for a ruler i've got a really big ruler now you is that one all right it's fine i just need to draw a line um, thank you, Karen. That's brilliant. I'm glad you're enjoying them so far anyway. So what we're going to do is snowball corners. Now, snowball corners, I don't know why it's called that, but it's where you cut off a corner of a square or a rectangle with a square or a rectangle. I don't know why it's called that. Is it because snowballs? I don't know why it's called that. 
Because it's gone round, I suppose, is it? Goes yeah, but round. it's not round, is it? Well, it is, it's if you look at it quickly. <laughs> Oh, no, because snowballs aren't perfectly round, are they? All no, got kind that's of... true. So, anyway, that's what it's called. So, what you do is you take a square yeah. and you draw a diagonal line from one corner to the other on the other side with maybe a ruler a little bit smaller than this one. Or anything, really. But it's fine. I've only got to do, do two lines. But John's hiding behind the quilt now. I remembered everything else. Oh, he's got me a little ruler now rather than a great big one. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, so I've drawn my two diagonal lines. Now I'm going to sew them to the handle. So it's important that you get them in the right orientation. There is a picture of this step, but basically what I'm doing, let me show you on here, is you see the top of the handle. I'm going to cut the corners off it to make them slope because I'm making row A, it's the top one. So pin one one way and one the other way. I'm going to put a pin diagonally through there. April says, yes, I'm one of those. I've collected all but not started yet. My only confusion each month is if I need the extra quarter fatter panel, which you've just answered. Thank you. You, you, can, you can get them and add them to all the bits and bobs, or you could just use stash fabric if you don't I know, want to. I have a, in the instructions, I've listed the exact sizes of fabric you need, and I've put, or you can use this, but yeah. you don't have to, because no, I've no, listed. No, no, But it's quite nice if they're all going to tie in, if you are going to make all if the other projects. If you're going to make the others, yeah. but for the actual block, you don't need anything else. It's yeah. all on the panel. Right, so now I've put my... Um, my snowballs and then just double check that they are going the right way have a look at your picture because i have done them the wrong way and it's quite annoying well just turn it upside down if they're going the wrong way don't you oh well not if you've got one going one way and one the other way oh no if you've got them go yeah, and exactly. i have done that okay so now i'm going to just sew this right because it's a little seam i'm going to reduce the stitch length a bit oh. now you've got this machine why are you looking I so have, confused well, because i'm because it's saying i need a different foot and i don't want a different foot I don't know why it's telling me that. Oh. It's, do you know why? It's, oh, I know why. It's because Delphine and I have just been playing with it and we set it to free motion. It's all good now. Right, you're ready now, then. <laughs> it's because, well, I, there's a lot of questions I got about the machine. Yeah. So I said to Delphine, right, we've got 10 minutes. These are my questions. Right. And she answered them all. Okay, but you've forgotten to unset the machine. I'd set it to free motion because yeah. she was showing me how that worked. Right, so I'm going to reduce the stitch length a tad because it's a little seam. Right. Because you've got to be really careful not to sort of muck up the ends. But actually, Delphine explained to me about that. I need to change my, my plate. So yeah, you need to go on the time. straight the straight. Yeah, I, I didn't know that. Oh, did you not? No, no. I mean, I knew it was that. I thought that was for, like, super fast sewing. I didn't know it was um, better. No, it's for best for straight, for, for pure straight stitching. Well, yeah. she said it, it's better for when you're doing things like this. It doesn't... It doesn't take the corner yeah, down. Yeah, exactly. and I didn't know that. It's because the hole's much smaller. Yeah. So it doesn't go through a wide hole with a zigzag, so it literally only let you go in a straight stitch. Well, that's it now, because I do, I mean, this is probably this, the majority of the sewing I do is all these little bits of pieces yeah. anyway. So. so how are you finding your new machine? <gasps> Absolutely love it, because I've been doing free motion quilting and free motion embroidery with it, and uh -huh. it's just brilliant. And how are you coping with having a flat bed and no free arm? It's absolutely fine. I did worry about that, but it's not too wide, no. actually. And I, maybe I don't use that too much, and there's always ways around these things. Cause oh no no no! Because if you work if you uh, work on a, an industrial machine, you've only got a flat bed. You know oh. what I mean? Lots of time I spent my whole time just working. And on how flat did bed you cope with that? Oh, you just you just like you say, you just get used to it. Rather than taking the thing off and, and putting a sleeve on, you learn to sew the sleeve from the inside of the curve. What do you need now? The iron. Oh, pfft. it's really organised. Aren't yeah, it? we're very organised. Which one have you taken? The big one. Okay. Um, well, also the flat bed sometimes on them. Isn't, I won't have the one with cling film. No, no, I've got a nice clean one here for you. <laughs> Where did you use the one with cling film? Last time Delphine was on with me, we managed to melt a plastic bag, one of these project bags on the iron. <laughs> so suddenly looked and the whole thing was going, you know, when they start shrinking. We don't tell them things that go on backstage because it's supposed to look seamless. This was actually on air. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Is it warm enough yet? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it will be. Love this as well. 162.99 the iron. Oh. So when you've done that, now you can see, um, before you cut it, fold it over so it meets the corner. If you do, if you do that first, then, you, then you'll get a nice right square. If you cut the fabric and then do it, you don't know whether it's definitely right, because I give it a good pull so that that meets that corner. Brilliant. And then give it a nice press. Well, you got this iron as well then? Got this iron as well, I had a very expensive month. Yeah. I had been saving, but I bought the iron and the sewing machine in the same month. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. You're going to keep needing it? Yeah, I might need it again. No, no, I'll put it there then, okay. that's right. 
Um, when you've done that, then just cut off the the extras because you don't need those now. Otherwise, it's too much bulk. So this is really simple, isn't it? That's really easy. Then I'm going to go. I've got row A side sections, and I'm going to sew them either side. Now, just be careful with this background fabric because it's very pale. Right. And you just need to be, you know, just have a really good look because one side is obviously white and one side has got the print. It's like a calico effect print. So um, I'm obviously telling you things that I've done wrong. It's quite easy to sew the wrong side on. So just put that right sides together. Because we're sewing a unseamed fabric to a seamed fabric, put the seamed one on top just because you can then um, be sure that you're not turning that seam over when you're uh -huh. sewing. If you've got a fabric with two seams on both sides, you just have to concentrate more. Over half the stock's gone. This is one of my favourite ones, actually. Oh, is it? I just really like the sewn, but I like the cushion. I think it's really pretty. Where in your house is that going to go? Um, in my special sewing space. Well, actually, no, because you have to leave these here, <laughs> yeah, don't you? I, I just like, I think it's just a really pretty one. It's so funny. Yesterday, we were saying, like, about the guests when they make things. Because Dawn was saying yesterday, which bits do I leave with you and which bits and all that. And I said, well, let's get Rebecca Reed things out. And Kat went, oh, Rebecca Reed always takes her so for safekeeping. For sa yeah, I know. I know what happens otherwise. Yeah, we also know what your house looks like with all your projects all dotted <laughs> around it. You should see the top of my piano. Oh, yeah. It's like that. Is it? It's like a mountain. <laughs> Must put some shelves up. Right, um, what are you stitching? So I'm going to say that. I'm going to just swap my feet over because they're so quick. Are you can do what? I'm going to just swap over to a quarter of an inch foot because it's so quick with this machine. Now I yeah. know how to use it. Press number four. Ta -da. That's magic, isn't it? Honestly, having a quarter of an inch foot. Never had one before. Have you not? <gasps> no, my machine didn't have one. It was an extra, which I clearly never purchased. Yeah. There were so many other bits that you could purchase that I did, like a concealed zip foot. Now, that's a good thing. But I never purchased a quarter of an inch foot. But this machine comes with it. Yeah. And then I'll just do the other one quickly. Right, and then I'm just going to press that open. It's up to you whether you press them to one side or open. Does it not matter? Not then? really. So that's entirely up to you. I mean, you can, if you like, be sure that you press all the seams to one side in opposite directions, all the block, all the rows. But I didn't, to be fair. What you can do is when you're matching them together, but not all of the seams match up in each row anyway, you can then repress them. Yeah. But it's to try and work that out as you go along, it's not easy. So there is row A. So that's the top of the handle. Right. Now, um, to save a bit of time, You've I, made row. I have made the other rows. So there's my borders, put them there. Because otherwise, the, the other rows are made in exactly the same way. Yeah. But obviously the um, handles come in different sections in a different place. So there's row B. Right. And there's row C. So it's the same thing, but obviously with these, you've got two snowballed corners to make this handle. Yeah. That's all in the instructions. It's all it? in the instructions. There's row D. Okay. So it's looking like a bit of an elongated handle. Yeah. Row E, you don't have to make. It's just a piece. Oh, okay. So that's nice, isn't it? So that's the top of the basket. Right. So um, I will join them together in a minute, but I'm going to do row F first. Now, row F is the basket. So let's move those out and I'll join them together in a bit. Um, is the bottom of the basket. Now, we could have just printed the basket. Well, we have printed it as a piece. Yeah. And we could have printed it so it goes alternate directions. Right. But you do get a different look when you actually make something, mm -hmm. don't you, than if that, that was printed. So. I've made that, but look, that's what it looks like. It's lots of little squares. So I've got a few here. What you do is you cut them all into squares. There's 36 of them. And then when you join them together, you put one that way, and then you put the next one that way. Could you not have done that thing where you throw three rows together? Oh, and then cut and it. And then cut them up, so you're not... Yeah, ever... probably. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I just think some people don't like saying little squares, that's all. You they? could have done, yes. Yes, I guess you could have done fours, but then I didn't know whether it would all work out. It might have done. Never mind, doesn't matter. Mm, good do little squares. Good point. And you know, you've probably got enough to do that. So yeah. you just join them all together like this in little rows. 
um, row one and three are the same and they're just alternate so I didn't pin them I just went like <laughs> this I can't even get that's that wrong right. that's right that's it I know but you when you're doing it your eyes go oh, horizontal vertical horizontal vertical so join them all together it's really simple just right sides together quarter yeah. inch seam that makes that then you join them all together then what we're going to do to get the little corner on the basket you have little corners so I'm going to just draw again this is exactly the same as your the snowballing okay make sure you check that you draw on the white side not the print side yeah because I could have you make a half square triangle if you wanted to you could but this well oh well. this works best it's easier okay, I think okay. to join all the rows together I'm not trying to be difficult I'm just no, asking no, no, questions you, that people ask well I know I did think that but then you'd have had to join that into that and I think it's easier to join the whole thing together because I did think about that yeah but you yeah. could yes I'm not I'm, I promise you I'm not being difficult no, uh, message from not. Jackie here we go uh, ordered this block mind you I haven't got the others yet just love the look of the cushion <laughs> so refreshing to know the experts can mess it up too <laughs> always when did always. you up well I've said lots of things that this is I, the reason I know is because I've done them yeah, yeah, many yeah. times the wrong way around well, it's because no, you I, don't concentrate that's why I don't rarely rarely concentrate yeah, yeah, that's what Hannah's saying. You could, uh, you don't have to buy all twelve. If you just like this one and number nine or something like that, well, then just buy those. Well, that's why I did the extra projects because I think sometimes you don't want to commit to a whole thing. And you? also, sometimes if you've got like, like at home, I've got about twenty quilts, right? And I don't want all twenty out all the time. No. But I love them all, and I keep mm. thinking, oh, she get. Whereas if I had a cushion and a quilt and a wall yes. hanging and this, then you can have them out all the time, or, or have them, you know, have them out more yeah, often. Yeah, well, sometimes you? you don't want all of that. So no. that's and like, well, it started off with the sewing machine block in number one when I made it into a sewing machine. Exactly. Cover, and then I thought, well, I've committed it to an haven't I? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so I've pinned those on. You can see that they're going to go. Just have another thing. Is that going the right way? Is that going the right way? Yeah, it is actually. Okay. Now I need to take my foot off because have you ever tried sewing does your machine not come with a quarter inch foot without the guide on it um, you haven't looked this have one, you i have no idea okay ask delphine afterwards oh really it might have a quarter inch foot oh, without the have little the, thing the, the, like the ski on it yeah oh well i don't know but then she showed me there was well about the plate and also she uses a different free motion foot than I do oh yeah didn't even know about that one. Oh, there you go. well I decided I wasn't gonna read the whole manual because otherwise that I'd, I'd never use it I'm just gonna learn what I need as, as I you go. go along and then as, you learn the wrong way and as a result there's loads of things I don't even know it can do like all the stitches I did I did learn blanket stitch the other day because my old machine didn't have that uh-huh and that's fab how old was your old machine then well no like only five or six years oh. it's not really old it's funny it doesn't have all those things on because you know when we first started at sewing quarter yeah it's when we had machines like this one but then my old machine did something this didn't which is a really a shame it stopped with the foot up and i do miss that can i be all open no can't. Can't just all. unboxing my elna 720 pro it arrived Ooh. yesterday wendy on the wet isle of white Fantastic. oh wendy get it out of the box wendy because yeah. i left mine in the hallway for a few hours and thought no get it out of the box yeah. and use it what did you do in the few hours that it was sitting in the box watch the telly oh <laughs> i thought you were going to do something like oh i had very important jam to make or no and i something. and then one of the, my sons came home and goes, Mum, why is that not out of the box? I went, I'm just going to leave because that's ridiculous. And he started getting out and that was that, really. Were you nervous? Well, though? I just thought, oh, because I had quite a lot to do. And I thought, oh, I haven't got time to learn that. But oh, then I'd okay. have just delayed it, wouldn't I? And yeah, you managed to take a picture of it on your doorstep. Yeah, I did. And then I put it in the hallway. <laughs> and then I went back and watched the telly. Right, so now I've, bought, now I've done the corners of my um, basket. Yeah. So that's easy peasy, isn't it? You see, and these techniques now that you're learning, you can then use for other things because you'll learn so many things that you think, oh, I know how to do that now. Um, and then all I'm going to do is sew, I've got so many pins and bits of paper now. I'm going to sew the, the little side strips just to make it the right size. Uh -huh. So right sides together, but then turn it over because we've got the, we need to do it with the seams. When you do the seams, when you sew all your little basket pieces together, um, sew one row at a time and press all the seams one way and then the next row and press them the other because it's a lot easier to match up yeah but when you sew the rows together press the seams open because there's so much bulk going on in uh -huh. there and you'll it'll be too bulky now you'll find when you sew this on that these side strips will seem like a bit short because that happens when you sew right 
because um, the fabric does. Now I discovered this the other day, what you do is if you pin that end into your ironing board, this is my top self learned tip. Okay. Because you need to stretch that so it fits. Yeah. Then it stays in place. If, you, if you're in, actually in your ironing board, it'll stay in. And then that means you have sewn one end, that stays in place, you can then pin it in the middle. Because all of that seaming makes it shrink a bit, doesn't it? <laughs> John's looking at me now. Well, I just think it's called the block and press. <laughs> Because you could do that, yeah, but for something little like this, I always block it afterwards, the oh, whole okay. thing. But like each individual one, no. Or if you're sewing, you know when you're putting like a sashing or a border yeah. on and you want to do like, you pin it at the by the end and then halfway. Yeah, yeah, and half then you've got and to get half it all and done. half, yeah. I always pin one end to my ironing board so I can pull the other one and then I know it's all nice and fine. Oh, okay. But How you long's your ironing board? Do you imagine you doing that on this? Oh, then that I would do like in say quarters. Okay. So I would do a bit, but then you, by pulling it, you, it then fits nicely. Because they are, I mean, it will fit, it's the right measurement. It's yes. just that all those seams make it shrink a bit. So with this one, you can actually just pull it and hold it. Yeah. But if you if it's a longer one, pin it to your board. Probably everyone else does that. I pick up these things and think, I bet everyone else has done that. I've yeah. only just found it out. And you've been saying for a hundred years. Hundreds of years. I know I discovered the other day the best way to cut strips of fabric and how many strips of fabric have I cut? And what was that? Well, you know when you're doing um cutting lots of strips and then you're yeah. and then you're sub cutting. Yeah. So say you've got eight two inch strips from the full width of fabric yeah. and you want to cut like two inch squares from those. Now you can't pile up eight because you never get it right. Right. It starts going off after yeah, about yeah, three. Yeah, yeah. But if you put on your cutting mat pat of two all in a row and lay and then line them up with the lines on the cutting mat yeah you can cut them all did you learn that from sound street we no, do that, that quite all, often no i learned that all by myself okay. and thought, oh that's a good well, if you watch more often you'd learn these <laughs> but things. when i learned it i thought i bet everyone else does this anyway yeah. what's the matter Hans? <laughs> yeah she thinks subconsciously you've watched it here and then a few months later remembered it and thought it reckon? was your own it's I, like your eyes when you have a deja vu it's because your eyes are faster than your brain well i was just thinking well i can't cut more than three stacks really no, but you can if you line them up like. well well that was that was honestly myself discovered the tip that, and then i thought but everyone else does that anyway yeah. emma bradford does it delphine does it well susie duncan does it really <laughs> i thought that i thought i've this my new invention okay new machine new invention So when you sew over these um, seams, just make sure they're still lying flat. Yeah. So it's only a little block, but you know, I mean, it doesn't really matter if they're not completely flat, but it's good practice because the more seams that you keep flat, the flatter your block will be. Yeah, exactly. I usually aim for about 80%. Oh, do you? <laughs> well, because otherwise you beat yourself up, don't you? That yeah. you skewed your seam. But it's like when you're doing a diet, isn't it? So as long as you stick to 80% of it, you'll be all right. Yeah, unless the 20% is big fat donuts. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. I know, they brought round all those pastries this morning. Yeah, Zina came Did in here with them, one? yeah. Did you have one? Yeah, I'm not supposed to eat them and I've eaten one already. No, I was really, I went, no, no. Yeah, they're I not gluten-free, are they? <laughs> I won't have one. Right, so there's my edges and um, up to you whether you press it open or to one side. I might press this one to one side. I always do it from the front, don't know why. Set your seam first, because that's nice. Yeah. Over 200 of these have gone now, once you've all checked out. Wow, wow. So look, there's the whole basket there. Um, so, I need to sew them all together. Yeah, you've only got about 10 more minutes. Oh, I'm not gonna have time to sew them together, am I? Well, no, to carry on, Okay. Keep going. If you didn't chat so much, maybe you would. <laughs> I think it's your fault. I've done nothing but sit here and just drink my ginger water <laughs> and get you a ruler get and a ruling. friction pen and all the other things you forgot. I remembered the machine. <laughs> no, you didn't. That's not your machine. Oh, no, but I remembered to, I remembered to make sure it worked before I came in. Yeah, because mm. Delphine brings her own, you see. I know. I'm not bringing mine. They're ever so heavy. Yeah. Well, I mean, they're not too Your little heavy car would be on two wheels and you put it on would. the back seat, wouldn't I'm it? I'm not absolutely sure the last time that I pumped the tyres up either. Oh, no. Oh, I can't be bothered with such things. I need somebody to do that for me. 
Uh, actually, somebody, some big butch man came up to Hayley B yesterday upstairs in the office and mm. said, talked about pumping up tyres and there was this machine on the desk and I saw, oh, have you borrowed his machine to pump up your tyres? She went, no, he's borrowed my machine. It's Hayley Bryant's machine to pump oh, up your tyres. Oh, has she? So, yeah, some big butch bloke had to borrow her. I don't know who oh, was. Oh, I really ought to do it. It's just such a tedious job, You're supposed to it? check all the time. Never. Never. I get the car service once a year. Twice. Just the once. Oh, just the once. Oh, yeah, once a year, once a year. And I said to the man the other, when I did service, I said, oh, I said, the windscreen wiper intermittent's broken. I said, it just only, it doesn't work at all. And he said, have you ever read your manual? I went, oh, it'd be ridiculous. <laughs> and he said, you've got the switch turned off. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. Oh, I know. And I went, oh, I'm really sorry. You know, probably thought it was really stupid. Have you ever read your car manual? Does anyone read their I car manual? I only read manual? it if something flashes at me. I get it out if a light flashes at me. No, oh, I don't read it. It's just... It's like reading a sewing machine manual, isn't it? Well, yeah, but if you'd Too done that, pages. you'd know about the plate and you'd know about all that. Oh, I know and there was something else the other day. I said, he said, how many miles have you done? I said, I've no idea. I said, that bit's broken. He said, oh, well, you just have to press this button. Yeah, yeah, yeah you press the buttons and it tells you all different things, yeah. honestly. I didn't know that that button was there. Okay. It works. Yeah. It drives, doesn't it? So when you sew it together, just some of the seams you need to match up. But because it's all little pieces, they pretty much do. But just have a little look as you're going along yeah. to make sure they match up. And because it's only a small block, if they don't match up and you're not happy with it, just unpick it and do it again. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, because it's, a, it's got a basket handle, it does help if they match. Yeah. Now, I've noticed you do something that a lot of... Um patchworkers or quilters don't do most of them don't do a reverse stitch at the back of the front but you are well a lot of them don't because they're then sub cutting aren't they um so you can't if you're strip piecing and sub cutting no 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 when they're when they're sewing together like that oh i don't. always do i really annoys me when it comes undone okay. also with something like this because it's such little seams i'm going to press these seams open right and because of that i will need to yeah um, have the end secure. If you're pressing to one side, you don't have to, but they're little rows, and I think it's better if you press them uh -huh. open. And also, even then, sometimes they come undone. But if I'm, do you know, I, even, even if I strip piece, I'll reverse stitch at the beginning and end. Okay. I don't know why. Maybe it's just. You Did know you start off as a dressmaker? Yes. That's why. Yes, I think so. Because I do as well. Yes, I do. And it's automatic. Oh, it's an automatic. It? You leave. I automatically any stitch, any seam I sew, I automatically reach for the yes. reverse button, oh, whether you have to it. or not. Oh, maybe that's it. So I, I think it's because you're used to. Because at dressmaking, you always do. You always reverse at beginning and end, don't you? Yeah, that is the well. When I first learned to sew, like my, my mum, you know, you you make a dress, don't you, or a yeah. um, a toweling hooded top. Hoodie is what it's the first thing I made. Oh, was it? From you know when you get the first time you have a dress pattern and you cut it out and do it. Yeah. It was a toweling, a red toweling hoodie. Oh, oh. I was so proud of it with the kangaroo pocket. Oh. Oh, what pocket? Oh, kangaroo pocket. Kangaroo yeah, pocket, yeah. You know. I, was, I, I had visions like of you appliqueing a kangaroo's onto it. No, the... no. It was a kangaroo pocket. I'm nearly there. Good. See, it's coming together, and I've got a handle. And then you just put the next row on. The next row is easy because that isn't pieced. It's a good job I made all these in advance, is isn't it? it? We'd have been here all day. But that was the main thing I wanted to show you anyway, is that it's quite simple. And if you want to make, you know, if you want to design your own block, all you need is a graph paper and, you know, make sure everything is squares or triangles and then you can do it yourself. Yeah. Using this method. So you can turn something that's on graph paper into fabric. Let's look how fast it goes. Like me on the motorway. I've it's also not bouncing anywhere or anything, no, is it? It's a really it's lovely... It's such a solid machine. Yeah. That is not going anywhere. I've got to do a speed awareness course. Oh, have you? Yeah, have you upset. I went on one of those. They're brilliant. Well, do you know, it said you can do it virtual or in a centre. And I was oh, about you have to, to go click, to the centre. Well, I was about to click on virtual and I thought, three hours on Zoom? No, no way. No way am I doing that. So I've got it in the centre. You know, they take your phone off you when you go in. Do they? Yeah. Well, just in case you cheat. No, not because you cheat. Because what happened was uh, that there was um, a famous person in a, what's it, and somebody took a picture of them and sold oh. it to the press. 
And then there was another, uh, this is nothing to do with your phone, there was another one where the husband had one, the wife had one, they hadn't told each other. They both said, oh, we've got a meeting today. And they both <gasps> turned up at the same. Well, you learn all that when you go to them. Oh, so. that's funny, yeah. isn't it? Why and also, you if you're in a room, tell? they ask if you know, I don't know why, at the beginning, they ask if you know anybody in the room. <laughs> I'm not quite sure why that is. <laughs> is that, isn't, do they think that maybe they're on a jury and they've got confused? They're what? I think they're doing a jury and they've got confused. Maybe. Don't do many juries in Stratford, um, not Garden Centre. <laughs> We didn't do the garden centre. What's the thing where the horses run round in a circle? Race course, race course. <laughs> oh, mine's in a village hall. Oh, is it? Yeah. I'm glad there wasn't one in Bath. I've got to go to a little village outside Bath. Oh. I took my sewing machine manual to the 720 when I went for a hospital appointment and read it while I was waiting for Carol Mosley. No, what? no. Whilst I was waiting, full stop. She wasn't waiting for Carol Mosley. She is Carol, Carol Mosley. That's a really good idea. Maybe that's what I should have, yeah. You kind of need that space and time, don't you? Yeah. I mean, I've been through a lot of it now because I have used loads of different things. Right. Watching Amber Makes, which I've got and Amber Makes. <laughs> so you're not even mentioned. <laughs> right. There we Ray! go. Hey. So there's my basket. Now, obviously, you'll give that a really nice press and press every seam open, but I'm not going to do that because I've got time. Yeah. Um, now... The next thing to do is the applique pieces. And I'm just going to show that because I wouldn't have time to do it all. Oh, no, the next thing you do is put the borders on, but they, they just go around sides, tops and bottoms. Yeah. I'll do that later. So what you do is then you press bondaweb to the wrong side of all of the applique pieces and then cut them out. So as I say in the instructions, cut them out roughly with a bit of white fabric around the edge. Otherwise, you'll get bondaweb all over your work surface and on your iron. And then cut them out individually then you have to arrange them so I would say that have a look at the photo that uh, there's a photo on the um, front cover of the instructions and there's a photo further on in the block but then you can have a look to see how they go so if I was going to arrange them if I'm going to copy this lay them all like how you want them I mean copy the picture or do you do your own I was going to say do your own if you want can't do, you do your own but I would start off by copying it because then you can get an, a vague idea. Oh, with the um, scissors, you need to cut that out. It's just I decided they wouldn't transport very well. But do cut that out. So pop them all where you fancy them going. Now, what you'll see from mine is that they go into the basket. Now, there are two ways of doing this. If you, what I did with mine is I laid them all on yeah. how I wanted them to be. And then the bits that overlapped, I drew a line on them yeah. and cut them off. And then I pressed them in place. Right. So that's how I did mine. And then I did, and then I sewed them in, but I did a, a zigzag across the front to neaten it. But the other way of doing it is if you really want them to tuck in and really look tucked in, is undo this seam. Or don't sew it in the first place. And, yeah. But then it would be harder to get it to flat. I would sew it all so oh, you okay. can see where they are. And yeah. then just undo part of that and then slip them all inside. Yeah, 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 yeah. But if you don't want to do, the way that I did it is I then cut them all across. Yeah. And then took the paper off afterwards because they're a bit more stable before you take the paper off. Yeah. Press them all in place and zigzag around the edges. Okay. And that's it. And did you put your tape measure down there? <laughs> no, like that. There's my tape measure. I had three um, cotton reels down here there put the cotton wheels but you can put them where you like yeah, exactly. you don't have to copy mine but the scissors are only obviously a little bit hot they have got the ends yeah, cut off because yeah. you'll never need all of those but choose if you're going to layer them as well once you've done that if you're they are layered mine were i sewed the fabric rolls on first because they were underneath oh uh, okay so put your ones on at the bottom yeah. the base and then put the ones on over and the then top. sew the ones on. yeah. it's just it's just easier that's all yeah exactly and Brilliant. that is it what's next month Oh, so next month is the Dresden plate because I love the Dresden plate. It's a really nice um, technique. Yeah. So I thought it'd be a really good way to learn how to do Dresden plate. Yeah. So on the panel, all of these pieces are printed as the exact shapes. So no templates needed. Yeah. Um, so you make the dress. This is the actual block, and then the centre square circle even has yeah. got a sewing machine on it. So it's really you will learn how to do your twenty-piece Dresden play, which you can then use in many other things. So that's the block. Yeah. The free extra project. I feel my sound is so heavy, isn't it? Is a pin cushion, which is already. So this this will be on the panel. You'll get the front and the back and the sides 
to make a pink cushion. And then the extra big project, so this is using the illustrated panel, is the Dresden plate bag. It's a really simple tote bag that's got box bottom. Um, and then on the panel is a little Dresden plate. So I'll say that on the back. So this is the new fatter quarter panel with this. But on the panel for the Dresden plate, not the fatter quarter panel, but on the actual block panel, are the handles for this, just as a freebie. So if you want to make the bag, you've got the handles already, or you can use those pieces for something else. So that's next month. Okay. Brilliant. Right, let me go do a romp through. So this is this month's. This is this month's here. So you've got the basket, you've got the, the, the extra uh, project there to make the little uh, thread holder. You've got everything in there you need, plus your instructions. £14.99. £14.99 £14 is that one. And how many left? Okay, 45 people got that in their baskets. Please check out. Over 200 have gone. Over 200 have gone. Right now, these are all the past ones. Which order did you want to go in, Hannah? Reverse or from the beginning? Okay, so from the beginning, number one was the sewing machine and the sewing machine cover. Do you want the block for that? Doesn't matter which order you buy them or where you put them in. I'm just going through the order they were. So what date was that one? That was on our birthday. Whatever that was. 28th of February, that was. 28th of February. And then that's the block. There's your plan, and, and Rex has got the block. There you go. That's the block. Brilliant. <laughs> and what was the added extra that month That then? was the sewing machine cover, where the instructions show you how to measure your sewing machine to make a cover that actually fits yours. And was there a little thing as well? Oh uh, Yes, there was a little zip case. This there, one, yeah. little zip case with that one. And this actually fits my new machine. Oh, as perfect, well. you must have known. Goodness. You must have known. Oh, is there? Which one is it called then? Oh, the vintage sewing. Not that one, that one. And then there's a fatter quarter that goes with that one. Because that's used, but you can buy that to use for parts of it's your sewing down. machine cover. It's used in some of the others as well. Yeah, exactly. They all go together. Everything matches in, doesn't it? Yeah. All matching out. So that's that one. Then the second month was the who part, which was this one. Which was your embroidered. Which is your embroidered hoop. And there's the panel. There's the finished one that Rebecca Reed's got over there. And what was your little little thing on that month? Um, it was the needle case. Ne just little for needle embroidery. case. My soul is fed with needles, that one. Yeah, so that, that was your one. extra on that month. And then this was the special project. Oh, and that project was the special project to there. To keep your embroidery projects in. Keep your embroidery projects in. Indeed. I'm checking these your way. Thank then you. Then the next one was spools of thread, which was this one here. I'll put them all in here. Yeah. Spool um, thread. Now, this is the panel you get with the spools of thread one. And this is the block. So that's your panel there. Then that was your block that's that Rebecca Reed's got over there. When it's made. Yeah. And then its extra one was the little keeping it real case. Keeping it real case, lipstick holder. <laughs> and... What it was the big was project? The oh, here, bag. that one, the bag, the bag, the bag, the bag. The bag. I'm going to forget these at some point. There's the bag, look. I'll put that in there so it gets all it together. Here then the next month was Cut Once. Was, was the, the F scissor, the Cut FPP. Once, this was FPP, wasn't yes. it, this one? FPP, this one, and this is your panel here. Again, on every single one, you get the project and you get the printed up panel if you don't want to make that project. And that's, this is the... And you get your scissor keeper with this one. So there's the block. Rebecca Reed's got the block there. And this is beginners, you know, from beginners, because it starts off easy and then it gets more complicated as you go along. But you, you can do this. It's written for beginners if you haven't done FBP before. And your little project in that one was your scissor ca case. And then the big project was the suitcase. Here. Oh, big yeah. project was the suitcase well, that month. Well, now. That's, that's not on the panel, is it? That's, um, that's a fatter quarter. Fatter quarter. So it's like a fabric, fabric Here, storage. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Or weekend away case, or whatever. P-E-U-U-15. Very popular fatter quarter panel, this one. Because it's got lots of hexes on, so I quite like it. Yeah. 
I know we're going fast, but everything's underneath us on the on the website. So if you want, then the next month was the Qu um, quilt. quilt quilt star quilt star. So there's the instructions. This is your block. So it's just it's miniature patchwork. So you can learn the sort of theory behind doing a miniature. A lot when you of say like miniature, miniature patchwork. It's not that there then. No. So this is the block. Okay. But then that's the big one. So this this features in the centre. Oh, I use the see, illustrated look. panel. So this features, and then then that echoes the rest of it. So the fatter quarter has the wooden fabric printed on it. Okay. So I've got that coming up in a minute. You've got like then. miniature, and then big. So you get a medallion quilt instructions Brilliant. in there. You take Thank that you. then. So that was the panel. I'll do the fatter quarter that goes with that now. Goes there. This is the fatter quarter. Q T U U sixty one. And that. Has oh, hang on. It's, oh, yeah. The wood's on the bottom. So it's the normal fatter quarter, but you get the wood. But look, yeah, yeah. So it's normal extra. fatter quarter. Look, then on the bottom, you get a wood panel as well. And that's like free because it's the same price as the other fatter quarters. Don't tell. Don't Brilliant. Tell. Uh, 1999. Right then, we went to Kaleidoscope English Paper PC. Yes. Yeah, so this is again EPP for beginners. That's your instructions. Here's your panel. Loads of these in baskets. I'm not surprised. Cute. This. Look. There you go. And all the tem the template, the paper templates are on the instructions. Yeah. And the instructions are thick enough that you can cut them off and use them for your EPP. Oh. Or they're, and often, they're not got writing on the other side of the. And they've got some information about EPP. So they're your papers. And you just cut them. And they're colour coded. Yeah. And you got your secret code on the back of there, but I'm not going to show you. Right. And then from that and then that's we the made. Pan that's the. Um, that's what it looks like when it's done. Is that this? Yes, that's the little free project. The he so that's for doing your he EPP. Which yeah, this is your little project. And the oh, <coughs> and, and the, what was the big project? Well, it's got one? everything in it. Okay. It's the storage basket. Right. Oh, let me turn it around. So I've put the illustrated panel on that side, and then it's got handles all the way around. Okay, so we missed one out. Where's so what does that one go with? Oh. Never mind. That one was with this quilt star one. We missed, we forgot. Oh, yes. This okay. is the same fatter quarter that we used for, um, that's got the wood on the bottom. Okay. And then today's fatter quarter, which we haven't done yet. It's not new today, but it's the one that Rebecca's used to go with. Yes. You can, they all work together, but you've used you this one for today. Yeah, I just you? used it on the cushion. Was it the one with the cotton? Co yeah, this one, this one. Just because it's got the little cotton in it. Yeah, there you go. That. that was today's one. And because I put the stripy fabric on the back. Lovely. And then the day's panel is that one there that you see in there. Do I need to do anything else? No, that's it. I think you've done a marvellous job. I wasn't talking to you. <laughs> Bond the web. Um, <laughs> I know, but it's so complicated, isn't it? I think you do. I'm like really impressed. I wasn't talking Early to bird you. price today. Twenty-three ninety-nine is where it should be and will be again at midnight tonight. But nineteen ninety-nine because it's from the early bird show. Brilliant, lovely. Oh yeah, yeah. Becky's back in an hour's time, right? She's doing a needle case and she's doing her craft bag, which yes. is also Amber makes, which has nothing to do with the block of the month. It's a completely separate thing. But the needle case one. We get it in, it sells out. We get it in, it sells out. We get it in, it sells out, don't I we? Know. And it's basically, we've got it back in, but it's already selling on pre-order already. There's two di Now, what it is, is there are two di It's the same pattern, but done with two different colourways, right? So that's one colourway there. That's the sewing machine colourway. And then there's the honeybee colourway. But we're also doing a craft bag in that hour. One is in the... Oh, ch chuck them over here, would you, Kat? Because we haven't got a picture of them, have we? Oh, we have now. Oh, we have got them. Sorry, we have got them now. So there's the sewing machine craft bag, and there's honeybee. But look, it's not just the craft bag. Look, you've got a scissor keeper, a tape measure holder. Now, 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 now. In my early bird show this morning, we had a tape measure that we didn't play. So look on, look on, look on the thingy, and it'll be there down there. At the, uh, it'll be an early bird underneath. Anyway, right. Don't go anywhere, right? Because Delphine is up next. Now she's doing the Jason Yenta quilt. It's gorgeous, it's like a big kaleidoscope quilt, isn't it? 
I'll show you a picture of that. There you go, isn't it lovely? And it's made in the most unusual way. Now, I think it might be the first time we've ever, we've had these changes in the into quilts where you get a great big bolt of fabric and it depends where you cut the triangles out to create the different shapes. I think it's the first time we've ever demoed it. Hannah's very, very fascinated because she can't, her brain won't get round how it works at the moment. <laughs> won't get round it. Anyway, I'll see you in four minutes from now. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Now I've got a bit of news for you. This Friday, Rebecca Reed's on the show, right? She's been to the Festival of Quilts and she's interviewed, it's an exclusive interview, she has interviewed Kay Fassett, right? All about his new book, Quilts in Wales. It's fantastic and there's all sorts going on about the quilts in here and lots of other things. Make sure you tune in on Friday. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family run customer service team are on call 24 seven full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? 
Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family run customer service team are on call 24 seven, full of friendly, warm hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey. So you never miss out. Uh, Delphine's here. Delphine's here. Now, have a look at the washing line behind Delphine, right? It will look better. It looks gorgeous already, yeah. but it's going to look even better yeah. by the time you finish, isn't it? It is. Have I got to climb on a stepladder then? They didn't explain uh, that bit to yeah. me. Yeah. Okay, well, then, fine. I don't mind if you oh. prefer. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're the more athletic one amongst us. Right. So it's much. a quilt kit called the Sunshine Kaleidoscope Quilt. At £239.99, that's what it will become. But you, you're not going to believe how it's put together. So here's the pattern. I see all the instructions are all in here. All your cutting instructions, everything like that. Then, you see, you get all of your instructions. Very, very thorough. Your instructions, Delphine's going to go through all of this now. How you put the quilt together. Everything. Then you've got all the templates that you need in here. Now, what I would suggest is some template plastic, I would imagine, yes, or something like that yeah. to go with this. Got to go on the website because uh, your te paper templates are going to get very tatty because you use them an awful lot. So what you get in the kit is you get one metre of jet black for your binding. You get one and a half metres of... Now, this is unusual, isn't it? Look. It's a Jason Yenta. It's from the same collection, the Sunshine Collection, and it's called Ivory Texture. It's rather lovely, isn't it? Now, it either looks a little bit animal skin, you know, reptile skin, or it looks a little bit, little bit arid, you know, like lovely old plaster that's cracking things. Anyway, that's for your background. Then what you get is you get this huge bolt, and I'm not... 9.1 metres of fabric, right? Now, look. Look at it, right? So it all comes on a bolt, it comes on the card, right? I'll just show, hold that, actually, Delphine, if you could just hold that end there. We can just show you, right? And this it's both sided as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it opens out. It's huge. Like this, right? Look. So it's just, it's just 9.1 metres of exactly the same fabric. But as you can see, it goes through blue, green, yellow, red, purple, blue, green, yellow, red, purple. And you're kind of thinking, how on earth, how on earth, how on earth do I make that quilt, that kaleidoscope quilt, out of this? Well, Delphine's going to show you. Now, look, it's £239.99. Sp oh! £40 coming off! £199.99, so it's 66, 66, three times. 
That is fantastic. Just a great big bolt of fabric. It's amazing, isn't it? Now, the finished quilt is... It's going to be enormous, isn't it? Oh, hang on. I might have to look that one up for you in a second. Oh, it's on the graphics. I can't see the graphics from you, see. 64 by 86 and a half. Beautiful. Right, I'll take that off you. So, a what? Oh. We've already taken £40 off. Shh, big moment. Okay, so where do we start at? Two. 239 99 I don't think she was meant to take the phone will go in a minute you watch that's her fat fingers right it should have been you should have taken it to what 1899 yeah she should have taken it to 189 this isn't me doing shopping telly baloney this is a genuine mistake now 179.99 it cannot go any lower than that 59.99 that's an incredible price for all this fabric for the technique for everything 59.99 on split pay you will get it after you pay the first split pay remember no interest charge whatsoever she had she's got an email of, well anyway she shouldn't have gone that low she shouldn't have gone that low so delphine let's take us away from the price and let's work out how we physically do it please. right okay so i want to start right from the very beginning right. of uh, how you actually cut this huge bolt of fabric up in the first place so I've already cut two off because I just want to jump ahead, so I want to try and show you as much as possible. Yeah. So when you come to cut your strips from the bolt, make sh it does tell you in the instructions anyway, but just in case you um, miss it, what you need to do is you want a quite a nice long ruler and you're going to cut an eighth of an inch from the top of your black strip. So an eighth of an inch. An eighth of an inch. So an eighth into the black strip. Into the black strip. So Thank that's you. how you're going to separate them all. Yeah. So I've already cut a section off. So this also uh, creates your border as well. So what okay. you see behind me will still get a lot bigger. So it is going to be huge, beautiful okay so i've already cut those ones up so that's how you'll begin so you'll take your time by cutting up your uh, strips of fabric uh-huh so then i'm just going to put one to one side now <coughs> they do give you loads extra to make up for any waste so if there's any mistakes you get so much extra. but hang on i'm confused now so where's yeah. the where have you got an eighth of an inch in, so you've taken cut there yes an eighth of an inch into yes. right okay yeah I've got it right so to make your kaleidoscopes, so you'll have your template, which is in your instructions. I didn't have any uh, plastic with me, but so all I did was cut it out straight from the template. I don't recommend you do that because there is instructions on the other side. Oh, okay. So uh, you have to keep putting it back on and read the bit yeah, of instructions. Yeah, so you have to yeah. read the instructions, yeah. So you'll cut out, so you, it tells you in the instructions about where to place your triangles, depending on what colors you're gonna get. So with the ones that I've done, um, because obviously I wanted extra to demo, even though they do give me extra, I just made one or two of my own up only because I wanted to make sure I had loads of fabric to do a really good demo as well today. So what you do, uh, it tells you on the instructions roughly about where to place your pieces. So you will pop it on top of uh, the image. It's all in the diagrams. The diagrams are really, really clear actually. And then like, so if you haven't got any template past it, you can just- Can I just your, give you that? Yeah, there. that's it. So here you've got all of your, um, so I'd recommend you if you get some post-it notes and things like that. So you do all your cutting first. Uh, so you've got your A1 all the way to your A8. That's going to be your eight kaleidoscopes. So those are the ones that form the big circles. I'm going to call them circles because what is the shape? I'm not very good at shape. How many sides have it got? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six, I don't know. I can't count. Eight. Eight. Octo. Octo. Oct yeah. The octagons. Uh, that but there's right? also your corner pieces and your side pieces as well. So they're also a different colour code. So your corner pieces are down here, which is your green triangles. They're going to make up your four corners and the blue ones are for the sides. So uh, if I was you, I'd cut out all of the orange pieces and then the, followed by the other ones. So it just keeps it easy, makes it easier for you to, to follow. Yeah. So and as you can see, each of the triangles are actually hovering over one of the images. So you can copy that or you can do your own, it's up to you. But I 
And is it important that you get it, if you're doing the green one, say, is it important you get it in exactly the same yeah, place? Yeah, because you'll lose the, yes, the shape. Yeah. So what I did, I cut out one, and then with the um, one that I cut, I then made like a little jigsaw of where it was. So I just pick like um, certain parts of the pattern. So, you know, I've picked out those three dots in the center yeah. and I'll hover that over and then just line it up and I cut them out like that. That's how I... Right, but if you, did it with, if you did it with uh, template plastic, you could draw on your template plastic those three dots and the outside of another, so you know you're getting it exactly the same exactly, each time. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So, but like I said, I didn't have any plastic, so this yeah. is my cheat way. Yeah, 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 that's of, fine. Of and you do it. carry on right the way to the top. You haven't got to save that top bit for anything else. Uh, no, that's a, there's, there's plenty of fabric. You're going to have quite a lot left over to do all the projects. Oh, brilliant. Definitely. Excellent. Yeah. So, but also these pieces, um, for example, these aren't all waste because then you, when you come to do, say, an orange section, you'd have it say that way and you cut it out from there so yeah. don't throw all these big pieces away because you will be going back yeah so for those you need eight so i've already done five so i'll just show you a couple more uh, also if you have i recommend that you starch it or best press it before okay you go any further see that stem lines up quite nicely and you can just have a little reference <coughs> there you go you right then, John? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. I haven't spoke to you today. Sorry, I was, it's all been a bit crazy. So, um, I thought you had to, I just said, oh, she, uh, Delphine tonight, because she had to do the school run, but it's no school today. No, it's because Nick's in Germany. He flew out, he left at three o'clock this morning. Oh. Yeah, so he flew out. It was a last minute thing with work. So he's gone, he's in Germany, and the boys are at Fit for Kids. Oh, okay, I knew that to get but, somewhere, yeah. Yeah, but they're, um, the earliest they can they can go in is eight o'clock yeah so i've dropped them and come straight here yeah fine so but no, they've only got one more day of it tomorrow and then that's it then oh, okay but then you're not in here for again for a while i'm you? not in for a while no yeah. that's why i'm in for two days yeah. this week but um so now did you cut the bolt into lengths before you started doing this because like you've just had that piece that you had there that you yes. cut in half that way, did you yes. cut the whole bolt into manageable length? Yes, I did. Because yeah. otherwise you're gonna have a huge while you're trying yeah. to find all the greens, you're gonna have huge amounts up here, aren't you? So depend so whatever colour you first start from, because obviously you've got four, haven't you? Yeah. So I cut enough so you could cut out eight. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. this pattern's repeated twice. Yes. So and, that's, that, and then you cut And that then piece I cut it off. Right, okay. Otherwise you'll yeah. Yeah. Be, I don't be understand why you have to do it an eighth into the black there though. It's, I think it is because of this black bit here. It doesn't say why. Oh, the width of the black bit. Yeah. Right, okay. Yeah. yeah. So there we are. I've got two more to do. Because you, on, on a lot of his, what you do is you cut lots of triangles this way up yeah. and then you cut them that, do you cut them the other way on that yeah, one as well? Yeah, only you do. for two. Oh, only two, but then they've got a different. Oh, yes, they've got a different they border. Have the border. They haven't got the border. Yeah. Here. So I'm quite rushed piecing that, so don't look too. No, close no, I won't. I won't. <laughs> well, no, no, because Delphine only got it a couple of days ago to actually do this. So thing, I've so. been, yeah. It's, it's, it's nice how quickly it comes together. It's yeah. just. Yeah, it's something you'll do over a, a week or so. Not yes, in, it's not, not in an a, afternoon quilt. No, although I, I don't know how I managed, but I did. Yeah, it's all good. One, two, three, four. There we are. I'll just do one more. And so now, if you did the, if when you did it, did you cut all of your reds out, or you, did you do all of this cutting out first? Yeah, I, well, I always I did one block first just to see how it all came together. Yeah, and then when I was happy with that, I just did all the cutting. Oh, okay. So I have actually made the finished pieces for the bottom, but I just wanted to show you how it's all put together. Oh yeah, 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 definitely. So, because yeah. otherwise you're just going to be watching me cut out and just sewing these all together. Yeah. So I've tried to prepare as much for you to see as much as possible, because it is going to be beautiful. It's going to be really big. Yes. There we go. So you'll keep all those bits, but I'm just going to yeah. put them just there. Okay. So let me just make sure I've got enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, two eight. there. Yeah. 
Okay, so now I've got all of my triangles. What you want to do now, now this is really important. You, what you're going to do is you're going to sew them right sides together, but make sure you do them in pairs. Don't be tempted to just sew the whole thing on because it's going to be all out of shape. It won't line up and because obviously now this is on the bias. Yeah. So make sure you do them in pairs first. So I'm just going to chain stitch those. So I've switched my uh, plate on my machine to my straight stitch plate and my quarter inch. And so what that's going to give me is a really accurate quarter, quarter of an inch seam. So just line up the two black borders on that straight edge. There we go. And so right sides together. Yep. So be careful not to stretch the fabric as you... Um, yeah, yeah, this is where your best press has come yeah. to. Now, what did, you, what did you alter on your machine? Because Hannah was talking to me. Did you say you'd altered something on your machine? Yeah, I've changed my plate. Because, to the straight plate? Yeah, yeah. because my, this machine um, comes with three different plates. Yeah. So I've put the straight stitch plate on with a quarter of an inch right a uh, quarter inch foot on because yeah. if you're going from any corners you know when we uh, do a lot of piecing and you're dealing with small pieces or even triangles sometimes your machine pulls it down yeah yeah even hole. the best machine do yeah. does yeah yeah whereas this because it's now got the just the tiny hole it's not going to pull so you just put the straight on not the professional one because you've got three haven't you got your yeah. normal your straight and your professional so one. your professional one uh, you can only use the one foot oh okay so um so you can't use a quarter inch foot on it that's it okay. yeah so if you were doing just loads and loads of like curtains, like a straight yeah, line, yeah, 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 yeah. then that's perfect yeah. for that because it's, like I said, it's really quick. Yeah. And um, I asked Rebecca Reed earlier, does that machine come with the foot, that quarter inch foot without the, the slide, this guide on it? Uh, don't know. Okay, okay. Is the answer. Only because there's so many feet. I've not used No, 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 no. That, that, that was just because Rebecca Reed was saying she had to keep changing her foot. And I saw some machines come with a quarter inch foot like the one you're using with the with the like slidey guide on the side yeah. and others come without it there's some that you could obviously with the uh, with all of them you can this machine you can do a quarter of an inch foot without putting that on yeah it. yeah but that's so quite nice you've got the guide in as well yeah. it holds it all in place doesn't I've it i've just realized i've chopped me the end off <laughs> oh it's all right be fine so we're not using this one in the finished quilt i'm just using it to show you yeah uh, i'm all Sorry, I'm all of a. I'm all, right. put, I'm all put out today, you know, because I've just been rushing around. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but just thinking a couple of hours time, it'll all be over. You can start your holidays. Yeah, I've got, I've got to just finish some drawings um, for my next project. Uh huh. And go and get the boys, and then I've got, to, I've got to think of getting them some school uniforms. And stuff. Oh, crack your It's nearly September, isn't it? They'll be yeah. going back soon. Yeah. So I need to go. And they, they need new shoes and. Well, you've know, seen the size of Charlie, he's growing like a weed. Yeah. So you got the husband's credit card then? No, he's in Germany, isn't he? Oh, no. Mm. Should have thought that one through. I know. I'll tell, I'll, I'll tell you what, if I buy the clothes, he can buy the shoes. Yeah, but you need to yeah. buy them all in together, don't you? Yeah, there's some of the things that you have to get the actual logo on the jumpers. Of course, yeah. So, But the there's a massive waiting list for those anyway, so... There's a waiting list. Yeah, mm. apparently it's, it's going to take a couple of months for the jumpers to arrive. Well, they might hopefully they won't need jumpers at the beginning of September. Well, exactly, yeah. And they can make do with what they've got already. Yeah. So I've chain pieced those together. You've got a little bit... Um, Sorry? Looks like it's gone a bit gathered. Uh, what size stitch did you use? I've used just a 1.8. I think oh. it's my bobbin, because I've just wound my bobbin. So I can stretch it out. Oh, it's okay. I think my bobbin's played. Played up. Oh, I can make do. I'll All right. sort it. I don't need to change it. Okie doke. So, what you'll do then is that you will press your seams open. So, I'll just bring this over. Your machine doesn't come with a quarter inch foot. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, oh, you've had a look. Foot. Yeah. I was wondering what you were doing. So you, it's really important you press your seams open. Open on all of them? Yeah. Yeah. 
because this point here down here you're going to get quite a lot of um oh yes of course you are yeah it's going to be quite a, quite a lot of fabric so what you're looking at really is getting these points uh matching up So when's your last day then, John, before your holiday? Oh, I, 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 it was only last night that I realised. You know, I was put on Facebook coming up next week. And I thought next week I was only in. I've, I, I, I mean, on Monday, I've, Rebecca Reed was supposed to be, I was supposed to be in tomorrow. Rebecca Reed's now doing tomorrow and I'm doing Monday. So next week I'm in Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Then I'm going to Ireland on Thursday and Friday for, for the quilt fair. Then I'm in here again Saturday and Sunday. So like I've got a day off at all for next week, wow. and then literally I go on holiday. Charlie moves. Charlie and Hattie move into my house, and then I go on my holidays. Then, so you're busy, 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 and then I'm going to be at the airport. Like you know, I'm going to look a wreck been... at the airport, and the flights at something ridiculous. The flight to Ireland is whatever time in the morning, six o'clock in the morning, and then the flight to Catalonia is also like five thirty in the morning or something like that. Yeah, it's, in, uh, it's been full on, hasn't it? Has, but then I'm weeks. off. Yeah, but then I'm off, right? So I have two weeks relaxing, relaxing, relaxing. I then get back from a holiday, and Hayley's put me in for like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Have the Monday off when Rebecca Reed does the shows. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I'll be exhausted then. You will be. Yeah, but you'll be missed though, John. I, I do what? You'll be missed though when oh, you're on no, holiday. Oh, no, it's only two weeks. Right now, Hannah's really, really, really upset, right? Because. Yeah, but look, 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 right. So, so it, it was originally £239. <coughs> had, Hannah had permission to take money off, right? So she then took it to 199 right? And then thinking, oh, well, I'll just save another, t I'll save another £10 and take it to 189 because she's not allowed to go below 189 right? She then did 179 felt dreadful about it. So look what she's had to do. It's just a slide here. Now, some of it will be bleeped out. Right, the bit at the top is about asking for holiday. Can I see it on the big telly, please? Also, I made a complete boo-boo and took the Jason Yenta quilt to 179.99, not 189.99. I'm so, so sorry. What's the reply, though? Oh, Hannah's contract is on the line, everybody. <laughs> But, you, but the thing is, right, I know, I know she shouldn't have done it, and I know, and, and I know some shopping tellies you watch and they go, oh, you're so sorry. That is a real, that's her apologising to our boss, right? Because she wasn't supposed to take it any lower. Um, so now, you're, you get it, it's a fantastic price. So you say, what would she do? It'd be two, three, nine, right? Yeah, under 200 where Hayley told to go to him. Yeah, so 179, 199, 209, 219, 220. How much was it? So she's taken £60 off. Yeah, yeah. That's an awful lot. But anyway, take advantage. Take advantage. And when you're lying there with your duvet, with your quilt over you, think of Hannah. <laughs> Well, she's cold because she can't pay her bills because she's been, yeah, 179. She, don't worry, I'm only joking. She's not going to lose her job, don't we? 59.99 on split pay. I know, it's brilliant, isn't it? Right, okay. So you're going to create your two halves and then you're going to sew them right sides together. And then let me just show you the next. Stage. So you do two halves and tie them together to create the whole. To create the whole thing, but then you need your spare, you have the triangle. So again, this is in the. Um, the background the fabric. Yeah. This one, the um, te textured fabric. Yeah. So you've also got the template for your, these triangles as well. Right. So, so what? Sorry, what shape do we physically make then? To start, do we make a square? Yes. We are going to make a complete square to sew yeah. together. All right. Yeah. So just so I can try and show you as much as possible. So I've, I've sewn the two halves together. Imagine I've done that. Yeah. So your, your, these triangles are going to form your square. Imagine it's on there. So that's right, yeah, 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 yeah. So you, you've got four of those yeah. to so, make a square. So obviously when you sew these on, let me just show you this. So 
What you don't want to do is line up perfectly on that corner because you're going to be completely out. It won't be central. So you just want to offset it. Would you find the half and the half and put the two halves together? Yeah, and then you just uh, sew with a quarter inch seam right. across there. And what that will do with all these triangles will, my blue Peter moment, you'll make a square. Right. Yeah? Yeah, with you, I'm with you so far. But I, I can see something else is about, to, something else a bit weird is about to happen. Yeah. Oh no, I see it now. I can see it now. It took me a while because I could see there was the white octagon in between all of them, but you make the white octagon into a square as well. Yes. And then it's really easy to sew together. Yes. What I couldn't figure out was all I could see was the edge of this octagon yeah. against the edge of that octagon thinking, right. oh no, you're going to have to do what, but you literally make squares and just lay. Yeah. Fine. So that's what I mean. It's really quite yes, easy. Yes, yes, yes. It's it deceptive, isn't very, it? It looks really cool though, doesn't yeah. it? So, but what you also have to make is, this will make up your corners. Let me just move these out of the way. So you'll be making four of these. These are your corner pieces. So these are just three with the two triangles on. And you've also got your side pieces, which is five pieces with the three corners. Okay. Okay, so now. So on the quick, just point out on the actual, so they're on the quilt itself. That's this bit here. Yeah, that's and that bit. So that yeah. three piece there yeah. is there, 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 and there. Yeah. And the five piece is there, 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 and there. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> yeah. Fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I, would, I hadn't sussed it out at all. I hadn't sussed this one. No. I worked out the triangles going into the middle of the kaleidoscope, <coughs> but I hadn't, <coughs> excuse me, worked out the rest of it. Yeah, so. Let me just take that because that's part of mine. Oh yeah, that's the one. So, so you can, with it's got your cutting guide with these triangles, you can cut it exactly the way, you know, taking the template out and, cut, and laying them out on the fabric like that. Well, I, I didn't do that. Oh, okay. To make it easier, I, <coughs> me I measured the length and I think it was five, just over five and a half yeah. um, inches. And what I did is cut the strips, subcut into the squares, and then I just did half square triangles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it just makes your life a bit easier. So mm -hmm. that's how I did it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you've got quite a few of those to cut out, haven't you? Yeah. So what you're going to do now is I'll show you how it's laid together. So we're going to lay that bottom section. So we're just going to lay together this line here. So I've right. already sewn. So behind me, I've already sewn from here upwards. Right. So we're just going to put on this last corner here. Okay. So to do that... Do you need that down off the wall now then? Uh, not yet. In a minute. Okay. And so you're going to lay all your pieces out. Obviously cut all your dog ears off. So now you could, they've given you a layout, but you can put your hexes, or your octagons wherever, wherever you, you want, want. can't you? Yeah. Really? I think it, 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 the, the pattern's just a guide really. You yeah. Don't, have to copy it exactly yeah like i said i've went off a little bit just so i made sure i had loads for the for the demo that's, yeah. that's lots of you got this in your basket lots of you make sure you ch i know you waited to see the whole demo but that's fine but just letting you know so and then my other piece goes like that so i want to sew those three together in that order so just double check i'm happy with that happy with that so I'm going to sew this piece, this bottom section, to this right sides together. Okay. What? Nothing, you carry on. You're just, which ones are you looking at? I'm just confused by those bits, They're the five bits. Because we're going to cut those off. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. We're going to cut those off. I'm that's, thinking that's, that's going to make a straight looks, line. That's why it looks odd. Okay. But once I've sewn it together and trimmed it off, it's going to look... Perfect. That's when you'll go... Oh, yeah. yeah. I like them when they can be, when they're a bit of a puzzle at first. Yeah, I like it when they're a puzzle. When you've sussed it in your brain, you go, oh, I now understand that. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, I've sort my bobbin thread out before my next demo, I think. Have you um, pressed all the seams open then yes, everywhere? Yes, yeah. all the seams are open. Yeah. 
And like I said, give it a good old best press. Yeah. Which I didn't have, so. <laughs> you haven't got any in your she shed? No, I need to get some more. We haven't got any either. And you just want to line up those points. Take your time to do those. I've just been sewing this. And out in the green room, so I've just been quite quick, but take your time at home. So I've sewn that one, and now I'm going to sew this one also okay. right sides together. Because what these triangles will do when they're all sewn together, these triangles form the square in between each of them. Yeah. Um, Lo, I don't think it's called stack and whack. It was literally, you just cut your triangles out of your, I'll show you again in a second. I think stack and whack is where you put lots on top of each other, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I wouldn't do that. <coughs> right. Um, only because even just the slight shift in the fabric, you're not going to get the accuracy. So I'll take your time to actually do, do the cut. individually. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Uh, don't rub it in, poor Hayley, says Vip. No, it's not Hayley, Hayley's the boss, it's Hannah. It's Hannah that'll get into trouble. Poor Hannah, tell her to put a book in her knickers when she goes to Hayley's office. The thing is, Hayley's not in today. Hayley's put, a, put a what in your knickers? Book, because you, you're going to get the, like the cane in the olden I've days. I've heard that before. Oh, you're not old enough, you see. So <laughs> what you see is you've got in called the headmaster's office at school and you're going to get the cane. You put a book, an exercise book in your pants so that when they smacked you with the cane... Did you ever have the cane? Never. <laughs> I was such a good student, pupil. It was only later the, I rebelled. What did you get the cane for, just... Like, well, no, if you did anything really naughty. It was a slipper, the slipper for not so... I mean... I, I, oh, I had the slipper. Oh, did you? I had the slipper, yeah, yeah when I was a kid. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Or you got um, a ruler, a 12-inch ruler on the palm of your hand. Oh, that would hurt. Yeah. When you think about it, it's was, it was really weird because I always remember... I never got the cane. I always remember I just happened to be passing the deputy headmaster's office as he was giving somebody the cane, and it was just... It upset me for life, really. But then I got upset this morning, right? How pathetic is this, right? I got in the shower, it was pitch dark when I got up. Got in the shower, put the light on, obviously, the window was open, a moth came in, right? And it yeah. went in the shower and went down the plug hole. And all I was worried about was, what will happen to it? Moths only live for a day. Don't they imagine that? It's one day of living. And you drowned in And your I drowned, <laughs> I drowned a moth. And then I got out and there was another moth exactly the same on the wall. And I was like, oh He's no. He's looking for his friend. Looking for his friend and I've oh. just drowned his friend. I didn't get I didn't do anything. I was soaping myself <laughs> like this and he flew in. I was like, oh no, moth, moth, went straight under the shower and straight down into the thing. Oh, so that, your day didn't start well then? No. Oh, you are a sweetheart. <laughs> Bless you. Look at yourself. You look really upset. About I was. It does. It, it's like, if I, if I, you know, like where we live in the country, the animals run out all the time, don't you? If yeah. a little squirrel runs out and I hit it, I, oh, I'm no. upset for the rest of the day then. Yeah. And the other day, I nearly caused a whole pi pile up because this bird, they're, they're what the big colourful ones that are really stupid. Not a parrot. We don't have wild <laughs> parrots walking on the street. We haven't got Not wild parrots. But is it a pheasant? A pheasant. Oh, just walked yeah. out and they're, a bit, they're known for being stupid, aren't they? And it just yeah. walked out. So I slammed my brakes on. Didn't realise there was a car so class so behind me. Anyway, it's fine. I didn't hit the pheasant, but I very nearly got a car in the back of my car. Anyway. There we are. Well, it, it's, I think because I'm the first car that goes through the village in the morning, all the, all the pigeons are asleep on the road. Yeah, it's like when I drive here, because on the road that I come, there's so much on the road, you know. Yeah. yeah. So, um, it's not nice, is it? Yeah, your fox was slightly different. Yours is an inner city slum fox, yours is. I'd say to because in Twickenham we didn't have bins, we used to put bin bags out, and you'd hear uh, the foxes at night time, and you'd have to go out in the next morning and put all the rubbish back in another bin bag. There we go, so I'm just giving it a bit of a press. Oh. Hannah's fox tried to sniff her apparently. Maybe she thought maybe you thought you were rubbish, Hannah. There's a lady on the TikTok actually who's um she goes out and the same fox comes to her every night. Oh really? Food, yeah. And sometimes he brings all of his friends and she just lives in like a you know quite a built up area yeah 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 well the, i saw more foxes in london than i ever do here i mean we've got really? a, a family of foxes in the field behind me and everything but you, you see a fox at least twice a, oh you hear them at night time yeah 
First time you hear a fox making noises at night time, it's terrifying, isn't it? Right, so you've put so those I've, two together. So I've put those together, and then I'm going to put my last corner piece on. Right. So I'm just going to line it up. So I just want to match these two points here. Yeah. So I'm just going to put that on. Yeah. Brilliant. I was the girl in the history... I was the first girl in the history of my school to get six of the best, says Viv. Oh, Viv. Six of the best? What, yeah. What's that? Is that the case? Six wipes of the cane yeah Ooh. and then should we call pheasants dur ducks because they go dur dur what car shall i run under next well not next is it just what car shall i run? oh they, they just come out don't they like a oh it's a road <laughs> that, that's like hannah the day i drove to her mini drive and she didn't know i was driving along and she's like walking like and she's like this at the ship. just walking along like this no cares in the world Remember, this quilt should be £60 more than this. £60 more. £179.99. Now, as the show's gone on, more, 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 more people put it in their basket. I wasn't going to say, oh, check out, check out. But I think you need to start checking out now because we're getting to that limited sort of stage now. So my last corner piece is ready to go on now, John. Do you want me to go on? No, I'll do it. You carry <laughs> on, Ireland. <laughs> Health and safety. <laughs> And up a ladder at my age. Whilst I climb the ladder, Hannah wants me to talk and sing as well. The pew, the, there you go. Thank you, John. You're welcome. I've got, I've got a message, have I? The quilted beautiful Delphine, what level would you say it was? Um. It's very repetitive, so a confident beginner. Well, yeah, but also but this, this, if you've got to be good at matching your points in the middle as well, haven't you? It's very forgiving with the points. Oh, is it? Yeah, that bit's quite, that's easy, that bit. Right. But the, to make the squares, because the other fabric's quite light, it's quite forgiving if you do make the other Oh, mistake. brilliant. So, oh, well, that's even better then, isn't it? Because it is just quite repetitive. And then once you've sown all your, your, your kaleidoscope thing is, you just... It's yeah. a straight line. So many in baskets now, you do need to start checking out, especially with that 60 pounds off. Oh, now, because she's crashed the price, it goes back at midnight to the original, original price. 239 pounds, 99 pence, goes back to at midnight. Right, so at our primary school, we had one teacher who would throw the blackboard rubber across the room, take the pupils if they were chatting in class. Yeah, Mr. Armstrong, our history teachers do that. Or chalk, bits of chalk. He was good with bits of chalk. Right, okay. So. Oh, can you manage? <laughs> so it's going to match. So you want to match these squares here. Right. So I'm gonna oh, so you've got two black bits together and then the squares in between. No. No? That's, no. Oh, hang on then. Aha. That's the one. No. Where's your square then? There, there, there. That's it, that's it, that's it. The square goes there. Mm, no. No. Square goes there, but then you've got two black bits. No. So then. So what are you just saying? It's very easy. Oh, for it. here, here. There you go. There. Right. Whew. So basically, you haven't got the fourth. That's what it is. You haven't yeah, got the fourth. Yeah, because all that's going to be trimmed off. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's easy when you're lying it on the floor. Yes. <laughs> Which is what I've had out there. So then I'm going to sew it like that and line up that seam there okay yeah. but do you want clips do you want anything i could clip it but we've got but, oh i can crack on and do it okay go on then so got lovely home, clips that's all i was saying clips for because i've yeah. got some hemline gold fabric clips here if i was making this for myself i'd take my time yeah and 589 these are Hemline gold small quilters clips, 30 pieces. There you go. They're rather special, aren't they? Nice Christmas present, those. 30 clips. That doesn't seem right, does it? 30 for 5.89. Very good price. Actually, that's a brilliant price. 
The pricing in this house is very weird. Because aren't 10 normally 7 99 <laughs> Yeah. These are Hemlang gold. Anyway. You're right over there. Yeah. I'm just lining up my points as I'm going. I yeah. pretend to be French when I upset a man because I broke for a pheasant once. He called me stupid and walked off. Donna, he's got no right to do that. No right to call you stupid at all. Speak French. No, I often do that. <laughs> it's like a little picture I've got on my Facebook page. It's like two little old ladies escaping from a village. And one said, you don't speak English. And I said, it was just fantastic. Can you speak French, John? I can speak it with a Yorkshire accent. Go on, then. No, no, I'm not going to do it now. I have to be in France to do it. No, because when I did that uh, interview the vampire, I had to go and pre-fit all of the French extras. Yeah. And the whole team that were there were French, you see. So, of course, they're chattering in French. So uh, I had to pick it up. I, I could speak it. I did, I've done O-level French, but... I loved that film. That was one of my favourites. Why Interview the Vampire? That's why I called Louis, Louis. Oh, is it? Yeah, after, oh. after Brad Pitt. Yeah. Because he, it was um, a line in it that says, oh, Louis, 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 stop whining, Louis. So after that, I was just I just love that name. Oh. So there you go, that's why he was called. Oh. Yeah. Um, why do I do it in Yorkshire? I've got no idea. No idea, but I've got a lovely certificate at home saying how, how good I was. They had a certificate printed up for me. I went to sneak a sweet out of my desk and the teacher was behind me and slammed the lid on my hand. Oh, my word. We, when you think about nowadays and all the things you can and can't do, we lived in a world of like, you know. It's a completely different time now, isn't it? Yeah. You know. Uh, Beck says years ago driving along Country Road I swerved to avoid a hedgehog crashed my car into a hedge when I got out and looked it wasn't a hedgehog it was a bread roll <laughs> um, no I, I don't think I've got a chute near me um, oh wild pheasants would be on the road there are thousands of them thousands but it's all year round it's not particularly bread ones my son is called Elliot because as I gave birth I said, oh my goodness, it's E.T. Don't understand that one, Low. Uh, went, uh, and that was it, that was it. Oh no, I got the slipper on the last day at primary school. On the last day? We just played games on the last day. Uh, I'd wanted to climb the band climbing frame for years, so I waited for the last day before we moved and climbed to the top. Thought I got away with it, but sadly not. Oh. You see, the, I do live in the middle of... The roads near me are little tracks. They're not proper roads. They're, uh, they're like little tractor tracks, some of them. Yeah, you're sort of cut off on your, your village, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Good pub, though. It's definitely... What, on the road? A seag... Oh, no. A se I'm not laughing. A seagull took our last goldfish out of Mum's pond and flew off with him. I was upset for days. Oh, Stephanie, I'm not surprised. Didn't you put a net over it? You should have had a net over it. Mind you, what's the point of having a pond if you've got net or grill, grilling over it? Yeah, the heron took all of Hannah's fish. Not from where she lives now. The pond there's not big enough for herons. And, and Hannah's mum thought the heron was a pterodactyl, but there you go. Huffing and puffing over there. Woof. It's a big one. Yeah. Do you need some help? You're right. I'm just going to give it a press right, and then. then we'll trim it. You definitely need a press. I'm not sure. Yeah, that's right. There we go. Wafting. Wafting. Oh. Where is it now? There it is. There it is. So I'm just going to give it a good old press now. Oh, Ellie, it was the little boy in the film E.T. Oh, I see. I thought you meant that your son looked like E.T. I was trying to work out O-M-G-E-T, how I could spell Elliot out of that. <sighs> At home, I would take, honestly, I would take more time but just yeah 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 wanted to show you as much 
You got all quiet on me, John. I'm just watching an, a master at work. Um, <laughs> sarcastic. <laughs> huh? You sarcasm. I wasn't being sarcastic. <laughs> Right, there's so many in baskets, you do need to start checking. Look, we're at the end of the hour already. Yeah, yeah, yeah people are checking out, but I'll tell you, there's 36 people with it sitting in their baskets right now. I yeah. don't, because I won't have time to put the borders on no, no, that's in this fine. hour. I'll do it on my break and I'll put the borders on. Have you prepped the next one then? Yeah. Oh, good plan. Then. I have, I have, yeah, I've been living and breathing quilts. Yes. Yeah. So, do you want me to move that out of the way now? So now you've got your quilt. So we need to just quickly trim these off. Right. So it is in your instructions. So there we go. So nice big ruler. We'll hold it up. I'm not going to hang it up. It'll take too long. So and before I commit to cutting it. I am just going to use a longer acrylic ruler and a rotary cutter to trim all sides of your quilt top, being sure to leave a quarter inch seam allowance. Right. So I'm going to go and do that. Right. So you're going to be cutting. So I'm lining up from these points that are in the centre, going across the sections there. So I'm going to leave a quarter of an inch. Okay, I'm going to commit to that. Right. Yeah, right, I'll mess it, yeah. <laughs> so, remember to leave that quarter of an inch going over those seams. It's nice though, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> it's very like, really pretty. I just need to, there's one or two areas I'm like, oh. So this isn't the whole quilt, is it? No. No, there's more. Which I'll, that's I'll, I'll take my machine back because I'm pretty much prepped for my next one. Oh, okay. So I'm going to make, I'll make myself a coffee yeah. and I'll uh, prep the next. So that's one side cut. Right. Have I got time to cut? Yeah, 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 because uh, Hannah wants it hanging up. No, don't apologise, Hannah. While you're trimming that, oh, hang on, there's a question. New twilting, should the fabric be pre-washed before cutting out and sewing from Christine in North Hans? I've never washed my fabric. Um, if you, right, Christine, if yeah. you're dressmaking, we always say wash it first, because obviously if you make it and then it shrinks, then it's not going to fit you. Um, quilting is very much, uh, most people I know don't wash their fabric before they start, but some people do, because what happens is, is if you make it, and quilt it and bind it and everything and then you wash it you get that look I, what I like is it goes and you get that little bit of shrinkage because the fabric and the wadding has that like three percent shrinkage on it so it just pulls it in so it looks like a, but some people like Mandy Shaw never ever washes hers at all so she doesn't want she doesn't want it to shrink down like that but I know a lot of people do wash their fabric beforehand it's totally up to you but I find with when you're cutting straight lines out if you've cut it with the dressing in everything you get better straight lines than you do if you wash it because obviously once you wash it if there is any dressing in the fabric it'll give it more movement and everything so it's easier to cut straight lines out so it depends on it's totally and utterly up to you if it's going to be a wall hanging or anything like that i wouldn't bother i wouldn't bother at all uh, and if you're going to put it on the bed or something or if the cat's sleeping on something you are going to wash it if you don't mind it cinching up at the first wash then that, don't bother washing it no, I, I never wash my fabric and I always use a dry iron as well, but that's just my preference. Yeah. I don't oh, yeah, yeah. So, Christine, if you don't wash it, use a dry iron because if you use a dry iron, it just manipulates the fabric. If you use a steam iron, it manipulates it and fixes it so you can't then get it to go back. Oh, it'll shrink little bits of it. I'm nearly there now. You could leave the bottom if, if they, have you done three sides? Yeah, I'm just doing the very last one. Oh, okay, now. that's fine then. I've never done one this big before on air. No. <laughs> so it's usually like a little section. And it's still, this isn't the whole quilt, is it? No. So it's kind of, you know, it's still just a small section. 
into one of them. Sorry, I'm going as quick as I no, can. No, 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 don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Right, cat. Can you hang it up and I'll do the uh, re recapping. So in the bundle for your £179, which should be £239, you've got £60 off today. You've got the instructions, right? So this is what you're making. So how many squares have you got on yours there? How many octagons have you got on yours? Uh, you've got eight. Oh. So you've got six black ones, two centre ones. Yeah, yeah. So we've done, actually what Delphine's done is this bit here. Delphine's done to the outside of that line there. So she's done. What you're about to see going up is there. You then have a black border, then a very wide floral border, then a black binding on yours. So it'd be a lot bigger that way, right? So in there, you've got all your cut. These will be in the wrong order. Now you've got your templates for the triangles. You've got your uh, all your different how to cut out the different angles all the different fabrics how you cut the fabric out to start with there's your templates for your triangles of your cream fabric then uh, all the placing together this is all in a different order because we messed it all up oh, oh there you go and there's your cutting out how you cut it all out so you're cutting out your main ones along here your a ones uh, your your, fa your fabrics on here the ones with the black border go along that side the ones with the white border go up that side there and you cut them all out basically you cut enough to make a whole octagon so that's your instructions and your fabric is um, a meter I think it was of your um, textured fabric there that's for your background oh it's a meter and a half then you get a meter of your black for your binding and your borders and then you get this bolt of fabric of 9.1 meters with all your different colors it's sunshine from jason yenter in the beginning it's a it's four it's four wide i'm just not going to open it again so you just use that to cut all of your triangles out so you cut your blue one your green one your yellow one your orange one your red one then you're back to your blue one again there 179.99 uh, should be £239 and will go back to £239 at um, midnight tonight. I just confused me because that little picture in the corner there isn't, it's not in proportion, is it? Right, have a look behind Delphine. Remember, it's not finished. No, no, it's not <laughs> finished. Step out of the way, Delphine. Look, how gorgeous is that? Oh, don't look at me point. So I'm what you'll do close. on yours <laughs> is you've got a, a black border here then so, you've got a really wide floral border there. Yeah. Then you've got your black binding on the edge yeah, there. So I will go and put the borders on. Where have you cut them out? Uh, I, 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 I can do it. All right then. Yeah, just, it's just went very tidy, but I can do it. I can do it. All right then. Yeah. She's standing in front of me. Yeah. Do check out, there's loads you've got in your basket. Loads of it. If you want to wait and see Delphine's border and everything on, please do. But um, be careful because if everyone suddenly checks out, they might all go, that's all. Oh yeah, they'll be single figures. If everyone checks out now, they'll be single figures. Then when Delphine brings it back with the... You see, so, so you see on from that picture there, Delphine has done the middle section. She's going to put a black border on. Then she's going to put the very wide border on. Then there's going to be... Then there's going to be a black binding. You might not get as far as the black binding. Um, we'll see you. Okay. We'll... Right, thank you, Delphine. She's just melted an eye, a plastic bag on the iron. <laughs> Second time. Uh, yeah, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, fine, fine. Uh, don't go anywhere, Rebecca Reed's back. I know I thought it was the end of the day. Rebecca Reed's back doing her sewing case and her craft bag. We will see you in four from now. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Now I've got a bit of news for you. This Friday, Rebecca Reed's on the show, right? She's been to the Festival of Quilts and she's interviewed, it's an exclusive interview, she has interviewed Kay Fassett, right? All about his new book, Quilts in Wales. It's fantastic and there's all sorts going on about the quilts in here and lots of other things. Make sure you tune in on Friday.
Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account, and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals, and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. 
We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos, and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Alex is back, Amber Makes is back. Yes, Because she I'm hasn't back. got a name, she's just called Amber Makes on the thingies now. <laughs> yeah. So in this hour, we're going to do the needle cases and we're going to do the craft bags, right? Now they're both two, two completely separate projects, but they match in. So if you've already got the needle case, you might want the craft bag. You might not have the needle case, you might already have the craft bag, you want the needle case. You might not have neither. <laughs> anyway, this is the needle case, Bumblebee needle case. So the way it works, oh sorry, I'm all the way over here. Hang on then. This isn't working, hang on. The yellow Bumblebee one. Here we go. Here's your bumblebee. Oh, this is what the needle case looks like. Right, and it unfolds like that, and you have all of your different needles in there. They're not included in the bundle, you get those separately. Uh, even one in the machine, whatever you've got in the machine at that moment are there. So they're really, really cute, aren't they? Ballpoint, embroidery, jeans, leather, quilting, sharps. The works, they all go in there, and then you fold them up like that and there's a little popper on there just to keep it closed and all nice and safe but also on the panel you also get the one for hand to sewing needles as well so you get your beading and your chenilles and your darners and your embroidery your leather and then obviously just the brilliant way of doing it spares because sometimes you put them back in the drawer don't you and you think well i don't know what that one was so on the panel is I get the instructions on the panel is everything you need to make those two needle cases machine needles and hand needle cases on the panel now Rebecca do I need anything else to go inside it um you need some interfacing just a straightforward medium weight interfacing to put on the cover because it gives it that little bit of structure I shall show you that in a second we'll show you that and a time. press fastener oh, no, I'll show you that in a second that's as well it. so that's your bumblebee version this one here is called Vintage. Half the stock of this has gone already of the Vintage one. So here's your Vintage one with your sewing machine on the front. And then your lovely... All the fabrics you need are all on the panel. You don't need to buy any other fabric at all. There's a little popper you need there. So again, there's enough on the panel to make both the um, machine needle one and the hand needle one. Beautiful. Now, before I do the needles, I'm just going to do the interfacing and the poppers so we can keep up to date. So the interfacing you need is this one. Just your straightforward uh, iron-on interfacing, medium weight. One pack would be enough, wouldn't it? More than. More than enough, says Amber Makes. More than. You actually need... Shall I tell you? Okay, she's going to tell us exactly how exactly much you need. Exactly how much you need is... 45 by 35 centimetres. Oh, there you go. Half of that then. Okay, then uh, the other thing you just mentioned is the snap fasteners, otherwise known as poppers. <laughs> the baby, ooh, baby ones. I put a button on mine, but you know, up to you. That was oh, did you? for purely decorative oh, purposes. Oh, over the top, yeah, put a button but on the top. But it didn't look yeah. like a real yeah. button. Well, it was a real button. But, but it's not a buttonhole. No. Button. Functioning button. For decorative purposes. Okay, then I've got needle bundles put in them. I've got the machine needles in which you get stretch, you get universal, you get quilting, 
you get leather, you get top stitch, you get jeans, you get ballpoint, you get sharps, and you get embroidery, and you get in your machine one. Yeah. So those are all the pockets. Yeah, they're all the pockets. That's what it says on the pockets. That's what they are there. Nineteen ninety nine for all of your machine needles to go in your machine needle holder. Nineteen pounds and ninety nine pence. One, two, three, four. <laughs> nine of those yep nine of those now for your hand sewing kit you've got are you ready for this <laughs> hang on sorry you've got chenille you've got tapestry you've got beading you've got leather you've got sharps you've got between slash quilting you've got long darners you've got milliners slash straw and you've got embroidery $13.99. Nine needle packs there to go into your hand stitch. Well, actually, they don't have to go in their packets, do they? You just put them in put on the pages yeah, that they're meant to, to be in. Yeah, they there. look nicer. So that's all of those, right? Now, before Rebecca starts sewing, I'm also going to show you the craft caddy and what the craft caddy can make. Bees first. Now, it's not just the craft caddy, because in here, there's a donut. <laughs> We like a donut. Mm. There's a, now you obviously don't get the tape measure in there, but it's a tape measure cover. But don't worry, don't worry, because I'll show you something in a minute. And you also get your little scissor keeper. So you can make all of those from this kit here. Now, do we get this in it? Yes. Oh, that's good. So you get your bosal. That's really or your, Is it bosal or it's vising? Styleville. One, two, two. Styleville, styleville. Because you can't really make it without. No. So then you get your instructions. Ooh, instructions. And you get your panel. My word, there's everything on there, isn't there? Look. <laughs> it's a big panel. Huge panel. Everything you need, your scissor keeper, your uh, donut, your bag, everything. Everything is there that you need. What are you muttering about next Oh, door? I was because you were going to say, is there anything else we need for this? So I'm just... Yeah, is there anything else we need for this? you need um well you can put webbing in the handle if you want as okay well. the handle yeah. is there but yeah. i put some webbing in mine right because that's quite useful and then you'll need something to stuff your pincushion with oh yes of course we've all got something there right okay so that's your bumblebee version with your salville and your fabric and your instructions 29.99 so the bumblebee is the same design as the bumblebee needle case so it all matches in together and then we also have the vintage. So again, the instructions. Now the instructions are very thorough as all as uh, Rebecca Reads are. So you get your donut there. Oop. All of your instructions, all of your pictures, everything you need. Hang on, there's more, I can't get the page to turn. There you go, scissor keeper. Everything in there. Oh, there's no secret code on that one, that's right. No, there's no, no secret, secret code, code on that, that one. one. So you get your Styleville, and then again you get your panel, which is your Vintage panel, that one. Extra sewing machines there to applique if you want. Extra little um, reels of thread and buttons. Oops. All of that there for $29.99. And that creates this with your donut your tape measure holder and your scissor keeper all the fabrics are all on the panel you don't need any other fabrics whatsoever that goes there now a couple of other things i'm going to show you before i move on to the sewing and that is um this little four piece measuring tape so look that's exactly the right size that's the right size for the pattern that one Oh, it's an early bird. <laughs> it's been on before as an early bird. Oh, that's not the early bird price. Oh, it goes even lower. So you get three tape measures and the, ro not the rotating, retract. Oh, 50p each. Works out to 50p each. That's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. How brilliant is that? So you put that one, cover that one for you. You don't have to. If you're not even buying any of these kits, you can just buy this as a Christmas present for someone. One ninety nine. You get three different widths of tape measure and your retractable tape measure there. 
Do you know what I did with my tape measures? I've well, like you burnt it with the iron. No, I put double-sided tape on them and stuck them on the wall. And then I wrote, when I measure people, like the kids, or anyone who comes to the house, then you can write them next to them. And they're still there 10 years later. Did you ever, didn't you ever do that as a kid? Put the heights no. on the wall? Yes, you did. Everyone oh, no, does didn't. that. You didn't meet my mum. And mom. you stand there and you put a book on your head no, and then no, you draw a line no. and then you School put your name. School we did, but not at home. Oh, well, I've got a wall with everyone's on. And, I and stuck... they're still there. You've not painted the wall. No, it's only a little bit of wall. Like, you know, when you go into a doorway, it's like there. Oh, okay. And I've got one with inches and one with centimetres. It's a double-sided tape and they're still there. And then you write everyone's name on if ever visits your and house. And if you, yours going down now. Yeah, they are actually, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm rubbing mine out. Oh. But they're really good for that. I'm sure. Mm. Right, so that's that one. Uh, the webbing that she mentioned to go inside the um, straps. You don't have to have that. No, 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 but it's in case you want it. If you, you want it a bit it, yeah. stiffer. If you want it, here it is. Come and get it. £1.49. That's a metre. Whoa, metre. And then, do I need any bond web for any of these? Well, with the needle cases, there are lots of little bits on them. So if right. you want to embellish them, that's up to you. Okay, then bond right. web helps. I'm going to show you this one because this one was our early bird bond web today. You might not need this much, but it's a really good value, this one. And the price goes back up. Oh, is it sold out? Price, go, so, uh, price goes back up at midnight to 23.99, isn't it? 23.99 is normally. 19.99 today only because the eight o'clock show this morning was just early bird so this was early bird this morning but if you don't want that much bonder web oh you do all right then. but i've got a little one here <laughs> i still like the big box with like 40 meters on it i know i like that i would never use that much but 2.99 this one 2.99 right that's everything i'm going to show you for now so that Rebecca Reed is going to show us how to do the needle cases and then she's going to move on to the craft uh, basket. Aren't you, Rebecca Reed? Oh, I am, yes. Good. So can I pinch one of your panels? Oh, are you going to cut oh. it up? No, okay. just going to show. All right. I've got one that I've cut up, but I just wanted to show to okay, start brilliant. with. So this is really, if you haven't done any Amber Makes kits before, yeah. to explain. Because the, uh, the whole idea behind Amber, Amber Makes is to make things simple for you so that you don't have templates and measuring... Um, and trying to work it out and also it means that we can then print designs in a specific area so they're just perfect for what you need so it's much more cost effective and you get exactly what you want brilliant so um the wonderful amy who's my better half of amber makes yes I the hard worker the, yes who i was send in yesterday. her yes she was wasn't she? yes yeah. i send her the like rectangle sizes and then she fills them in so it just means that it's much more cost effective because well, there's no wastage either is there well no and she's she fills she doesn't like white space okay so any bit of space she fills with something okay so everything is on here so what you need to do before you start is have a look at it cut everything out and then on the above every single piece there is a label so like for example that says hand sew needle case page eight so just cut around the outer line all seam allowances are included so you just cut around the black line around the edge and then the label on it cut it off and pin it to the top of the right side it just means that later when you're constructing it you'll know what is what and how big are your seam allowances um for this one um i think they're a centimeter do you know i can't remember i hate the fact that it's art sometimes it's imperial so it's a centimeter can never make my mind up no it's a centimeter do you yes. not have to put both on I don't with seam allowances because it's not accurate if you do both. Oh, uh, okay. Cause Only because when I wrote the book, mm. I wrote down all of mine in inches and it came back from the editor saying, oh, you have to write inches and centimetres. And when I wrote for Simply Sewing, it was the same on that. I would write inches and their sub editors Well, yes, I know. We in. always, well, on Simply Sewing, we always did that. But I think you've got it. Well, you've got to choose one or the other because yeah. they're not exact yeah. conversions. So a centimetre and three eighths is almost the same. But not the same. But not exactly no. the same. When I put things like that you need to buy, I'll always put the centimetres and the inches because you have to buy in centimetres. Yeah. So I'll always put them they there. Buy in America. Yeah, and then, and then you'd need the inches. So I yeah. put buying in both. Okay, but not But seamless. sewing in just oh, the one. Oh, okay. Otherwise, it's, otherwise, you have to rework the whole project in both. Oh, no, no. It's just because Lucy messaged me saying she'd had the lady saying, oh, why your messages, why your measurements only in centimetres mm. and she was like well that's what I work in and yeah. I said oh for the book I had to have both so she was going to look into it but obviously that's why you don't do seam allowances because they're not exactly the same yeah and also because the seam allowances are put into these they only work on the yes. seam allowance yeah, yeah, I exactly. put in yeah. if that makes sense yeah 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 
so other things are in both but then when i do patchwork it has to be in inches because people so in it oh, yeah I'm just confusing I anyway 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 so cut everything out and on here you've got everything for the hand sewing needle case and the sewing machine needle case so it's all on there so cut everything out to start with you could use scissors or rotary cutter up to you i tend to spray mine with a bit of best press and then yeah. cut it out it's quite nice um, then you have to decide do you want to do any applique on yours so if i these. Do you want to do any applique on yours, Rebecca? Do you want to do any applique? I'm well, asking I you. I did, actually. Yes. Oh, very nice. So, for example, um, on this hand sewing needle case, there is also an extra label here. It's, yeah. it's printed on the, the cover, but I put a piece of felt behind this and then bonder webbed it on there. Oh, I sewed a couple of buttons on, and I did the same with that. And with this one, I embroidered the gold lines, but I could have cut out the sewing machine and put it on. Yeah. And like with the B one, there is an extra B to put on, but I embroidered him instead. And then the n label, I, I bonded webbed on. But you don't have to do any of that. It's all printed on there. It's just if you want to make it a little bit extra special. Right. That's all. So that's an optional thing. And it's all covered in the instructions. So you don't need to remember that. Um, so once you've done that, put all of the sewing machine in one pile and all the hand sewing in the other so you don't get them mixed up. And then you start off by making the pages because the way that the um, the, the way that the needle case works, I keep borrowing the back again. I've already got one. The way the needle case works is you open it up, and there's all these little pages which obviously have got the names written on them. So you've got to make the pages. Now the pages are made in pairs. So I have made mine in advance, but basically, you sew two pages right sides facing, turn them right sides out and then top stitch around the edge. doesn't matter which order then you do the Well, it does. It matters which one you put with which. You have to put embroidery with quilting only because if you want your book to be in alphabetical order. Oh, okay. Otherwise, it really doesn't matter at no, all. No, But I wanted mine in alphabetical okay, order. Okay, that's right. Because then, because you see this... So do you tell us to do that in the instructions? Yeah, no, it says, yeah, 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 pair this page. Well, also, they're labelled with pages and it says put page one with page ten and, and it okay. explains that. Um, because there's ten pages as well, you have to, you, you'd have to keep searching, wouldn't you? So... Oh, it's hardly you know? a chore. <laughs> yeah, but, but you'd have to go, oh, well, I want, where's that one? Yeah, so right. um, I ha if you want them in alphabetical order, then put them together in pairs in the right order and try and the right way up as well. Yeah, of course, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have done that. Yeah. I have done that. And then you end up with five pages like that. Then put them to one side. Mm -hmm. Now I've got hand sewing pages and B there. Anyway, I you then make a little tab. Here's the little tab. Lo says, uh, you two are making me stop working. Loving the chat. Chat. Hello, <laughs> Rebecca. Oh, who's that? Lo. Oh, OK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, it's because I've got my special. Yeah. My special. She was about worried earlier that the needle had fallen off. Well, it moves, but I quite like the fact it moves. Is I it did message to? and said, well, no, it's not special. It doesn't fall out, but, you know, it's quite nice to fiddle with. OK, move on. She did explain how to stop it, but I quite, it hasn't fallen out. I just quite like the way it moves. Um, anyway, you have a little tab, that's to close it with, and again, that's on the panel, you sew it right sides together, turn it right sides out, and there's your little tab. Then you take the, um, the front of your needle case, and I, this is where I pressed interfacing on, you don't have to do that if you haven't got any or don't want to, but it just makes it a little bit stiffer. Then you put, you need to then pin your tab onto the cover. So it needs to go on, just making sure I get this on, on the left hand side in the middle. So just fold it in half to find the centre and then just put it on there. And then I would sew this on within the seam allowance just because it's a lot easier. Would help if you plugged your machine in. If you actually plugged your machine in. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot, you see, I put the, I carried it and put it back and forgot to plug the thing in. Right, there we go. Oh, and now you're dropping your papers all over the floor. All of my pieces of paper. Right, okay. Um, so sew it on with it. You can pin it, but I find it's easier and it gives it, it makes it a little bit stronger as well to just sew it within the seam allowance because you don't want this um, this stitching to show. I caught it there. Okay, there we go. That just holds it in place. Yeah. Oh, by the way, your machine doesn't come with a quarter inch foot without the guide on. Oh, well. That's a shame, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> then put the lining right sides together yeah with it and i'm gonna put it that way around sew it together all the way around the edge but leaving a turning gap 
in the bottom of the centre. If you leave it in the bottom of the centre, that's where the spine will be. So it's the bit that we're less likely to be seeing because it's often that the turning gap shows. And with your one centimetre seam allowance, sew it together all the way round. Don't forget to reverse stitch, otherwise your turning cap will come undone. So this is a really, really easy thing to make. So square at the edges, it's not curved. No, yeah, it is square. square, it's just I've trimmed it already. No, 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 it's just a... It will be square, yeah. but I trimmed it before I started rather than the other way around. Clever. So it's really simple because there's no measuring. You're just no. cutting and sewing. Turning gap. I first made myself one of these a very long time ago and I embroidered all the names on. Oh yeah. <laughs> Why is he looking, making a face at me like that? Because it's a, a, a <laughs> there's pressing a map whole there. Board. Many years ago and I because you couldn't I could never find one with all the names, so I embroidered all the names on all the pages and I still use it all the oh. time. And then I thought actually do you know what we could do this as a kit. Yeah because it's so nice, it makes a big difference if you use the right needle and not just those cheap ones. So you're pressing supermarket. those seams open? Well, yeah, I'm pressing them open, but obviously you can't press them open. Yeah. So when I press something open, and I say, I just mean press one side. Yeah. I don't press the other side because you don't really need to, no. except for oh. where the turning gap is. Yeah. I find if you press the other side open, it's neater than when you come to yeah, turn it right it sides out. So. That one, I have pressed open. So now you just need to turn it right sides out. Just put your fingers inside and find a corner. Push it all the way through, like so. Just about you haven't got a talk back today, though. Playing up today. What people. are they saying today? No, no, it's not saying anything. They're just going, whoa. Oh, whoa, I thought right. they were. Not that's not people talking. It's just the sound waves. Oh. Message on the bottom. These are beautiful kits to make. Love the bees needle case. It started off my Christmas present stash. Nothing like Etna Head from Jackie and East Sussex. Well, it's not. The thing is, it's not we far. go. It's not that. If you think about it, September next week, isn't it? You I know what I mean. And, if and you, how dark was it this morning? How dark was it? When it you was set off much with, different. With, it was pitch black. It was. This morning, it wasn't was it? completely different because normally I know where the, it gets light on the motorway, and it would took a long time. Oh. I know it's really sad, isn't it? But you know, if you're going to make, well, if you were making a quilt for someone or a blanket or something, you need to start now. But if you're thinking about making a few things, yeah, you need to get moving. No, no, you, you do, because also we always underestimate how long something's going to take as well. Don't we go? Oh, I can run that up in an afternoon. But I actually, know. by the time you've cut everything out and pressed it, and oh no, I've already started my Christmas sewing. I know that's really sad, isn't it? I haven't even done a list yet. Well, I just get caught out every year. Use a little pokey something yeah. to poke out the corners. I found a stick, um, and then you just. Give it a little press and then you top stitch around the edge. That um, closes your turning gap but also makes it nice and neat. Yeah. I'm not going to do that, but okay. that's what you would do. Then you take all your pages, very important to put them in the right order, and it does tell you, well, only if I've got to remember B's. <laughs> <laughs> um, only if you want them to be in alphabetical order. If you don't mind, then that's up to you. And then just double check them. You see, I haven't got those in the right order somewhere. Well, you're sewing the wrong ones together. No, no, because these aren't sewn yet. But I can't remember. I had them in order when I started, and because I, I took them apart. Billy, Chenille's darning. Ah, oh, that's where I've, I've gone wrong somewhere. Embroidery. There we go. And then you can check that they're in the they're right. I think they're right. Now. That'll do. That'll do, won't it? They're not quite right. There we go. Um, <laughs> put them in the right order. Yeah. And then this is the really really simple bit, but you just need to get it all nice and flat. Now what I do is I you put fabric clips, if you've got a few, yeah. you can put them either side of, um, I think I've got some more in here. Then that just holds them together. There we go. Put them either side. Now, if you draw a line down the center with like um, a friction pen, you can draw it with pencil because you're, you're gonna sew over it. Yeah. Draw a line down the center and then put this centrally on top and then you can clip it cl you can clip it all together then you know it all lines up properly yeah so what i would do is draw a line down the center of the cover and then you can just match it with the central line and then you just sew it through all those layers through all those layers to show you if you like okay i'm just thinking about time no 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 you don't have to i will do 
I'll do. I'll show you how to do it. Go on then. <gasps> I just pinch another ruler again. Oh, I'll know. I'll have another. Oh no, you've gone back to the big ruler now. Yeah, where's the little one gone? Is Did it you take it with you? No, I didn't. It's behind the this quilt. Couple of messages while she's rooting behind there. Just want to say the hanging quilt behind Rebecca is stunning. Maureen from Penworth um, in wherever that was. It's coming up in the next hour. It's the Cave Cold Frames, that one. I love that one. Actually, Julie, uh, oh, this one's from Julie. It hides the quilt up for sale. Yeah, did not finished. The, the actual finished one isn't, but the kit will be in the next hour. And now you need to be careful on the blue one because the blue one has been uber, uber, uber popular on pre-order. There's far fewer of the blue one than there are the red one now. Uh, have a look back at the quilt for Julie. That's the next hour. Delphine's doing that in the next hour. Comes in the blue. Should we show the red as well? We've got the red one there, Brucey. There you go, all the red. Hot frames or cold frames. Next hour. Oh, he's even got, hang on, you have to see these. Go on then. Oh, okay. Bruce was filming, there you go. Bruce was making these during the prep this morning. Better than Ian with his phone the other day, isn't it? <laughs> Had he taken pictures though? Oh, he took pictures at um, Festival of Quilts mm. with his phone, not thinking people might be watching on a great big telly and they were wobbling yeah. and going fast <laughs> like this. Anyway, drawn the line, drawn right, the so line. Right, so I've drawn the line on the, down the centre and then I've also drawn a line on there so I know it matches up. Yeah. Now, when you start this, um, you don't even need to use a bigger needle. I didn't. I'm going to lengthen my stitch a little bit. Okay. And I'm going to start in the middle. Oh, okay. So you will have to, you might need to, because then this is, you don't want to be starting at the edge because that's where it's all going to get bunched up yeah, and go yeah, yeah. wrong. So just take it, it's a lot of layers, but you just, if you take it slow. Also the needle on that machine might not be very sharp. <laughs> Should we give it a go? Ooh, doesn't like that, but it will work. Just take it really slow. Yeah. Now, when you get to the edges, you will find, because you've got obviously seam allowances in yeah. there, then I stop and I hand crank it, because this is oh, where okay. it can go wrong. So you don't have to go right to the- I was going to say, you need to go right to the end? You don't need to go right to the edge, but just that last bit, where the, the, it's turned under, you've got 10 Double layers. Yeah, yeah, loads. exactly. So then lift up your foot, turn it round, and then again hand crank it over the super thick layers yeah because it's still sewing but you've got two lines of stitching now there so it's a bit stronger and again just go i'm going to put it on even really just go slowly because the machine will often go through slowly whereas if you go fast it might yes. catch if your needle breaks then just put a jeans needle in but luckily which you've you got in the kit which you've bought in the kit anyway in the extra bundle yeah so it's going through, isn't it? Yeah. And that's not because this machine is amazing. It did it on my but old it is machine amazing. as well. Well, it is amazing, but it would do it on my old one. I mean, it's quite hard to get through all of those layers. Yeah. And then go up to the other end and hand crank it back again. And then back to the center. That means then that you've got two layers of stitching, but you're not having to start on the edges, which will get bunched up. That's a good little tip there. I do that quite often. I do that with the sewing machine needle case as well. If you're ever sewing something on where you're a bit worried about that happening, start in the middle, go up to the top, down to the bottom, back, and be, yeah. particularly with pockets. So there we go. Perfect. And you get, that's a nice neat line. That's the spine. And then it's all ready. You just sew the old press stud on and that's that done. Perfect. So it's not, doesn't take too long, no. that one. Right. Sew machine needle case. I'll probably just talk you through this one. Where are my bits for that? Um, so the way that this one works, exactly the same way. You press interfacing to the ne the cover. Yeah. There we go. Just because it makes it a bit stiffer, and then you've got a little tab, which the tab on this one goes on the front, and on the hand one it goes on the back, just because of the way it folds. Right. And all the measurements are on there. And then I've. Um, stitch that on in advance. When you're sewing something like this, when it's a bit wibbly, because when you sew, if it goes down like that, you'll have it not straight. So either pop a pin in or I'll often tack it, because when you turn it inside out, um, sometimes that can get... Yeah, tacking it keeps it straight, yeah, exactly. The pin and then the gets pin, caught in your hands, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. So do that, right, and then you take the lining piece. Now the lining isn't interfaced, it has two pockets on it. One at the top and one at the bottom. The pockets are made really easily by putting the pocket outer and the pocket lining right sides together. The lining is a matching print. 
and then you turn it inside out because the um, they're not joined on the ends they're yeah. loose so you just turn it right sides out and then in the instructions it tells you the measurements how far from the bottom you need to put that one and then how far from the bottom you need to put that one and they are done in alphabetical order right and there's nothing you can do about those no you have to have them in alphabetical order yeah. whether you like it or not although interestingly oh they're not they're, in no they're order. no they're in the wrong order i must have said in the wrong order because that one should be at the top and that one should be at the bottom oh there we go, there you not go. concentrated. The way it works anyway is that you have ballpoint embroidery, jeans, leather, quilting, sharp, stretch, top stitch, universal, <laughs> specials. Now specials are where, where you might have, um, like you can get a twin needle. Yeah. And micro text. Yeah. Anything I haven't thought of, there are others. Yeah. Okay. Um, spares are because quite often you'll have two universals, so you can put your spare ones. And then this in the machine one will always be, em will be empty some of the time but not all of the time yeah. so if you are working which one I'm missing if you're if you're working with jeans put your jeans needle in your machine and then pop this um, packet in this pocket and then you know that that's what's in the machine and that also means that if you finish your sewing you come back to it tomorrow yeah, you'll never and you're doing remember. a silk chiffon dress <laughs> you don't want to be doing a jeans needle with a silk chiffon exactly. dress exactly and in theory you shouldn't really be putting your needles that you've already used back in here because they're the slightly blunt ones. Who had to put it? Well, you can put it through the pocket. Oh, okay. You, but you can put it back in. But the problem with putting them back in is then, do you, how do you know? Well, you put it back in on the left on hand the le side. Yeah, I guess so. And then once that one's blunt, you put that in your sharps box so that it's empty, and then you move to the next uh, one. Oh, okay. Or you could thread I'm them through there. I'm not that organised, so I don't know why I'm but saying that. But it's just the only way that you will ever know yeah. which one is in the machine. That's why it has that Brilliant. pocket. Anyway, so you've pinned them on. I've sewn that one on. I can't believe I've done that in the wrong order. We've actually stitched it already. Yeah, that was all. I stitched the oh, okay, sort of pocket okay. first. Never mind. Oh. Move on. Right. So now I'm going to sew them down. So what you do is you sew down one side within the seam allowance, top stitch across the bottom and up the other side. So do the side ones within the seam allowance because that will be in the seams later. Oh, I'm super slow now. Okay. Right. And then when you get to the bottom, top stitch it. So basically that means really close to the edge i mean i'm talking like edge stitching yeah really like a couple of mils sixteenth of an inch because if you go too high up then your pockets won't um your needles won't fit you in. won't fit in now when you come to the the lines i've gone all the way along but just to show you what happens when you get to the line stop pivot your needle so there are lines between each pocket but where the spines on the needle case will come, there are two lines. So s stop, pivot, stitch all the way to the top. Yeah. Now don't go over the top, because that will look messy. No. Turn it round and go back down. Okay. That means that every pocket line has got two lines of stitching. Yeah. And then just sew along the bottom again. Oh, okay. Along to the so next line. So you do line. your own uh, kind of blanket stitch. What so you can mean? blanket stitch go along, it goes up and down. Yeah, along, I guess up so. And down, yes, because you it also it just means and by going up and down it means that you're I always think when you sew on a pocket like this, never start at the top, because it always seems to come undone. Yeah. Or even stop at the top. They come undone, don't they? But if you go up and down, that's like with the other one where I started in the centre. So if I was only doing one of these and I didn't have the bottom line, I would start in the middle, go up to the top, down to the bottom, and back to the middle yeah. again. So I haven't obviously didn't do the other pocket separations, so uh -huh. you'll have to do them, but um, otherwise I'd have been here all day. But all of this is in the instructions, you haven't got to remember any of this. No. And if you've got any questions, our email address on the back of the instructions, so you can always ask us. Who does that go to, you or Amy? Both of us. But Amy will reply. Yeah. <laughs> no, not always. <laughs> Depend. Depends who's who's on it or or what the question's sort of directed yeah, about. Amy always does the Facebook questions. Yes. She's very good. And then sometimes I go and answer them as well. So there we go. There's your front, there's your back. All you need to do, sew the right sides together. Yeah. Turn the right sides out and that's it done. Lovely. You do top stitch, you do fold it over and sew the top as well. So once it's sewn right sides together, what it says is then you fold that over. So it's 
a little bit above the bottom and then you top stitch along the top. That just keeps it folded over. Oh, yeah. But means. when I first made it, I didn't put the flap and they all fell out. Yeah. Okay, lovely. Right, while you prep to do your next demo, I'll just recap those two. Vintage needle case. Fewer than 20 already. Fewer than 20 those flying out, flying out, flying out. So you get to make both, you get to make both of them. You don't get any needles, but you make both of them, right? Make both those. You get the instructions and the whole panel here for 14 99 Now, if you think about it, that panel's normally 14 99 on its own. So to get the instructions as well is amazing. That's the vintage one. And then the bumblebee one is here. Same thing, but your bumblebee print. Right, the, fewer than 30 of these now. 14 99 You get the panel and you get the instructions. Right, now, quick, very quickly, needles. Machine needle um, bundle. Hand ones have sold out. Here's the machine ones. Uh, so you get your universal, your leather, your quilting, your stretch, your top stitch, your embroidery, your sharps, your jeans, and your ballpoint for $19.99. Fantastic. Right, now we're going on to the caddies. So what are you going to show us on the caddy then? Um, and which one are you doing? I'm doing the vintage sewing, actually. So obviously I've done a bit of preparation in advance. Yeah. Now you get the Styleville, which is a foam interfacing. It's the same as... Um, Bosal set yeah, bosal just different design. makes aren't different they? makes now that's what you need for the structure the lovely thing about foam interfacing which I think is fab is that it's it is very structured it will hold its shape which is what you need for a bucket yeah but it's also very squishy as well yeah so you can fold it up and then it all comes back again and not only that it sews beautifully you sew through it with just a normal machine normal needle nothing special but it holds its shape it's like magic stuff yeah. so to start with cut all the pieces exactly the same as the sewing machine needle cut all the pieces out and like you can see with this one i've pinned my label on so i know which is which and keep them on there until you sort of finish sewing that piece on because it's quite easy to forget which is which so that's like the outer base and the lining base and it's really nice as you get to each stage removing all your labels as you go along so you do put the foam interfacing on the base and onto the body part but just the outer body then you make the pockets now the pocket is made from one big rectangle of outer fabric and one big rectangle of lining see the lining has got a blue spot so it looks quite pretty right then on the instructions it explains exactly where to place them to pleat them because obviously this rectangle is longer than the base because it has to have lots of little pleats so that when you use your caddy if you put things in the pockets if it was flat you wouldn't get much in like here you're a great assistant you know <laughs> andrea all i am assistant <laughs> never the bride <laughs> it worked is it so your pockets have obviously got these pleats in so that you can actually get things into them the instructions explain where the pleats are basically you measure across the bottom and then you pleat them it's really simple and then you just sew them all into place and you sew the lines and you can see what you do is you draw the lines onto the base outer and you draw the lines onto the pockets and then you sew along them so that's that then when you've done that yeah to make it we're not going to put the lining on because i want the lining to look nice and clean on the inside i right. don't want any seams so you put the, the side bits right sides together and sew it together so you can use pins for that or fabric clips are fab obviously because it's foam it's much easier to use clips when you're using foam <coughs> interfacing rather than pins we've got the clips from earlier the 589 i don't know how they're they're so affordable you get 30 hemline wow. gold clips for at 589 that's a really good price and it's wrong isn't it yeah it is because normally they're like 10 for yeah. 589 yeah exactly <laughs> But they are brilliant fabric clips. They're yeah. great for when you've cut they're the They're not the ones down. Rebecca's using. They're gold and black and the ones. Yeah, they're posher. Um, oh, they're about to sell out, about to sell out. But they're great because you can hold bits of fabric together. You can put labels on things with them and so. So again, this one has a one centimetre seam allowance. Um, the fab you will find the machine goes through this absolutely no problem uh -huh. i mean if you've not worked with foam before i would say just take it slow to start with you don't want to be you know it's it will go through it but it's not like super super thick it's not super thin so just take it easy to start with to see what your machine can handle yeah 
and just make sure you've got a nice sharp needle in there. I would use a sharps needle with this rather than a universal because you really want that sharp point. Yeah. Whereas the universal does have a slight ball point on it. So there's that done together. Now I'm going to sew. We're going to sew the base on next, the round base. So the best way to do this is fold it in half with the seam on one side, and then pop a pin on that side. Then fold it in half so that. Let's just get my this should be a lot of pins on your. Now I've got my own little okay. pot because some of those are a bit dodgy, aren't they? Oh, some of our own ones. Yeah. Well, they're a whole mixture of different. Yeah, shorts, we'll have to have a they? clear out and get some nice new ones. So. Oh, I will spill yours all over <laughs> the place. Yeah, I'll spill mine all over the floor. Um, so you take the seam of this side and match it to the pin. Yeah. And then fold it in half, and then that's that quarter. Now, depending on the size of circle, if you're doing something little, you could just get away with halves. Yeah. But if you were doing a really big circle, I would go eighths as well. Oh, yeah, definitely. Like if you were making a dustbin. I'm trying to think, why would you need... If you my, my dustbin's square. <laughs> Is it? Our dustbin's outside a square. Oh, I've got a round dustbin. That old-fashioned... Yeah. Uh, oh, no, yeah. ones are great big wheelie bins, aren't they? But if you were... Or if you're not sure about it, then go with eights. And to do eights, just take one pin and put it to the next one yeah. and do that. Anyway, take your lining, your base, and do exactly the same thing with it. For it doesn't matter. The, f the fabric is multi-directional, so it doesn't matter which... which well, just as well, because it's going around in a circle, isn't it? Well, also, sometimes you get them where they're not, and then you've got to get it facing the right way, and that's quite annoying. So these the, the little bit of time you take putting your quarter points in makes a difference because it makes it easier to do. Now with the line with the lining of this one, the lining is already sewn on, as you can see. Yeah. But with this one we're going to put this on at this stage now. Oh okay. Because um, by sewing the lining, the lining same thing, you sew it right sides together so you've made a tube. By doing that it means that all the seams are on the inside. This base seam will be bound later. So now I've done my quarter point. Pop the lining and the outer together so that they are wrong sides facing. Wrong and sides together? Wrong sides. Uh -huh. So that when you turn it out it yeah. will be right sides. And then pin them together at the seam just because then it's in the same place. You don't have to, but I think that's a bit neater. And then you need to ease it on and pin it together all the way around. That means now that you'll have a nice inside to your bucket. Right. Because it will all be, all the seams will be covered. So you can clip this or pin it, whichever. And it will, it will work because the pieces are exactly the same size as long as you've sewn it with the right seam allowance, the same seam allowance. It will work. What do you need now? Oh, I thought you were banging the table or something. <laughs> no, I was just easing, easing it so it fitted I, around. I think you just woke Bruce up. Because <laughs> you know when you went on Christmas Day and someone falls asleep and you wake them and they go, oh, you did, Bruce, yeah. <laughs> Bruce just, it was silent, right? And no noise to Bruce and he went, oh. <laughs> Just wake him up. Oh, it was Hannah. <gasps> oh, sorry, I thought that was Bruce. Hannah, have you been sleeping? <laughs> she was asleep. Was she? She did get up early though, didn't she? She was early this morning. Was she? Yeah. For you? No. No, no. <laughs> but on some days she gets a, a lift in with handsome Adam from next door. Oh, does she? But he has to be here at five o'clock, so <gasps> she's sitting there waiting for an hour by the time we come in. Other think, days, not so. I don't think I've met handsome Adam. You must have done. What does he look like? He's quite shy. Mm. He's lovely though, isn't he, Bruce? No, oh, oh, he went, oh, Adam. Oh. <laughs> Maybe it's not his cup of tea. <laughs> not his cup of tea. Yeah. Um, now, you can tack these together around the edge. I would do that. And you can do it around the top and the bottom edge because it just makes it easier because you're going to be sewing and binding later. Yeah. So so this is where this is where you get used to you a do. flat bed yeah. because I wouldn't do it like that. You see, I wouldn't sew it on like that. I'd sew it on like this. Oh, how would you do it then? 
So that you, oh, you, do you on sew the on the inside end. like that. So when you're on a flatbed, you yes. don't have to worry about it bending oh, I over. I thought of that. Because I've not had a flatbed No, no, bed exactly. Before. So that's what you get used to. So on a flatbed, okay. if you if you had a free arm machine, yeah, you take would, that off and you slide that over. Yeah. Oh, actually, no, it can't be big enough because you can't. But on a flatbed, you sew from the inside oh. there and it goes round and then nothing gets in its way. That's, well, I've never, because I haven't, I don't think I've, since I've had my machine, I've had to do this. No, 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 but that's... Well, don't you have to do it now? Do it your way now. No, no, no. I think this yeah. is good. Yeah, that's much better. It just better. makes it much, much so easier. So that that's the answer then, because I, I did think. Well, I guess you just get used to it, because on a flat blade, flat head, it won't go through everything anyway because sometimes you have a tube that's even smaller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you also always do the inside of the tube. Well, there you go. Yeah. Top tip. I've taught taught the old dog new tricks. <laughs> well, uh, on what? Sorry, Han. But you know, so I've sewn on my other machine lots of tubes that won't go over my arm, and I never thought about this. No. Well, I'm very impressed. Why have I never thought of that? Because that's kind of like now you've shown me it's kind of obvious. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's, it is a lot of the time, isn't it? When you suddenly go, oh, that's yeah, how you should do it. Yeah. A bit like my self-invented strip piece and cutting. Yeah, everyone that's else not. Does. That wasn't you inventing that. Is that is quite funny, though. You know, when you discover something and then you go and go, yeah, I've been doing that for ages. Yeah. You think, oh, okay. But that's. Magic. But it's not like you haven't been round sewing people. You used <laughs> to work at Sewing Street where there's people. Uh, sewing Street, you still work at Sewing Street. Uh, simply sewing in places, didn't you? Well, so. I know, but maybe nobody's ever done it on a show that I've done. No. I mean, I've picked up loads of things from them. Yeah. They're genius, some of them. They come up with these great things. And I think, well, how did you find that out? But this is a really good tip. Yeah. Oh, and I think I've done some tubes where you have to like ease it round. Yeah, no, no, no. You know, you're there. Yeah, 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 I'm there then. I'm there now. So if you do that round, that I just wanted to have a go and see how that went. <laughs> <laughs> it's brilliant. So do the top and the bottom in exactly the same way. And now you've got your quarter point. So I might have lost. No, I've lost one of them. Because um, I haven't got much time left. No. Me? How long have I got? How long? Oh, how it long? doesn't matter. Just keep going. Just keep Amber makes <laughs> nine um, minutes. Nine? We have nine minutes, Hannah says. I? Eight now. Eight. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> um, now, when you put your bottom on, yes. the outer base is like a whitey colour on this one, and the um, the outer base is like a pinky colour, and the lining is a whitey colour. So it, put them around the right way. So we, I'm going to put, because I've got the outer inside now, I'm going to put the outer that way just match up the pins and clip them together the four pins yeah so is the seam on the inside of the bag or the outside of the bag both oh sorry this seam is on yeah. the outside of the bag and now the reason was the first time i made it i put it on the inside and it didn't stand up and also you can't bind it once it's, on. it's very impossible and then i looked at buckets like tin buckets and they're made like that aren't they yeah yeah they have that little Wait, it's been because i'm thinking how am i going to do this because with all the foam it's not going to yeah. stand up and then i saw a bucket and thought hmm, there we go there you go so does that mean i've not i know i haven't no. seen that the right way around no it? that's why i asked good point so that's because I lined it first. Message from Louise, right? Hello, can you watch the project? With it's got the foam in. Love the show today from Lou, South Yorkshire. Yes. Can you wash it? Yeah, of course you can. Starville is washable. Yeah, I Don't put it on it. a 60 degree wash though. I have washed it. It's fine. So yes, as John said, make sure you do it this way around. I'm glad you pointed that out. That's all right. So you seem to going on the outside Side, of the bag. Which sounds really weird but it means that you get that proper well let me show you let me show you so it seems on the outside the bag so that you get this ridge and then it's really easy to bind when you come to do it later i'll just hold it there look there you go and you get that little lip and you get the lip so it stands up yeah. like you do on a tin bucket well that's what i think i was wondering how i was going to do that and then yeah. i saw a bucket and thought that's exactly how i'm going to oh. do that i thought i had four clips should have bought the whole packet of clips with me shouldn't i well I have to just pin that one. And then when you've um, clipped the four points, you can then clip it t together all the way around. It will fit. And because it's foam and fabric, it will ease as well. Yeah. And if you have any little bits that aren't quite right, that pleat a little bit when you sew it, don't worry because it'll all be covered by that binding exactly. anyway. 
Anna saying that says, have you really just called Rebecca an old dog? <laughs> Well, I taught her new tricks. What else is that? What are they saying? Is there? Yeah, you can't go new dog. No, Old no. tricks. Can you say that? No. Grandma sucking eggs. <laughs> never understood that one, but there you go. No, well, I've never understood that one either. Don't, you can't teach your grandma to suck no. eggs. Never. I've done I got that. a double yoker the other day. No way. What, without like it being a double yoker? Because you can buy double yokers. Oh, no, no, no. It was just in the, in the, oh. in the box from Waitrose. And it was, I thought, this egg, I put it in my boiling, <gasps> egg boiling machine. Oh, I've Cut got egg open. boiler. Oh, what make something. have you got? Well, I had a little rat. I can't say what make because it broke down after about the fourth go. Oh, okay. So then I bought this other one, not really looking, and it arrived and you could boil 16 eggs at the time. No way. I don't, I, I've taken the top tray out. So I had more of a plasticky one and it got really, really difficult to keep clean, but I've got a new one. It's that lovely sort of duck egg blue colour. Oh, green nice. Colour. Where did you get that from? Um, well, Long one river. of my sons bought it for me on the air. Uh, I don't know where he got it from. Oh, I'll have to but look it's like that. steel and it's like a cone. It's oh, beautiful. nice, because mine's beginning to look a little bit tatty now. You see, this is why I try to tell Hannah, because Hannah cooks her potatoes in the same pan that she boils eggs in. Ooh. And that's like you've got all. Yeah, yeah. I shell. Use, I use my egg boiler every day because I have two boiled eggs every day. So do and I. it's great, isn't it? You just press the button and yeah. walk away. Yeah, no, you have to put your water in first. Yeah, but then yeah. you don't have to think. No, and also you don't come back to the pan going, oh, oh when, what time did I put that I pan know. on? Is, will it be done yet or not? It's just, and, and you've you put, got 16. Mine does six. No, no, no. I, it does eight. I've taken the top layer off. Oh, so it's, it's like in, a double decker bus. So you oh, can take the top layer off wow. and make it into eight, yeah. And with mine, you can make an omelette, which I tried and it wasn't very nice. Oh, no. Oh, I know which one you've got now. That was the same as my first yeah. one. Yeah. The second one you can do that with. Um, anyway, okay. bring that together all the way Yeah, you've round, only got about two minutes which left Which I'm now. not going to have time And we've talked for. about boiled egg machines. And then, um, then you just bind it round the edge. You've, the binding strip is on the panel. And then you do the same at the top. And that's pretty much it. The handle, so this handle is a strip of fabric that you sew right sides together. I've put some webbing in mine. Oh, so you haven't got the, you haven't got the, um, and all you do in it. is thread the webbing through and then top stitch it. But you could put a strip of foam interfacing, which you'll have enough to do, yeah. or nothing. And then that is actually sewn on the outside. So that's really simple, isn't it? Perfect. And the top is bound as well. The thing is, right, you don't have to put that on, because I was looking at it thinking, no, that, that could no. be a really lovely makeup caddy for your, on yeah. your dressing table, because you could have all your brushes and things and your mascaras yes. down the side there. And then you could have all your like foundations and everything inside, you could you? Yeah, and you do yeah, And because that's sewn on the outside, it's simple yeah. to, it's not, you don't need to put that on there. Brilliant. There you go, and that's it. Thank you. Sorry? When are you next? Are you going again tomorrow? Oh, you are on tomorrow? <laughs> I'm on tomorrow. But you haven't got Amber Makes tomorrow. No, no, I'm doing dogs. Oh, yeah, it's the announcement tomorrow. Yeah, dog day. There's a special guest coming just before nine o'clock mm. to announce the winner. Very exciting. Um, so that's Rebecca Reed's back on tomorrow. I'll just recap this one before we say okay. goodbye to her. So, uh, which one do you want first? What have you got in? Uh, vintage, vintage first. So what you get to be able to make this. Now what we haven't shown you is you also, in the panel, you also get the fabric to make your donut pin cushion, your scissor keeper, and your um, retractable uh, tape measure, your keeper, $29.99. You get the Styleville, you get the instructions, you get this whacking great panel with all the pieces on it. They're all labelled up, so you can't really go wrong. And if you do, there's an email for you to, to, to email Amy to ask her how to do it. <laughs> $29.99 for the vintage one. And that goes there. Thank that's, you very much. Oh, that's yours. That's Thank yours. Thank you. That's yours. We have to get her out of the building quite quickly, you see. <laughs> then there's the uh, bumblebee version. So again, you get the, the, the fabric and the pattern for the donut. You don't get the button to go in the middle. Uh, you get your scissor keeper. And you get your tape measure, your retractable tape measure. Uh, and again, you get the Starville, you get the panel, and you get the very thorough instructions on there. Twenty nine ninety nine. That's yours. And Thank now, you. the pa the from earlier, the block of the month. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. 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 I thought we'd done those. Oh, right. I can't. Yeah. Needle cases. Vintage first. Thank you. Oh, I thought you were passing it back to me. Over there, there on the table. Oh, more people in baskets and we've got stock of in the vintage, so please check out, you get the instructions in the panel, and you can make these two. One's for your machine needles, one's for your hand sewn needles. More people in baskets than we've got stock of. And then last but not least on this one, the needle case with the bumblebees, instructions panel, to make both of those. The hand sewn needle bundles have sold out. And the machine bundles, you can find them underneath because I just need to show you 
the block of the month from earlier, which was this one. If you missed it, this was the nine o'clock hour. There are 32 people with that in their baskets at the moment. Yeah, oh, way over 200 people have checked out on that already. You're very popular, aren't you? <laughs> Amber, mate. <laughs> and, right, so you've got, right, that's the, that's the, what's it called, that thing? What do you mean? What's it called? What's that thing called? Uh, the petal pouch. Petal pouch. Petal that's pouch. your added bonus. Because it looks like a petal. Yep. Yeah. and then you get your block that you can make by uh, sewing and applique and the block picture of on there. I'll show you, actually. Let me show you the whole panel. And this is 14 99 for the instructions and the panel. There you go. Instructions and panel there. That's this month's block of the month. So thank you very much indeed, Rebecca Reed. That's okay, no problem at Have all. Have a lovely show tomorrow. I will do. I will do. Have a lovely Monday off. Is it Bank Holiday Monday? It is, yeah. I know. Are you in, Hannah? No, it's not Hannah. Oh, normally it's Hannah and me on bank holidays and everything. No. Uh, so I'm doing, Rebecca's doing tomorrow. On my, on my um, web page, on my website, it says I'm doing tomorrow. Rebecca's doing tomorrow and I'm doing Monday. Um, so thank you very much. Are you That's going home or are you staying over? I'm staying over, here. Yeah. You could have gone for your earpiece this afternoon if you thought it I through. I could have, but I didn't think of that. Next time I'm going to have to time. do that. She's doing what? She's staying to prep tomorrow I with Hannah. I am staying so that we can talk about dogs at one o'clock. Nice. No way it's a very complex Hannah. dog discussion. Okay. You'll <laughs> recognise the... Oh, no, I'm not saying anything. Um, anyway, don't go anywhere. Delphine, after the break, doing hot frames and cold frames. And if you missed the Jason Yenta, or if you got the Jason Yenta in your bag, in your, in your, in your, what's that called, basket, you can see it almost finished now, the top almost finished. She's going to bring that back with her straight after this break. I'll see you in four. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Now I've got a bit of news for you. This Friday, Rebecca Reed's on the show, right? She's been to the Festival of Quilts and she's interviewed, it's an exclusive interview, she has interviewed Kay Fassett, right? All about his new book, Quilts in Wales. It's fantastic and there's all sorts going on about the quilts in here and lots of other things. Make sure you tune in on Friday. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7 full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? 
why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Now, look at this, Delphine's put the border on. It's huge, oh, it's sideways, but it's absolutely yes. huge. Do it that way, because then we can see more then. It's How huge. brilliant is that now? There's over 40 people got this in their baskets. This is from Delphine's last hour. This is it with the black border. And they, we haven't, obviously, she hasn't um, pressed it or finished it. She's raced it together during the last, uh, during her last break. How, how beautiful is that? What do you want to do, Han? Oh, we want me to go this way. No, no, I don't mind going off, but we just need to get more of the quilt in. There you go. It's huge. That's the, that's the length of it. And then obviously the width of it is going down there. Isn't it beautiful? It should be 239.99. Hannah took it down to 179.99. 59.99 on split pay. Gorgeous, isn't it? Imagine when you've got that quilted and everything like that, and got your wadding inside and everything be stunning thank you for doing that delphine no worries i'll oh. take that one off you i'll just I was drape never that sewn over. so fast <laughs> <laughs> right that's not this hour though that was delphine's last hour this hour now before i show you the boxes let me show you the pictures of the two it's the same quilt oh it's the same quilt it's called cold i need to call it hot flushy then hot frames and cold frames so if i can show you the pictures first of all there's hot and then there's cold 
Now, during pre-order, twice as many people have booked the hot frame than they have the cold frame. But in the in the, the studio, there's a real mix of who likes hot and who likes the cold. So let's take you through it now and we can show you everything there is. So the finished quilt is 221 by 187, which I think is, oh, there it is. It's, I mean, it's mm -hmm. just enormous, isn't it? No, 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 I was gonna say, think about the size, but I forgot we had it then. Because I've had so many quilts recently where I haven't had the actual quilt here to show you. It would help if I could even open the box, really. The, oh, there you go, 159.99. Oh, Hannah, and you think now if you press the right buttons, 139.99. 139 that's your price that's your price that's your price now remember everyone who's checked out <coughs> you also pay that final price because we don't actually charge your credit cards or however you paid till the midnight 139.99 or split pay look 46.66 i know fantastic three split pay 46.66 no interest charge whatsoever we will send it out to you the minute we take that first installment right in the box you get the instructions Beautiful, let me just turn that around. And you get the instructions. Hot frames quilt, you get the list of all the fabrics you've got, how to put it together. And then the fabrics in this one are... I'm just to rip it. Beautiful, oh, I love that. I love this one. Right, this is one of my favorite K fabrics, this one. Oh, you see, imagine a shirt made out of that. Obviously, it's not enough there for me to make a shirt out of. So you get that fabric. You get the big, big sunflower daisy fabric. You get the fishes on Miss Only background. You get that gorgeous one with the dark background. You get the feathers on orange. You get that fabric again with the fishnets in the background. You get the big leaves. You get the, uh, oh, more feathers on orange. Oh, it's a different background. Darker background, the red background. Then you get that beautiful pink, huge flowers on pink look. Gorgeous, loads of these gone into baskets. Loads of them flown into baskets. Then you get the maize fabric, which actually says Kaif. You can find Kaif in here somewhere. Not himself, obviously. There, Kaif. Oh, sorry, you cannot see it. Let me move it. I know sometimes you can look for ages and ages, just have to put, so that there is your, is your like side borders. Then you've got jumble on blue, which is your um, bl lovely blue uh, and red dots there. And then you've got oranges that are actually orange, because when we go to the other one, it's, they're not orange on the other one, are they? 139.99, beautiful. It's not difficult to make, is it Delphine? No, really, Not a difficult really one easy. at all, but looks, incredible and so impressive doesn't it right over half the stock's gone already now we'll get over half we had a lot more of the red one than we got of the cold one. Oh, did you know what i have to nick this this is this is sums up look i i know it's only one fabric within the whole whole range but just look at that fabric I was about to say I'll have to nick this bit, but I won't, obviously, because you won't be able to make your quilt otherwise. I'll bung one of my old shirts in instead. Oh, I love that fabric. I just love it. <laughs> yeah, it's magic. Someone just tuned in. Well, that's nice quilt. Oh, John says he's going to nick it. Right, so that's the hot frames. That's hot frames. It's over half the stock's gone. Over half the stock's gone. We had a lot of those now. Okay, there's fewer than 20 of those now. Fewer than 20 once you've all checked out. Now, 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 now. This is important now. On pre-order, so many of this one went that we have a lot fewer than we had of this one, right? So here we go with the fabric of this one. The instructions, oh, they've, they've changed the colour instructions. That's good, I thought they, because the instructions are exactly the same, just with different fabrics. So inside, it gives you a list of all your fabrics and then what they're for and how you piece them all together. It's a very, very simple quilt to do. What have they, have they normally put on here? Oh yeah, oh no, we need to match the price. We need to match the price. Now, isn't it funny, it normally says, oh here. Oh, it says intermediate. Oh no, no. That's no, not intermediate at all. I'll say maybe the, the one that I did earlier was poor, more intermediate. This one, it beginner. Yes, if you yeah. can tell a straight line, yeah. then you're fine with yeah. this one. 139.99 again. Now, please be careful. I've got so many. F I've, how many? Okay, fewer than 20 already. Fewer than 20 already. 
Oh, 15 now. 14 now. So please be careful. I haven't even opened the packet yet. Right. Ooh. D different fabrics. Different fabrics. So, right, I'll go this way. So you still get the K fabric, the maize fabric with his writing on there. Beautiful. You then get your jumble in your black and your pink. Lovely soft pink, that one. Then you get your oranges, but they're grey on black. But then this time, you get the same sort of print. How many? More people got it in their baskets and we've got stock off now. So there's your purple flowers. There's your geranium. Now, there wasn't any geranium on the last one, was there? So there's geranium. <gasps> oh, look at that one. That is so beautiful, isn't it? Then you get, now I love this one. This is like their folky art one. It's where they have stripes of, look. Look, how lovely is that? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Then we've got your fishes on your Missoni zigzag. You've got your big daisies that we had in the last one. <gasps> Geranium in purple. Then we've got the flowers on the black background. Then look at this. Remember the fabric I showed you last time? This is it in just the blues. Oh, that's nice. That midnight garden, that one, isn't it? Stunning. Oh, that's got a strange... Oh, hang on, it's called... Hokusai's mums. Chrysanthemums. Chrysanthemums. Yeah, beautiful. It must be a Japanese painter or something, isn't it? Oh, right. So is there a painter called Hokusai and he, paint, he or she painted... Um, now, you see, I had a friend once. Well, I've still got a friend. He's still my friend, right? And his mum, he, he's one of the richest eligible bachelors in Thailand, right? Right, his mum was Chinese, is Chinese, and his dad is Thai, and his mum paints those Chinese um, with, one, with one, one strand on a brush. You know they have brushes with just one, wow, what's it okay. called, not thistle, what, what do you call it, bristle, one bristle, right? And she paints, and she paints the fabric, and he had a shirt made for me out of this fabric, and his mum had painted all these, and she was Chinese, obviously not Japanese, but all incredible chrysanthemums with what a paintbrush that's got one strand on it i know anyway 139.99 um okay there's only four not checked out and how many baskets 20 in baskets and four not checked out i did try and warn you and this is the one that delphine's going to be demoing as well so the red one will be on the back behind delphine the whole time and it have to be the main graphic because the blue one's about to go right delphine take us away this won't be a bit more peaceful than the last one. Won't I know it? that's. Uh, I can't believe I, I actually managed to put that together, but I did. So yeah. Could be on her bed tomorrow night. By the time she's <laughs> quilted it and bound it and everything. Okay. Uh, so to start with, so there's only really. Uh, I'd say it's quite easy to put together, but I'd like you to think about the pattern placement of like where you're going to cut your patterns from. So you, just with the oranges. So with the oranges, I'm quite. Um, uh, it doesn't tell you to do this in the instructions, so I'm going to if if you're quite picky about where you want, you want your placement of your oranges. Right. So they've put it, so it's really cool, so it's really all like a bit more, more random. Yeah, so um, they haven't got all three oranges centred or anything But like I wanted that. them centred, so I've centred them. Oh, that's fine, that's fine. Yeah, so I'll just show you how I do it's really, really easy. So you want these... Uh, oranges these are three inch three inches wide so I'm just gonna cut a straight edge I've just really just cut this out really really quick so I thought oh that might be quite a nice little thing to show you so again I always uh, press my fabrics with a bit of um, even if it, um, there's no bias edges or anything like this but yeah, I you just, watch like, your wire it's hanging down the front of your blouse Oh, yeah. You've not taken it up through the underneath. Just, oh, just be careful. Yeah. Just don't I'll catch do it. it with your edge cutter. Next time you're off, I'll uh, go and do my bra. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to come and do it for you, but I thought you might. Be, my hands might be uh, a bit cold. You might, yeah. You might have cold hands, John. Yeah. Warm heart. Oh, you've definitely got one of those. I don't think I've got one sometimes, but there you go. Right, so you're cutting it out in the strip, the width that they say in the pattern. Yeah. So I'm just... Okay, so... Yeah. So I've trimmed off that edge. I've just turned it round and back round again. So I'm just going to cut it into the three inches. 
I'm just going to do, 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 do. I've literally just um, thought about this last minute when you was uh, showing the fabric. So uh -huh. I haven't trimmed it, so bear with me. That's okay. Got plenty of time. So which one's your favourite then, John? The blue? Well, I don't, see, normally I'd go for the bright colours. But I don't know. I can't, I'd have to have both, I think. One for winter, one for summer. Yeah, they've both got really different feels to yeah, them. Yeah, it, and it's weird, isn't it, how you can make the same quilt, make it out of different fabrics, completely different. You see, now, if you, once you've got the pattern, if you then made all of these bits out of solid blocks and had a piece of your favourite, like, Liberty or William Morris fabric yes. in each of the pictures. Oh, do you know what? Yeah. This is the basis for the most brilliant memory quilt, isn't it? So if you had favourite shirts, or favourite piece of clothing, or granddad's shirt, you know what I mean? Or when you do photos onto the, um, onto the fabric, because they're frames, isn't it? Cold yeah. frame, top frame. So if you had some with pictures in, some with, you know how you can um, photocopy, so, uh, like if your granddad's passed away, or your dad's passed away, your mum, and you've got some of their writing, you can photocopy it and then embroider it or something like that, because the centres are just squares of a certain size, aren't yeah. they? So you and can make it into, once you've got the pattern, you can make it into all sorts of things, couldn't you? And quite clever how it looks like, um, quite clever in the whole frames. It's almost like a floating a little bit. Yes, yes, you know, yes, yes, yeah. Very clever. So. Right. So I've got my, my fabric. So what I did is I wanted them centre for the, so the measurements, that's about right there. So it works out just roughly about give or take a bit of an eighth um about a quarter of an inch either side of your three oranges yeah and then you you do ha it does say in the pattern that you are left with um excess they've given you extra oh brilliant so you can do this you can do so your you fussy can do you almost. can you can do this but um i think when they've made the samples They've just done it, so it's just yeah, a yeah, continuous. Yeah, yeah. So but then sometimes, any. sometimes that's what people want, but isn't I it? But I quite like that as well. Like the way it's gone, it's all a bit different because it's a bit more interesting. Yeah. But I've just gone a bit OCD on mine. Okay, so now yeah. would you? You see how they've got some with the with the leaf going upwards, some with the leaf going downwards. Some. Yeah. With, would you make them all the same? No, because they go in different directions. They alternate every other orange. Oh yeah, because on some there's only one. Yeah. You see, if I was going to do what you were doing, I'd then have to work out, I'd have to get them all the same, all with one with... Oh, well, that's really overthinking yeah, it there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So no, I just do it random. So you are left with a little bit of excess, but yeah. not, not loads. So, yeah, so roughly just about a quarter of an inch either side. Yeah. I'm plumping for the red one. I'm plumped for the red one if I had to make the choice of one. I'm having the red one. Are you? Yeah. Oh, oh cold frames oh. are sold out now. Cold frames are sold I'll just pass that to Cat. Thank you, Cat. Yeah, the blue one, the dark one, has sold out now. We've only got the red one available now. And that's got lots of people with it in their baskets as well. So we're going to make this row by row. So the, the next, the first Which row so are I'm you going just to using, now, sorry. Uh, the 12 and a half inch by yeah, six just and put a half. That through. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to make, say, the top, the top row here. Okay. So to start with, I need to make these sections. So I've got my fabrics already cut out. So I'm going to take some of my orange sections and then you're going to sew these strips right sides together to either side. So you need two of those. Oh, I've got a bit of salvage on that one. So what I want to do is sew this piece to that piece. Yeah. And repeat Rebecca it. Rebecca Reed, be quiet please. And repeat it. And so I'm going to chain stitch those, and there's no need for me to press those just yet, because I'll just flip it round and put the other one on. Okay. So again, I'm using my straight stitch plate with my quarter inch seam. It's quarter inch throughout. Right. And uh, I think it's pressure seams open throughout as well, because I think it's all the same shade. Yeah. Because there's no real button up of seams not really it's quite it's nice and easy to put together oh maureen's got an idea i'd make both and have reversible quilt maureen you are outrageous but you know what that means you wouldn't have to 
to buy any backing fabric, would you? Because you've got it, you'd have to buy, just have to buy your wadding then. And also, well, yeah, yeah, good idea. It'd be beautiful. That is a really good idea. And, yeah. uh, and also, it'd be lovely if you're lying in bed with the red one, you just flick the duvet back and they have a, a dark. Yes, yeah, so when you make your bed, when you fold half yeah. back. Yeah, I don't always do that. Don't you? No, because what I have to do is I have to make my bed and then I have to throw the cat's quilt over the top of the bed oh, right. so that they don't sleep on my quilt or on my sheet, so they have to sleep on their own quilt. Yeah, I'm usually, I'm usually quite funny about my bed. I usually have, like, the big cushions at the top. I've got four cushions, two sets of pillows and a throw over oh. the top. So it looks lovely, but I've had to get rid of the throw because of spiders. I'm worried about it being on the floor. Yeah, I would. Was it brown, your throw? No, navy blue. Oh, OK. So dark. The thing is, I change the colour way all the time. I, I, it's one of my... When I was at college, it was uh, buying paper, like writing paper, and I, lo I was in paper chase all the time. That was my... And now it's sheets. I love buying bedding. No, I've only got white bedding. Oh, no, you see, I have William yeah. Mor I've just bought some William Morris bedding. So white bed in a navy blue theme. Oh, oh yeah, you were Munch. Munch has done his bedroom white and navy blue. Yeah, white navy blue. Because we've got this um, a painting above our bed of uh, Buttermere Lake. And oh, that, yes. You know, the mountain. Yeah. It looks really pretty. I've got the pictures in my room. I've got what, uh, my friend. Oh, it's two Marys, actually. My friend Mary, who was a uh, producer in film, she bought me for my 40th birthday. She bought me this antique... Uh, Japanese hand it's just a little you know with like a little piece of painting like that's beautiful uh, and then on the other wall that I'm going to see my other friend Mary in Brighton this weekend and she's an artist she was a she is a novelist or she was a novelist and she started thinking why do I have to pay she writes children's books why do I have to pay people to do the drawings in my book and do them myself so she went when she was about 60 she went off to art school and learned how to do drawing and everything like that got a degree in art so she then started doing paintings so I've got this really beautiful it's just a pencil or charcoal drawing of a lady with no top on and a hair in a turban to think profile it's just exquisite absolutely beautiful I'm seeing her on Saturday. There we go. I did go to, I, 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 should t I don't know if I should tell you this, but I, when I did a, a series called School Maker, uh, School, oh, hang on, School Mum Makeover, School Mum Makeover for Discovery, I went to one of the producer's houses because she wanted, it's always the way, like part of the show is doing a, a, a revamp of somebody's wardrobe. So she said to me, oh, why, just show me what you do. Why don't you come and revamp my wardrobe? So I had to go to her house and revamp, which was lovely and I didn't mind at all. But in the bedroom, we were in the bedroom sorting through the wardrobe and everything. And there was this, the size of a wall, this like photograph of a naked lady, right? Like properly naked, you know. <laughs> yeah, anyway, anyway. I kept looking at it thinking, oh, that's a strange thing to have in your bedroom. And she went, oh, that's me. That's me. My boyfriend, my ex-boyfriend loved that picture of me so much. We had it made. So it's like a mural the size of a whole wall. Her, her, like naked, like this. Lounging, like that she was. And the photographer was over there. I oh, know. Oh. I know, I was a bit kind of, oh. <laughs> no, actually, look. Well, no, it's stupid because I deal with people, you know, when I did fashion, you deal with and actors and actresses and stuntmen, you deal with bodies all the time. But yeah. just the fact that there's when no way I would yeah. put a picture, naked picture of me on my bedroom. Oh, people would run miles, wouldn't they? If they open the bedroom door, there's a picture of me going, <laughs> aya! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, no, there's a thought. There's a dreadful <laughs> thought. Let's carry on with the ironing. Oh, you'll have to come and give me a makeover, John. You don't need one. Oh, thank you. <laughs> He's like that. <laughs> yeah, I, I, don't, I don't think I could start at Hannah's. There we go. So there's the first sections already done. You see, just that little block on its own looks lovely, doesn't it? It does, doesn't it? I didn't know it's when you, until you said it actually said Kafe. Yeah, every so often there's, it just says Kafe. Yeah. yeah. So it's called Maze because it's meant to be like the maze from, um, oh, what's the palace near where I live in Twickenham? Oh, come on. No, 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 no. Something palace. What's the palace near Twickenham in Mosley? East Mosley, West Mosley. Oh, anyway, come to me. There's a maze there and that's where it was based. So then I'm going to just finish off this. I'm just going to press these. Uh-huh. And then you just sew these three squares in between those two blocks to make a full strip. Okay. So I'll just go and do that. Go on then. Yeah. 
Uh, Liam didn't do his own plastering. No, he got a plaster in. But he took this is Munch, right? Who we talked about yesterday earlier. He's bought a new house and he's putting pictures on social media of each room as he does it, right? So he took a picture of his all done up bedroom, right? With old water, not hot water bottles, water bottles just on the floor by his bed. And I was like, oh, ruin a picture, Munch. And it was his birthday yesterday and we'd all forgotten. His birthday. Oh. Everyone forgot yesterday. Oh, bless him. And then I said, is there, is there a dinner part? You mean, mean going out for dinner, like yeah, to one yeah. the Indian near you? And he was like, no, I just had a lunch. So what happened was everyone from upstairs brought something in and they had a, like a picnic upstairs. Oh. But he thought it was for his birthday and it wasn't a birthday thing. It was a, a thing they decided to do. It just happened to land on his birthday. So he took it as his birthday lunch, right? Aww. So I then said, oh, so what we're doing for the evening thing then? He went, I've got nothing planned yet. And I thought, well, I thought you hadn't invited me much and they'd all gone out and had a nice time oh, without me. Bless. We'll have to do that So soon. we'll have to arrange something, yeah. 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 Well, we're overdue, and you couldn't come last time, could you? No, why was I? Didn't, I? didn't they swap my days or something? I think you swapped with Stuart, or Stuart wasn't well. Oh, it's right, come with Stuart, that's right, yeah. So you just, you just sew them together in the order that it tells you to sew them. Yeah. So the, the big squares, you can choose whichever. Have you got to the big squares yet? Are we still on no, the... No, I'll be doing that next. Okay. So you're doing, oh, so you're doing the top row, basically. Yeah. You're doing... The row of the oranges, then the big square, then a row of oranges, then a big square. So we haven't yeah. got to the portraits yet. We haven't got no. to the inside of the pictures yet. It's just, it's just one of those projects that you could just do with your, with your eyes closed, really. Yeah. It's right, while well, Delphine's saying that, I'll just show you two. Now, we have got, we had a wadding show the other day. It, I can't tell you how popular it was, right? So if you go look at, I've got two of the waddings here, but if you love 100% bamboo, 50% bamboo back cotton, a lot of them have sold out. We are reordering them, but go and look on the, on the website. We had um, white, we had white wadding, which a lot of you keep asking about. We had white wadding, we had polyester wadding, we had all sorts of wadding and everything. Um, and it was fantastic. And we even had uh, thermal wadding and we had all sorts of things. And some of them were over three meters wide. That's what was, and, and, you can buy them by the half meter and the price there's something today's been one of those days isn't it because those clips aren't the right price Anna made the mistake with the last quilt these are brilliant price um so if, which one do you want me to do first 80 20 first this is the one that delphine's going to be using right so this is your 80 20 wadding yeah that's right yeah so this is look at the price right 5.99 just hold on to the end of that for me Oh, this is awesome. Look, now remember, it's like fabric, right? You're buying it off the, off the roll. Hang on, I can't, let me get past here. Look how wide this is. We'll just keep walking, right? Look. 80% <laughs> cotton, 20% uh, polyester. Um, and the cotton is um, ethically sourced cotton as well. Um, it's two meters 28, sorry, Daphne. Two yes, meters right. 28 wide, that one. And you can do up to 10 inches. So if you don't want, if you want to do this and only go eight, min, eight quilt eight inches apart, you could do. Because it's up to anything up to 10 inches, yeah. No need for joining if you do queen size quilt. quilt. So on this one, how wide is this one? So what was that? 228, right. So you'd need two and a half meters for this one. Five units, five units for this one. And then the other one I've got in this hour. Yeah, that's what that one there, this one here is the one that most of our designs. Well, I say that it's because it's the only one we've really had on the half meter, isn't it? We've got loads on the half meter now. So five units of this for this quilt. Okay. Now I've got thir 37 now. This is 100% cotton, ethically sourced cotton. Now, how wide's this one? Oh, this one's 228 as well, 228 as well. Uh, so this one, you'll need five units. Now, this is if you don't want a heavy, that one's not heavy, but this is slightly lighter weight than that one. And because it doesn't have the polyester in it, it doesn't have the loft, it doesn't have so much loft, right? But it's beautiful, feel that, feel that tough one. Oh, it's lovely. It's yeah. like, it's like it's beautiful, so soft. soft, really, really, really soft. Be beautiful to quilt with that one as well. So again, that one's 228 wide. Look at the price, 599. You're buying off the bolt. So don't think, oh, I'll have to cut, join all those pieces together. If you want a piece to do the whole of that quilt, you buy five units, they come all joined together already and there's no piecing, no nothing. 
It's fantastic, isn't it? Look at the price. 100% cotton, ethically sourced, and it's combed. I haven't got the bits of paper in these ones, but it's combed with a special comb to get rid of all the um, slubs and everything like that, so it's easier to quilt and it doesn't affect your machine or your needle or anything like that. Clean carding, that's it, that's it. So there's a code, a comb that they use, isn't it, with the carding? I, can't, I know, I can't hear you, so. Oh yeah, it's only because the machine was going, that was all. But basically, when you card it, it gets rid of all the slubs and everything like that in, so it's smoother to quilt. And your needle's not gonna hit any bit of like old um, cotton, you know, bud and things like that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, it's back on you now. So I've made a row. Okay, brilliant. So I've done one row. So those are the colors. That's only part of a row. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so uh, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm doing a mini quilt. Okay, perfect. So we're mini quilting today. So that's one, two. Yeah, you, you can make one this huge, 221 by 187. What's that in, in, uh, in, what's that in inches? Hang on, I can work that out. 90, is it about 90? 221, 14, 40. Eighty-seven by um, ninety-three. 90, eighty-seven by ninety-three. It's a nice big size that one, which you can see. It's what seventy-three. What did I say? Oh, sorry. Yeah, you can see how big it is. That would go way over my bed. Yeah, it's huge. Yeah. Well, yeah, because like my duvet the cover. Or well, my duvet is 200 by 200, right? So it'd be a perfect size for your bed, that. That looks bigger than that, to be honest. It's a really good size. And you'll have leftovers as well, because they've given you more. So you know the, um, so where has that been used? One, two, three, four. Yeah, so you'll have bits left over. Bits of fabric left over. Yeah. And I'm sure, I'm not. I you sure? Thought, what? I thought there was it back in. I thought, I thought there was back in. What are you muttering about? Oh, nothing. I'm just talking to myself. <laughs> so, what do you say? 73 wide? Yeah, it is 73 wide. It looks bigger. For some reason, it looks bigger. One more, right. So now I'm doing the. Oh, I've done it. I'll do those in a minute. So now I'm going to get to all the, the fun squares. So these are the squares I thought I'd choose because I know right. you like that fabric. I love that fabric. Yes, yeah, so I'm doing that one in the green one. I lo oh, oh, right, because that's Hannah's favourite, that one, that faux carty one, yeah. So you're pressing all the seams open, yeah? Yes, yeah. So if you've got something left, some left over, if you buy a plain backing to go in it, you could put like a stripe mm. of this in it, couldn't you? To then make it like, so you know what I mean? So on, if you get plain fabric for the backing, yeah. and you've got these, some of these oh, fabrics yes, left over, yes, you yeah. can make a stripe, piece stripe to go down the middle yeah. or across it. Something or like to, sort of like off centre, yes. so like a third of the way in. Yes, yes, so, so, yeah. it's, so it's got interest on the other side as well. Yeah, so that looked really nice. Yeah. Yeah, because when you when you do anything, you don't want it too um, sexy. It's, you're thinking about the rule of thirds, like yes, you, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. There's two. Where's my other one? Here. Though? Oh no. You made a third one. I thought I did. Oh no, I only need. Oh no. What are you saying? Two seconds. I thought I'd soon. Okay. All three. Just got but what I was thinking of, you can have this quilt on your bed. While you're lying in bed on a Sunday morning, and what better to read on a Sunday morning than my book, right? Now, I have to tell you, yesterday, when we went home yesterday, there were only 90-something left. Seven, oh, 79 now, I thought it was 97 when we went home, 79 now. Now, they haven't ordered any more from me. I don't know whether they will or not, but they haven't ordered any more, so that means there's only 79 left in stock of these, right? It's my book. 
and I'll just show you through it so you get your signed picture in it oh you're a 19 year old girl you should be wheeling the around on your chair you should get up and walk get your steps in no I'm not reading the section of my book right so what it is it's full of sewing tips it's uh, sewing tips there's little quick fire questions there's little mantras just remember Hannah someone loves everything you hate about yourself and then uh, you've got and then it's got a little bits of my life story in there as well and you do get a signed fact you were supposed to change that in the break it's because I used it all doing that <laughs> I, I changed it and I used it all anyway it's 13 pounds we're down to the last 79 of those loads going into baskets remember Christmas presents as well Christmas presents I'm thinking yeah I um I, I did a full bobbin and then sewing those borders on that other quilt has used it all but it's all right this goes together really fast anyway can you not can you not thread a one while you're sewing on that one yeah you can you but can. I, I've only got the one reel with me oh, I know we're sewing channel and we've got one reel of thread I know it's been I've been busy yeah. sewing. so there's and then that's one right so you've made three of those so i made three of those and then you're going to sandwich three of these between two of your squares oh, okay and that makes the next row and then all you do is you just keep repeating those rows over and over again and then you sew them all together and you've got a quilt brilliant and have you got a favorite <sighs> i'm on the fence really but then do you know what? With me, it will be what mood I'm in. Oh, no, that, well, I'm the same. That's what I'm saying. I've got all my quilts yeah. at home. And if I'm not in the mood for the ones on the bed, that one has to come off and something else goes yeah. on. Yeah, so I think... Yeah. I, I'm yeah, a bit like that with my mood. beds. I move beds in my house. Because to me, that... Do you? Yeah, it was only me, isn't it? So if I don't feel fancy sleeping in that bed, I go and sleep in that bedroom. Do you? Yeah. Have you got a favourite bedroom? Have you got... And it depends on my mood. I like, I like the one that's not my bedroom. I've got my main bedroom, but I like the one that's not my bedroom because it's got two windows in it. Oh, and one nice. looks out over the fields and the sheep, and the other one looks over the village, so I can have a nosy on the village as well if I want to, at the other window. Yeah, Louis's bedroom. But also bedroom. the bed, I've got different beds, you see. If I go to the downstairs bedroom, that's got a great big Indian four-poster in it. Oh, wow. Like a turn-of-the-century Edwardian... Um, four-poster indie-carved bed in oh, that one. Oh, fancy. I'll have to come round one day. Yeah, yeah, you must do. And have a look at all your knickknacks. Yeah. I bet you've got some lovely knickknacks. Well, I have, but they keep getting yeah. broke. When the cats were new, they kept breaking them. The whole place needs decorating, though. I've got to do it. Oh, I need to do that. Oh, yours is spotless. I moved into mine 10 years ago, had the whole place done. So, of course, now yeah. every room is looking a little bit tired now. I just want to, yeah, I think it's because we've never done anything since we moved in. So, I'd like to. Oh, is that how it was when you moved in? Have you got all the colours you got from moved in? Yeah, because it's quite neutral, isn't yeah. it? So it's more of like what you put in it. But yeah. I'm like you, I like collecting nice, you know, yeah. individual oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. things, yeah. you know. I don't want to look like a catalogue. Oh, no, you know. mine's very eclectic. You never put my house in the catalogue. It was really funny because when I was on this morning, they had that lady on who used to do, um, go to people's houses and say why they wouldn't sell and everything. Yeah. So she saw pictures of my flat. She went, oh, this is my flat, not a house. She went, oh, gosh, nobody would buy this. And I'd literally put it on the market that morning and sold it that day for more than I put it on the market well, for. But, but it's, 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 it's all about taste, isn't it? Because it, it like is. bright colours that have the same colours. All, all colours in all, every room are all clashing. You know, yeah. there's no... Because there's no I like that flow from my room because I've got those really bright stalls, haven't I? they go into the yeah. lounge and, but no we sold our old house in a day the yeah. day we put it on the market yeah but we, we've just put up a um, we went to Old Warden Air Show a couple of weeks ago uh -huh. and there was this um, you know they have like all craft stores and yeah. stuff not craft stores like market traders you yeah, know? yeah yeah and then there was there was this chap who made um, replicas of First World War repellers Propellers, yeah. Propellers, propellers. Yeah. And it was off like an old biplane. And what he'd done, he'd sandwiched these three different woods. So it was a uh, walnut, mahogany, and beech. And he made this propeller out of all these. You've got to see it. It's beautiful. Sounds awful. And uh, no, it's so it's beautiful. It's like the craftsmanship in it. It's oh gorgeous. yeah, that's what would be incredible. Yeah. yeah. And um, yeah, so I couldn't resist it. I bought one for Nick, and it's now on the wall. Oh. The snug. It looks really nice. Which wall? The one in the. 
in the snug by the kitchen. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so if you look oh, into lovely. the kitchen, you can see it. Delphine's house is lovely. It's really, really lovely. It's very calming. It's a re Well, the boys weren't there when I was there, but no, when I went around, it was very fun. calming, yeah. Yeah. And then Ursula and Petey came round to nick the wine from the fridge. <laughs> yeah, bring me, they, they can bring me wine. Yeah. <laughs> I will definitely be having a glass tonight. Will you? It's, it's really weird. funny. I haven't drunk for over three years. And the other day I was suddenly went, oh, I really fancy a glass of something. I haven't had it yet, but um, I will do. Yeah, I fancy. So I think I'm seeing one of my friends later. I thought yeah. you were going to the pub with her yesterday. No, we didn't go. No. She came message. out for a coffee. She just got a message. Remember, people can read that on the, ups on the upstairs oh, camera. Oh, yeah. Sorry, that was just uh, about childcare tomorrow. <laughs> 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 yeah. So, and... Uh, yeah, when you've got boys, it takes a village, you know. So yeah. it's, I've got someone's husband taking the boys to football later because Nick's obviously away. Yeah. And then, but no, we, my friend, she came out for a coffee in the end. Oh. But no, my other friend, I haven't seen her. She's got a really like high-powered job and just never see her. And she's going away on holiday for two weeks with her family on the weekend. So I'm not going to see her. So I think I might be catching up for a very oh, quick Oh, no, one. yeah. Very quick bottle of wine each. No, very quick one. So... But then, like I said, Nick got up at three o'clock this morning. So is he not coming home today, is he? Yeah. Oh, he's being exhausted. Apparently, he oh. hasn't got any clean pants or toothbrush with him. So. Oh. Yeah, he's gone to like the equivalent of um, an engineering thing at, oh. in Germany. So you know, like we go to Festival of Quilts. Yeah, yeah. Lovely time. He's going to that, but with machines. And will he be as happy as we were at Festival no. of Quilts? Oh, okay. Right, what do you do next then? Oh, they're going the other way, of course. Yeah, so you sew them together. So now we've got corners clothes. to match then. Oh, seams to match, I mean. So yeah, this, you have got uh, seams to match. So you said you could do if you wanted, if you are a fan of putting up your seams, you can um, press one one way, press one the other, and yeah. you put, or whatever way you like. There's no right or wrong. No, exactly. So let's put these together. So I'm going to make like a, a, quart, a quarter of the quilt top yeah. so. so I'll just put this one on isn't it funny I, I always I always amazed me how you can put very simple shapes together to create such dramatic look yeah but but I better just, uh, just, uh, just, how many have I got left hand just gotta do some maths now There are 18 not checked out, but 29 in basket. So if you need, if you want it, you do need to check out now because there's so many more people want this. It's 139.99. Take the split pay if you want to. It's there. To, it's there for you. you. See, I say this all the time, right? My mum and dad would never do anything on, on tick in those days, but I just think it's there for. We all need it. We all want it. We all, you know what I mean? It's not the same thing as like when my mum and dad's generation. No, exactly, mate. That payment today, again in a month's time, and again in a month's time, it's paid for. I know. And no interest. Not like putting on your credit card. Then, if you put it on your credit card and did three payments of 46, 46, imagine how much your interest would be at the end of that. Also, I got one of my. Uh, it makes me so angry. One of my credit cards arrived this week, and I was thinking, I know I haven't spent that much on this credit card. So I went through it. It's my business one, right? They charge you £32 just for having the credit card. An annual fee of £32 for having the credit card. Might That's be changing that. I don't know. So I've done one half, and I'm just gonna. I've already made a half already, so I'm just gonna uh, put them both together. Okay, perfect. So I just sew these last two pieces. Yeah. And then, and then I'll show you what. Oh I yeah, you're gonna say because we've got ten minutes left. We can do. Have we got next door's menu? Oh good. How long have we got? Ten minutes. Yeah, because I've got to do our menu and their menu. So. You see. That should be enough. Yeah. Right, so that's those two. Delphine, I didn't know you had such long legs. That's oh. from Crazy Lorraine. Uh, Lynn says the mate. Oh, Hampton Court. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hampton Court, Hampton Court, Hampton Court. Thank you, Marie. Yeah, Hampton Court. Uh, oh, Rachel, I can read that one out. Gary's got a picture of me naked holding a bottle of gin by his bed. Ooh. Rachel, saucy. The picture of you in that plastic mac or the tie would be good, John. Yeah, you don't want that. 
I went to a, a fancy dress party once in just a see-through Mac and nothing else. Nothing else? Nothing else. Not even pants? No. So you could see it all? Well, no, because I used to smoke in those days, so I kept my cigarettes and my lighter in, <laughs> in the pocket and then walked like this. But I got to the bar and we were all having a drink and not thinking it through. Oh, you took them out? No, 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 no. Oh, I did take them out. I didn't think of that. But it, I, it, started, it was like a sauna. Yeah, I started yeah. sweating up inside and it all started steaming up. <laughs> and then I could feel little pimples all coming out of my back and everything. So I went back to the costume department when I worked in theatre and um, I got dressed up as a carrot instead. Of course you did. Yeah. <laughs> so that was that one. And then the one with the tie was when we did the naked um, calendar for this morning in about 1999. And I just wore a tie. So is that the craziest outfit you've ever worn then, or? That I can tell you about, yeah. <laughs> tell me about on air. No, I, I don't do crazy things. I'm just yeah. trying to think now. I did, oh, I did get very drunk at a party. We'd just done a show called Strippers, which is about strippers and the ladies in the Northeast who went into becoming strippers to help keep their family fed and everything. And um, one of the costumes I'd made for it was, um, Oh, and designed, I designed that one. Um, was Salome, Dance of the Seven Veils, and I got very drunk at this party and went and put the costume on and did the Dance of the Seven Veils for everybody. In November, in a garden, outside, with this little, what's it called, like belly dancing costume, and then all, all the things came oh, off. Oh, fancy. Like, oh, I know, I've lived the life. <laughs> That's not in the book, either. I was going to say, pictures, please. <laughs> I don't think there were any pictures that night. He said, lying. <laughs> You know your um, talk at festival. Yeah. What was the most interesting question you got answered? Uh, you got asked. Um, Do you get any awkward? Ones? No, I've got no awkward questions at all. Uh, people just want to. Uh, uh, start, we started off talking about what a costume supervisor did in the film industry, and then it got on to uh, different actors and actresses and things like that. But there were no different questions. But the thing is, I went in thinking, oh, I've got, I've got no, I've got nothing planned. I've got nothing planned. And the forty-five minutes was up before. Yeah. I, you know what I mean? It's like, oh, I've only got three minutes left, sort of thing. And, look, and then all the ladies kept coming. I had a question. I had a question. I had another question. So I'm going to get them all to email them in. So that could be my next book. That's a good idea. Yeah. In fact, if you've got my book, the last page has got my email address, so you can email with things that should go in the next book for me to get started. Yeah, because I bet you've got so many more stories. I'm well, the thing is, I didn't put that many life stories in, because I was told by a publisher that it wouldn't sell. But now oh, people are was. saying, oh, we want fewer sewing and more life stories in it. Yeah, yeah. So maybe I'll do that next. I'm taking you to the lakes with me. Oh, are you? You can, you can join me in the bath, John. Oh, fine. Don't get me too wet, because the pages are like old-fashioned paper. <laughs> Sue said you saucy thing. Uh, and you call me crazy, says Crazy Lorraine. Yeah. Yeah, Crazy, uh, crazy Lorraine, I don't drag up, I don't drag up. I don't get dressed up to look like a drag queen when I go to the Jumbo Centre in um, wherever it is. She knew Vivienne, you know the Vivienne who won the first RuPaul drag race in the UK? She knows her. Right then, so that's all my rows done. I'm Lovely. I'm just going to put it together. That's all pressed, so I've just got two seams to sew and my little sample is done. So to quilt this, all they've done is go, which I think is really simple, you know that they've just stitched in the ditch, but they've carried on over the square. Oh, okay. So, and so it's quite a clever way they've done that because it's almost like these look like they've pieced. Yes, yes, yeah. Whereas it's just the way they've quilted it. So now, if someone brought that to you and said, how would you quilt this, would you do it that way as well? I'd go a bit crazier. Oh, would you? But in geometrical, would you do circles or what would you do? I think because it is so angular, I think by softening it with a curve, yeah. Like, will look really lovely. nice. Yeah, look really So lovely. if you're taking, it, it will give you a bit more interest to it then. Yeah. Um, you know, because especially you've got the, the circular of the, of the oranges. oranges. Yeah. Or maybe what you can do is you keep your straight lines for this bit here and here, and then do yeah. your florals in yeah. and there. So things yeah. are left, left, left So in each right. window. Yeah. yeah, so I think it's not just about the fabrics, is it? You can make it even more, yes, take it to yeah. the next level with how you quilt it. Oh yeah, yeah, because I was talking about the one that, uh, that uh, Jane Alcott made for me, which is Log Cabins, and then Amanda Little um, long-armed it, but she's done it all in swirls and flowers Lovely. and everything, it's so beautiful. Yeah, really nice. 
uh, and obviously variegated threads 100% Oh, yeah, oh, or maybe because the fabric's so busy, just like a very one outstanding thread, maybe. Yeah, so with that one, they've gone for like an. A, oh no, that's a variegated. Oh, they put variegated that's in it? That's variegated. Oh, yeah, so yeah. they have, yeah, they have. So your orange and your variegated threads will be work lovely, there. wouldn't it? I'll tell you what I'd quilt this one with. You know the one, just your turquoise one? Yes. That the solid turquoise. The solid yeah, one, yeah, 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 it's lovely, yeah. Please check out your baskets for the last one, the red one. We've got more people got it in baskets and we've got stock of loads more, loads more. So if you want it, the, the dark one, the cold uh, frames are sold out completely. And there's way more people got this one in their basket than we've got stock of. Remember it goes back up to, was it 159.99? 159.99 at midnight because it was uh, crashed in price. Uh, and you can get it 4666 on three split payments, no interest charge whatsoever. But there are way too many people going in their baskets. And we're going to be going off air in about two minutes time. So please, please, please do think, it's midnight it goes up, not in two minutes time, but just in case you forget or something like that. And I don't want you to suddenly go tomorrow afternoon, oh, I didn't check out because it'll be back up to the, the full price then. So then. If there's any left, yep. You'd put that one on there. And you see, apart from that, I sewed one already before I came on air. Yeah. So I've done that already. That is already a quarter of the quilt. Yeah. So there's another, if you, if you just had to make another six of those, you could make this in a day. Yeah. Couldn't you? If you wanted to, you yeah. don't have to. You can take your time doing it as well if you want to. And then one I made earlier. Oh, hardly. There we go. There I you go. That's what this one will look like finished. There we go. Beautiful. You choose where the central squares go. Gorgeous, isn't it? Right. Thank you very much indeed. Okay. And then to quilt it, you, you'd say you... We won't quilt it now. We haven't got time to it. But just, you just... Um, so what I would do is... I, like you said, I quite like the, the angles here. So yeah. I would carry on going uh, stitching the ditch down the seams here. So follow this piece here and stitch in the ditch because what that will do it will create it looking like these these two are pieced yeah and then so i'll do that on the these parts but the centers i'll do uh, i'll do, soften the lines and do a swirl or circles Brilliant. or florals yeah. right two quick messages uh i bought both kits due to split pay have a lovely day from sally and cornwall oh, oh. you're gonna put them together or you're gonna have them separate and hi john could you please say how proud i am of my granddaughters jess and rosie they did brilliantly in their exams oh of course it was o level days today wasn't it oh wendy i'm so pleased for you i'm so pleased for you delphine thank you very much indeed thank you very much uh please check out your basket on this because there's way too many people got it in their baskets would you like to look at tomorrow that's not me tomorrow now it's rebecca reed tomorrow she's got we love dogs and great british fauna that's animals not flowers uh dog of the month launch with stuart herland at nine o'clock now you've got to tune in just before nine o'clock to see the special guest bring in the um a winner of the competition then at 10 o'clock oh blimey we love cats too and jungle critters they're going all over the place tomorrow aren't they brother sewing machines with Stuart Hillard at 11 and at 12 o'clock Kay Facet book interview and quilt kits that's the interview that Rebecca Reed did uh when she was at festival of quilts last week I've got to go I've got to go thank you Delphine uh, have a lovely time we'll see you very soon oh sorry Kylo Keith wrote Red paper dynamics at one o'clock hunky dory Oh, you'd have to read it. There it is. We've got to go. We've got to go. We've got to go. I'll see you on Monday. Oh, now it's Bank Holiday Monday. I've got no guests. You know what that means. I'll see you on Monday. Take care.